Why is it that there's no big streamer with Down syndrome? Well, here's the thing, right? Apparently, people with That's Down syndrome have got higher sex. <laughs> they got higher sex drives. So, is really? it ethical? Is yeah, yeah. Well, in my experience. <laughs> what do you mean in your experience? But the idea of a reluctant woman is much more enticing. It is literally okay, part of the safe I'm, harbor provisions that you Steven, do not have to I will actually kill you over this. I will actually kill you over this, so I don't want to talk to you about this anymore. But regardless, with that- Sit the f down and read Hold what you on, said, man. You no. can't do it. Hold on, you can't get- Shut the f up, Chud. Let me finish. Okay, Dan, take it away. I'm not doing this. I'm not. I, I said that I'm not doing it. I'll actually I jump off a building if I don't get to talk next, so- Well, yeah. guess what? I've got the solution. Dark dog okay. watch. Dan, okay. take it away. Ooh. Ah. Why, Why are we afraid to talk about something God damn it, woman! Fucking A! Two minutes where it's not about you! I've meditated a lot on the topic of cuties and how it affected me. Yeah, I can me, tell you've done a lot of meditating on cuties, Mr. Girl. True, I You're not no. saying I anything, you're I... derailing the conversation. No, I'm not! Stop. Shut up! Shut up! Answer the question, Sneeko. Answer the question. Oh, to, to film children... Is it <laughs> ethical? Is it ethical? Is it ethical to... You're is it the one who's triggered here now. Is it ethical <laughs> to film for your Yo, movie? other people in the panel, does Mr. Girl kind of creep you out? What about child warts? <laughs>
he's that dude is a fucking piece of shit i should have went harder on him earlier about a stupid fucking dying cat but um that dude is yeah he's actually like a horrible 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 person um and i'm not even saying that because of him attacking me i like people attack my relationships all the time i don't give a fuck um the way that he treats people in public though is actually disgusting he's one of the most disgusting people i've ever seen online like the blatant sexual harassment of aoc and the defending of it attacking or harassing i should say that woman at that cpac conference over and over and over again like he is legitimately like a disgusting human being um, yeah, fuck. I should have went hard on him, but I'm probably not gonna. That's a guy that I won't associate anymore with either, because he's just really gross. Yeah. Well, one thing I thought that was interesting is um, it was kind of refreshing for me as a lefty to see the ontologically evil stuff come from a rightoid. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Because that's essentially what he was doing, right? Like any action is justified against them as yeah. long as it's not illegal, because they're a politician, right? Yeah. Yeah. Which was crazy for him to to just say yeah but i guess people are a little bit more forward with their positions now people on the left and right will say it like yeah you know as long as i'm you know politically disagree with them we can do whatever we want to them in public which is a little bit of a fucking insane position to take but yeah okay right well mr girl hello how's it going mate uh okay is it actually just well, the two decided... of us or three of us yeah. well i, I don't I know decided... what everyone's expecting like you know you were watching the panel well, yesterday yeah, I, 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 so I, I, go on chill Wait, I had an idea. I'm chill. I had an idea. Um, I don't have an editor to put clips of the like the spicy moments at the beginning. So can we just say like? So I'm gonna be like, well, technically, all marriage is sex work. All relationships are sex work. And then and then Stephen's gonna be like, you have to be fucking autistic to say something so fucking dumb like that. Why are you sorry fucking serious? And then Chad's gonna be like. These no, but these OnlyFans, these companies need to stop exploiting these mentally ill eighteen-year-olds. So can we just do it like live, and then yeah, we'll, sure, and we'll just naturally we'll progress to those points later. Okay, okay. Wait, is it really just the three of us? Are we yes. gonna have that much disagreement? Mate, okay. Well, this what? is what I'm okay. When I messaged you yesterday, I, I wanted to get you on, but obviously I'm on Twitch, and you know I'm cucked, right? So. Yeah. I was like, what, am I, what can I do? <laughs> well, I said, let's talk, let's get Max involved. And that was it. That's as far as I've thought ahead. And then I thought today, are we actually going to disagree? Because I know you hate women. I know Mr. Girl, you know, despises um, women, you know, women acting of their own accord. So we'll see what happens. But if it gets really tough, maybe we could bring someone in that uh, disagrees. I don't know. Maybe we could find someone. Special guest. Yeah, sure. I don't know who, but I'm sure we can find a, a sex worker to bully, right? <laughs> That's what they're there for, right? Yeah, exactly. What else are they there for? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, okay, before we get started, sorry, I just want to ask something, right? Why is it that there's no big streamer with Down syndrome? What are you talking about? Doesn't Hassan like one of the largest streamers on the platform? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I mean, obviously, the answer is that if you have Down syndrome, there's a lot of developmental disabilities that get in between you and you leaving, living just even normal life. I, I can't, is this a serious question? I don't know why I'm giving you a serious answer. Never mind. No, I'm being serious because, you know, some, some it's less bad, isn't it? You know, it's not quite as bad for some people and they live full rich lives, allegedly. But, but yeah, but even the people that are less bad, it's still like, that's like a whole extra fucking chromosome you got there. There's a lot of, div like, there's a lot of, del div when we look at Down syndrome people, we always see like the messed up faces and everything. That's mean to say, but like the developmental disabilities are really hardcore Jesus. too. Even, even the ones that are really high functioning, I think, still have to overcome a lot in their life to make it. And um, yeah, to do, to thrive in this space and everything, probably really, really difficult. What about sex workers with Down syndrome? <laughs> I, I don't know. Well, are there are a lot of those. Uh, Is that even ethical? Well, here's the thing, right? Apparently, people with That's Down syndrome have got out. higher sex. <laughs> they got higher sex drives. So, is really? it ethical? Is yeah, yeah. Well, in my experience. <laughs> what do you mean? In your experience, think, are you jerking off personal. kids with Down? <laughs> <laughs> I think. I think um, they have lower impulse control. Probably not higher sex drive. Oh, okay. So it could, I'm sure control. there's like a whole bunch of like, the, like physiological like phenotypical stuff that changes based on because that's a it's a big thing to have a, your whole fucking genome kind of crazy right mr girl's quiet i've turned him up i don't know why you're so quiet i'm turning you back to you're 100. just you you're to... just really loud destiny hey. no mr girl you need hey. to up your volume like 3x okay no not talk <laughs> got louder it. You got it uh you want me to up my discord volume yeah up it somehow what is the output at just Let's do it on your mic or something. I don't know. Settings. Uh, input mm. is up all the way. It's 100%. Oh, on your my computer? Input is, my input, is my sensitivity fucked up? Is that better? 
No. Uh, okay, hold on. Yeah. Just real quick. Let's just solve this right now, okay? You're, this is an SM7B, right? Yeah. Your mic? Do you have a cloud lifter on it? Yeah. Okay, what is it plugged into? Interface or mixer? Interface. Does the interface have a gain function on it? Yeah, yeah. Does, does it have, first of all, besides the gain, does it have like a plus or minus like 10 dB boost or whatever on the back or something or? No. Okay, you have it's a gain, what's the gain? Face. It's all, it's all, it's at 38 right now. The gain is at 38 out of? A million, I don't know. Well, if it goes up to a million and it's only at 38, then 38 sounds pretty low. But if it's at 38 out of 50, then that sounds you want me pretty to go, high. Okay, okay. I, I, well, I see, I'm peaking on mine. If I, if, even right then when I said that, I peaked. What's how, peaking? how are you not getting this right, mate? You're like a music Wait, no, artist. Chill. Hold on, we're doing this. Are you peaking on your mixer or are you peaking on the computer? I'm peaking in fucking OBS. Okay. And the, wait, You're... test. Hey, hey, Hello? yeah, yeah. I, I almost peaked on the mixer too. You're peaking in. What does that mean? Wait, do you if have we... do you have my? You 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 cranked my volume in Discord. Well, I turned it down now, back to one hundred. But it's at one hundred. But it's yeah, still quite quiet. Double what it normally would be. Wait, I hold on. Somebody said he's loud on his stream. Hold on. Yeah. Oh, you yeah, are loud on yeah. your stream. Right, so I don't want to go any... Well, okay, so I don't know you don't have any software on your OBS that's like adding gain or boost or anything, right? I'll check my filters. Um, oh yeah, I have a compressor on, but is that... Ooh, let me, is hey, the compressor... Because hey. compressors uh, can it's, add... Yeah, it's adding a little bit, but... What does a little bit mean? Give me a number. Because uh, if it's adding nine. like 40 dB or something... Nine. Nine? Can you but the, get but, rid of... but it's but it's but it's compressing. Oh, I turned it off. Okay, I turned it off. So I can turn it off. I'll turn my gain up. Okay. I'll just have to speak very um, evenly, I guess. Yeah, that's right. Hey, test, test, test. Get Is that it. better? Yeah. That test. Yeah. Hello. I think that, that, that works. Yeah. We're okay. all equal. Okay. Nice job. Okay. Good work. Hey, I could. Yeah. I'm congratulations. I couldn't, Good work. I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't have done without you. True. Thank you. No problem. Just returning the favor, you know. Yep. Okay. So for anyone who doesn't know, I just want to make a quick announcement. Okay. Um, I actually saw someone in your Reddit destiny complaining about me not showing my face for the billionth time. Um, mm -hmm. Really fucking annoying, but it is what it is. Anyway, anyway, I'm doing a face reveal at TwitchCon. So you're going to get to see what I look like. Isn't that exciting? Why are you doing a face reveal? Um, because I think it's the right time to do it. Um, it might help my viewership. I mean, if it kills it, I mean, I'll probably just have to like end it, you know, like Jesus. But like, hopefully, you know, it's your life. Uh, both. Okay. I've been thinking about how I want to do more streams with you, but um, but you don't show your face. It just feels like much less interesting. Yeah, right. but what I say makes up for it. Well, no, almost. <laughs> um, yeah, I want, I want, I want to. Um, I want to stop doing streams with VTubers. So I, w I want you yep. and Doobie to show your faces now. Well, post-October, I'll be doing it, okay? Mate, I can come and see you in okay. America. We'll, we'll do some crazy shit, okay? All right, I would love to. Okay. Anyway, right. We're here to talk about whores, okay? A.K. sex workers. A.K. your motto. <laughs> oh. Um, so, obviously, Destiny, you watch the panel. Mr. Girl, I'm aware that you are familiar with the content. Um, what are your thoughts? Let's go from there. Uh, me first or him first? Well, does it just someone? What the fuck? Destiny, you I've go first. I've, okay. I've done sex work first. before. Okay. Fuck's Never sake. Mind. This retardation is unbearable. Fuck. I hell. will go first, okay? okay go. So, okay, I'm trying to show you what it would be like to have a Down syndrome career on a platform, okay? <laughs> now you're freaking out about it, okay? So, <laughs> chill. This is why there aren't any here. Um, <clears throat> I, think that, I think that if women want to do sex work, um, I think they should have the right to do it. Free of judgment and free of harassment. I think that is an okay thing. Um, I think that we can talk about problems that exist with how people consume sex work, but I feel like we live in a society today where we consume fucking everything in like the worst ways possible. And I don't think that is at all unique to sex work. And so I think that forcing sex workers to like bear the brunt of that, like you can't do this job because some people engage with it irresponsibly, I don't think it's fair. Simultaneously, we can call out some problematic sex workers though for the way that they um, like, the way that they act in the space, like maybe they encourage some unhealthy behavior. So, okay. What about OnlyFans role in all of this? Um, is that supposed to be like a full question, or what do you mean? What about OnlyFans role? Well, 
obviously the we you spoke about like sex workers individually and just mm-hmm. sex work as a concept but a lot of the content yesterday was focused about only fans as a business and its role a in two billion dollar cyber pimp <laughs> yeah i think only fans is fine they they facilitate those um oh. yeah those interactions i guess Listen, you were given some Marxist takes the other day, and today we've got capitalist destiny. That's tragic, but that's okay. Right. Mr. Girl, what have you got to say? Well, we all like porn, we all want porn, we all need porn. So it's kind of weird that we're okay with people having sex for money as long as we get to watch it, and then if they don't, then we put them in jail. So I definitely think sex work should be legal, and I think that would help protect the workers and the, uh, the Jones. I've done some sex work myself, and um, it's pretty confusing. Being in, being in situations where you're doing sexual stuff um, for money makes it really hard to know why you're doing it, or if you're how you're feeling, if you're enjoying it, if you're not. Um, so I can't say I recommend it, but then there's a lot of jobs out there that are probably like kind of bad for you, like being a police officer. So. I, I, I agree with Stephen that a lot of people's um, contentions with sex work can, they probably should or would have the same problems with a lot of other jobs. And it's probably just an anti sex uh, puritanism that makes people hate yeah, sex. Yeah, it's really workers. hard also, to divorce the two, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, uh, Genevieve, who I think we all know uh, and love, is in my chat saying that. If we want a woman's perspective, she's uh, volunteering. So if you if you want to pull her in later, if you feel like it's too much uh, testosterone here, it's up to you, Sean. No, that's fine. I mean, I'm, I'll happily bring on you know anyone really. Um, and what, okay, why is it that when we speak about this, no one fucking mentions OnlyFans? It's so fucking infuriating. What about OnlyFans? What do you think of OnlyFans? What do I think of OnlyFans? Uh, I've seen your. Uh, some of your rants about how they are predatory um, and they take mentally ill 18 year olds and tell them they're going to be billionaires, blah, blah, blah. Um, I, I don't, I've been thinking about this with um, social media in general, where most of the images and videos that I use as pornography at this point is not intended to be pornography explicitly. But it clearly, it turns out that you can pay a woman, you know, a few hundred dollars and she'll take her clothes off. You can also just pay her in likes and subscribers and retweets, and then she'll just do it on her own. And so I think I I see OnlyFans as kind of a natural extension of um, Instagram and TikTok. The Instagram and TikTok are my favorite porn sites. I will say... I'm going to fight back against, I'm going to fight harder back against some of the Mr. Girl autism today, okay? Fucking autistic, mm-hmm. okay? I'm going to fight back against it. I do think that we can look at meaningful differences between interactions rather than getting hyper-reductive and trying to say that, like, likes on Instagram is the same as money on OnlyFans. I feel like that gets into a world where people are like, I think prostitution is wrong. And it's like, oh, yeah? Well, I bought you dinner yesterday and you had sex with me. What's the difference? Yeah. I think there are meaningful differences between some of these interactions, although I can understand the lines are getting more blurred online. There are meaningful difference. Yeah, when I say they're on a spectrum, I'm not saying they're at the same point on the spectrum, but there aren't meaningful differences. I I, I think we should figure out what those differences are. I agree okay. with you. Okay. Yeah, that's right. But there's also similarities that are meaningful. Mm-hmm. There are also two, and then now that I just attacked Mr. Girl's credit or attacked his argument, I'll say to his credit, there is also this. <laughs> I don't know if people have noticed this with streamers, but there is like a there's an Instagram likes to OnlyFans nudes pipeline. Yes. Where when girls start, I've seen this happen. I'm not going to name names, but I've seen this happen where you have these wholesome streamer girls and they're cool and they start posting like a little bit more risque stuff and they get that huge support for it. The massive outpouring of likes and oh my God, you're hot, blah, 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 blah. And then invariably, two months later, hi guys, I opened a fan house, a fansly and only fans because like they, yeah, they, once they start going down that path, you start looking at like all the newer pictures posts like, ooh, you're definitely, <laughs> you're going the direction of the boob, like, and everybody can see it, yeah. But they, but they'll, I think that one of the kind of the bad things is that they're clearly lying to them, either to themselves or their audiences the whole way there. Cause like, oh, like I'm just doing this because like, this is empowering. And it's like, no, you're doing this because you really like your tits and you like it when other people are giving you positive attention for your tits, which is fine, but be honest about it. <laughs> 
Yeah. Right. So in that sense, um, likes are a currency. Sure. Eventually. Or it's like sending you down the road. When you start getting positive attention for your body, that is an incredibly yeah. addicting thing, especially if you've never gotten it before. Well, I mean, you can, you can monetize the attention, right? That's exactly what happens. If someone gets fucking shitload of Twitter and Instagram followers, <laughs> OnlyFans, mm -hmm. you can bring a lot of that audience over. Or, or Twitch, I think right? that I think there's two fundamentally different types of conversations that we can have about that because I think that there is psychologically something different. Because for a lot of the big streamer girls, I actually don't think it's about the money. I think it's about the attention to the body and the positive reinforcement you get when other people like it. Now, for some new girls coming in, it might be like, oh yeah, like I really want to like, I want to make money and shit like that. But a lot of these girls that are doing their streamers, they make a ton of money. And no offense to a lot of streamers, a lot of streamers don't know anything about money. They they went right from high school into streaming. They don't know what fifty thousand dollars is in front of. Like they're making a ton of money. They don't care anyway. But I think that the attention that they're getting positively for their body, I think that's the big hook for a lot of them to go down that road. Okay. With some exceptions, of course, yeah. So, listen, I just want to, look, I want to talk what? about big only fans for a second, okay? So, Destin, I just want to ask you, right? What do you think, if you were, imagine you were a young, a young lady, just turned 18, can I, okay? Can I, can, I, can I interject really quick? Yes, go on. Okay, so I have this show called Mr. Girl Hotline. These people call in, these fucking spineless, soy little bitches call in. And they never say what they think. They always try to get me to say it for them. They say, well, what, what, what do you think, maybe, what would you, would you say that in this situation? And then they try to get me to say it for them. And you're saying I'm doing that with Destiny? Is that yeah. What Ooh, yeah, yeah. Why that's... don't you just say what well, you fucking, you asked him, you said, what about OnlyFans? Yeah, you and he fucking said, well, retard. Yeah. That's how said, this works. Why don't you just say what you think? Because I find it more interesting to see what Destiny's perception of it is before I say what I think. Is that is that a problem? Destiny doesn't do you, give a shit. You, I think Destiny That's knows where perception. I'm going to go probably roughly with this, like at least the concept. Do you have a we're problem all, with it? We're all, everyone in this conversation is at least a level three, okay? If not higher, so we should be good. We do, we're on the same page. <laughs> okay. So two questions, I guess, right? So the first question, Destiny, is if uh -huh. you were a young lady... 18 yeah. years old, neurodivergent, mm -hmm. okay, um, out on the internet looking to make a quick <laughs> buck. What perception would you have of your potential for success on OnlyFans based on looking at Twitter, reading, say, news articles online, etc.? I probably have a, I feel like I'd have a good shot. Like any kid who wants to play basketball or anybody that wants to do video game streaming, I imagine most people probably feel when they haven't gotten into it yet that they, oh, I've got a shot. Okay. Where, where, where do you think that comes from? Like, it, do you think there's anything maybe pushing that in any way? Like, well, I mean, everybody talks about the Jesus successes Christ. of like Christ. Everybody talks about the successes of um, leading the of, witness, like, Your Honor. Any type of Fuck any off. type of work online. <laughs> I know where he's going. He's I tell you right. what, mate. In these conversations, you can tell you're fucking Jewish, mate, because your lawyer comes out. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Okay, look, um, I, I look. I'll leave my cards on. on. The I did my Nazi panel yesterday. Okay, I'm just trying to have a good time here today, guys. All right, let's. No, it's fine. That's, Listen, that's, that is Chud's idea. Of Hang a on. Time. Can I just point something out, please, Destiny? I made a little uh -huh. minor joke about him being Jewish, right? Mr. Uh -huh. Girl, you know, brutally mopped my accent earlier, and you didn't say anything. What's that about? Well, you know. <clears throat> brutally. <laughs> brutally mocked my accent earlier. <laughs> yeah, that's not cool. Don't do that, okay? I was going to say it's because we haven't genocided British people before, but at this rate, <laughs> it might be coming soon. <laughs> just kidding. True. Don't make fun of him, Mr. Girl. That's kind of rude. Okay. Yeah. Listen, I people just... people have a shared oppressive history, okay? Be... Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I, okay, listen, I think you kind of know where I'm going with this. You know, I, obviously, you know, I'll go yeah. a bit skits Only over fans this. is marketing itself as like, this is the way to, like, you can get yeah. rich doing this. Mess. But, like, every platform does that, right? Twitch does that. YouTube does that. Like, everybody. Sure. Sun, but, you know? but I think that, like, the thing is, is if you go on Twitch, yeah, obviously there's issues with that. But you're not giving away the same thing that you're giving if you set up, like, an OnlyFans and put, like, say, super explicit stuff on the internet, right? Yeah, there might be a bigger trade-off there, sure. Um, and I just, I guess what I wonder then is, are you comfortable with that? Or do you think there should be any pr maybe pressure applied to OnlyFans to maybe, you know, change some of this or, or change the way they market certain things or, or something like that? I mean, I'm sure there's already a lot of like people, I think people have like, people know what's going to happen if you post nudes to yourself online. It's not a mystery. Like... Okay, you guys have fundamentally like different worldviews. Okay, go on, point it out then. Steven, I think Steven has a, a much Kuma. more. Steven's a Kuma, yep. Not yeah, anymore. 
I'm chased now. I'm done with women. Based. Thank you. Wow. I think I know. I think I think Stephen has a much more. Uh, you knew what you were signing up for. You know, they gave you the they gave you the fine print. You're you're you're. And the same thing he says when he's you know attacking somebody on Twitter. He says, "If you don't want this, you can't can't take the heat. Stay out of the kitchen." So I assume he's going to have a similar uh, thing. Whereas I think you and I are more playing the violin for people and saying, "No, they were tricked. They were manipulated. They were pulled into this thing, and now we, you and I, have to protect them." For we are the pressure that needs to stop the evil doctors and <laughs> sex worker companies of the world. Well, I think an easy way to put it is you and I want to treat women like retarded children. Yes. Okay. I mean, that, that's fine, I guess. And I think yeah, I, can, I can understand that. I guess that like, okay, so do you know about the referral scheme that OnlyFans offers, Destiny? Um, I heard a little bit about it yesterday. Apparently, if you refer somebody, you get like a percentage of their earnings, some good Amway stuff. Yeah. So if you refer a girl, you get a 5% of their earnings for 12 months. Mm-hmm. Is that something you're comfortable with? Is that something you think is okay? Yeah, I guess. It encourages you to get friends to sign up and shit, huh? Do you not think it maybe incentivizes a certain behavior that may lead women to, uh, you know, fuck people over, get them on, not explain what's going on? Yeah, something possibly, like but people do that all the time anyway on, like, everything. Like... Okay. So you're happy with women getting Are you, fucked you over, think basically? That every... Is that what you're saying? I'm not happy with it. I hope it doesn't happen. But like, okay. if you get a friend into it, I mean, you're basically doing advertising for OnlyFans. If you can get paid for it, I think that's awesome. Okay. Fair enough. What do you think, Mr. Go? I think women need us to save them. <laughs> I'm glad Mr. Go is right. honest. Unlike you, Chad. What do you mean? <laughs> I, think you're, I think you're absolutely right. I don't and, give a uh, shit about women. I just, you know, like talking about it. Uh huh. Um, okay. Let me. I don't. I don't know. I, you're the. This is the first time I've heard of this. So I'll. I'll you want me to try to guess what you think that I probably agree with? Well, no. I don't know. I've kind of laid out a few things. I just want to see what your take is. Well. Um. Okay. So you're implying. Hold on, because people are freaking in my chat. Let me be clear. It's not a five percent cut of their pay. It's just a five percent commission on top of their pay. There you go. Okay. Sorry. Someone yeah, mentioned. it comes out of OnlyFans' profit, not the girl's profit. To yeah, be clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So. The best advertisement for OnlyFans. You're saying it's like it's like have you seen Boogie Nights? Yeah, yeah, I've seen Boogie Nights. I haven't. Okay. Catch me so, up. Break down the whole movie. Okay, so in Boogie Nights, you start out and, and it's all it's all. Have you seen um, Studio Fifty Four? No, break that down for me too. <laughs> have, have you seen Blow? No, break that down for me too. You have three. Okay, movies these are all very similar right movies. Now. So basically, you show up. It's all glamorous, drugs, parties, blah 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 blah. And then at the midpoint of the movie, people are throwing up, killing themselves, overdosing, dying. Oh, this is like every <laughs> movie where you get into entertainment ever, and you realize it's not the glamour yes. you thought it was. Yeah, yeah, okay, sure. Yeah, exactly. Okay, smudged mascara disgusting okay so i think probably if you're thinking of getting into only fans you're gonna and if you think it might be dangerous you're obviously you're gonna look around you know try and assess whether it's gonna damage you and the way you're gonna do that is by assessing whether it's damaged other people but if they have a financial incentive to pretend everything is fine then not only is only fans expanding their um their flock of ladies, but they're insidiously paying women to pretend everything is fine. I guess. And that, but like, what, what, I think that this, this rests on one fundamental assumption that we probably need to deal with first, and that is, is OnlyFans a fundamentally bad thing to do? Because if it is, then the affiliate scheme is fucked. But if OnlyFans is a type of exchange where some of it's bad and some of it's good, I mean, then this, because now these criticisms would apply to literally every single potential um, affiliate link thing ever, right? Like it, when you sell, it, did anybody hear about Cutco knives? No. What's yeah. That? Oh yeah. yeah. They they show up at colleges, or at least in my day, they would show up at colleges and try to get kids to like sell fucking knives and shit. Um, it was like it was just like, super was like expensive a knives. Yeah, multi level marketing shit. But it's like it's every single type of like affiliate thing like immoral or unethical. Like what if you refer people to Best Buy and you got like a five percent bonus? Like well, what about when Best Buy fucks people over on bad products? Like you know. So I think we have to sort that out. Like, is it a fundamentally bad thing? Because if it's not, there's nothing wrong with affiliate links. Does it encourage people to only talk about like the upsides and stuff? Yeah, sure. But like, that's every affiellate link thing ever. You know. Sure, well, but I, I think guess our... I, just, I just want to quickly say, I guess the issue is with this particular case is that mm -hmm. if you look online, 
for like OnlyFans information, there's like an overwhelming amount of positive coverage. Um, and I can't prove this, it's not marked in any way, but it seems like a lot of these news articles are like, you know, yellow journalism or maybe even like sponsored, I don't fucking know for sure. But in any case, there's a lot of positive representation and it doesn't really seem like there's much criticism out there that truly meaningfully exists. You've got to look quite hard to find it. Um, so I just, I just feel like that we're in an environment where there isn't much information for people to really make the right decision. And OnlyFans itself is like hardcore pushing itself as like a good opportunity. Um, I, I, uh, okay. I want to say, I, I want to talk about lab for a second. Good. Especially while she's not here. Yes. Yeah. We all, we all know lab. Yes. Um, okay. Lab has discovered either accidentally or on purpose that a great advertisement for your only fans is to say that it's harming you. There's a, there's, there OnlyFans girls who are like, oh, I love being naked and showing you, like, I don't care. Them eventually, if a woman is that eager to get naked and they kind of just like jiggle their boobs around, just like they're not even pieces of their body, like they're, they're not vulnerable, eventually it starts to feel like they're clothed. Like when you see a porn star marching around in her stilettos, it feels like they're wearing clothes. That's why I think I think I think the pipeline is most exciting at the moment when the the, the most reluctant the Instagram girl is making her transition to OnlyFans and she's saying, "Oh, okay, f I don't know, I'm not sure about this, but okay, fine." Meh. And then she takes her clothes off, and you feel like you're spying on. You feel like you're invading her. And the Lav has discovered that if you can make your audience like really mad at you or like hate you. You you stoke misogyny in the audience okay, and then you just tell them real quick, didn't she delete her OnlyFans to be fair? Um I don't know. I think okay. it's still up. But I I I I don't know. Okay. Go ahead. Well, hang on a second. She she has she has, she has, an, she has announced she has announced plans to retire from OnlyFans <laughs> and all sex work. I so think you, so I think you know that she's deleted all her posts except one, don't you, Mr. Girl? Yes. Okay. Oh okay. damn! You guys know more than me. Wait, is that? Wait, what's the one she left up? Well, I'm, listen, I'm not paying twenty bucks to find out, mate. Listen, you're fucking loaded. You do it. Well, <laughs> I don't know. Damn. <laughs> Only. Fan. All right, I'll, I'll go check. Okay. Go so my point is that I think that there's a whole, um, a deeper layer of insidiousness to this, where once people find out that these OnlyFans girls are being harmed or are hurt or conflicted or feel bad, I think that will actually make OnlyFans more popular, not less. Um, second of all, um, fuck, I can't remember. I can't remember what the other thing was. Way to go. Wait, what were we just, what were we talking about? Well, right I, I, oh, actually, fuck, I, OnlyFans is deactivated, she said, so fuck you guys. I need no, to call you out on something, Mr. Girl. Okay. So she's deactivated OnlyFans. Uh, yep. Now I can't see the last post. Thanks. Worst day for me now. Thank you. <laughs> what were you hoping to see, mate? What, what's uh, what would have ticked? I don't know. Fancy? There was one more post. It could have been like the craziest thing ever. Who knows? And now I'm not. Now I'm never gonna know. So thank you. Thank you for oh, oh. measurably negatively impacting my day. Both of you. Go ahead. Okay. The other the other thing is that uh, I think streaming is bad for you. True. And I don't think, Stephen, I don't think you think that. Because <laughs> I'm built different in most ways. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah. I have Wait, no, hang on. You, you, must, you must agree with that. Like, streaming is not good for your mental health. That's just... No, like, for 99.99% for of people, absolutely. There's just... There's too much that we are... <laughs> we, we are like HTML tables going through the world, being used to format entire websites, okay? Our human biology is wired for some things, and we have done, we have stretched it to its fucking limits when it comes to online shit. Like, you have built-in mechanisms in your head that's probably supposed to help you associate with 10 to 50 people at the most in your life in some tribe somewhere, but now you're hooked into like 30,000 people that can have opinions about you. Your mind is like, yeah, it's, it's probably inhuman the ways that we're supposed to engage with these platforms is probably not healthy for you. I would, I would say, yeah. Okay. So if you're doing that and you're, and, and then there's sex mixed in, I think in our discussions about sex and consent, I think we've both ag agreed that sex is kind of confusing 
Mm -hmm. And it takes a lot of like parsing and thought to and, and talking to figure out exactly what you feel and what's going on. So I think the Best Buy analogy is true, but I think once you add in the streaming social media aspect and the confusion of it being sexual, then I think at adding the affiliate link thing and putting pressure on people to pretend everything's fine and convince each other. And then you have like a community of people who it would be great if they could talk to each other at least about whether everything's fine, but now they, they're being paid not to. So I think that that could just be kind of inherently um, bad. Okay, listen, I've got to ask something because um, you said recently you're not going to speak about other content creators on stream and you just... Uh... You know, talked about Lav Luna. I, guess I can't stop talking about Lav. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Lav, well, she's become a streamer now. She's a Twitch streamer. The thing, here's the thing about Lav. I, I like Lav. You know, I, I banned her from my... I'm Why sorry. Not? I don't know. I'm, just, I'm sorry. I just wanted to be a contrarian. It's my name. <laughs> okay. It's just you'll, Go ahead. You'll get your chance. I banned her from my Discord. Um, I know, for pedophilia. No. Well, wait a second. Flesh no. that out a bit, please, because I don't want like false information perpetuated. Okay. Okay. I banned Lav from my Discord for what I called sexualizing minors. She's. I don't think Lav is a pedophile. I don't think she did anything pedophilic, but she did post a picture of herself as a kid, and allegedly <laughs> asked for tributes on the picture <laughs> in a different in a different Discord. This is off platform, so that alone is not bannable. Then she went on. Then she went on Steven's stream. Jeez. And gave a very detailed, dare I say, titillating account of her own porn addiction as a preteen. Very think, detailed, very titillating. Do you and, think that you're uh, reading into that a little bit? That she was just describing? Because when I was listening, I didn't feel titillated at all. I just felt like she was describing. Well, that's true. Like, yeah, well, we're built different, Stephen. Uh, some people in your chat started talking about how it was hot. So, well, yeah, but like Chad is DG. I don't know what kind of like, community listen, you're running over there. DGG is full of coomers. It is fucking insufferable sometimes. Yeah. Okay. okay. Got a lot of love for so, the, the good ones, but the bad ones need to be in a fucking concentration camp. Jesus okay. Christ. Chud. Chud. We call them internment camps now. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> Let's be politically correct. So, the combination of those, along with having an active and open OnlyFans, which I know is no longer the case made me feel like she was trying to create this kind of pipeline of, um, you know, sexual pedophilia of minors. The pedo pipeline. Now, I, I'm not, I don't want to call it pedophilia. Um, it, just, it just felt uh, dangerous, As particularly to me, because so many people think I'm a pedophile. So I was like, you know, this just doesn't feel <laughs> right. It feels, and also, I felt like it's bad for her. It feels like she's self-harming in a way by doing this. And, uh, and I don't want to facilitate it i don't want it happening in my discord and i don't want to be associated with it however i have said she said she wants to be a doula so i have said that once she i told her this is like fight club raymond k hessel if you're not on your way to become a veterinarian in six months but i didn't don't know obviously I, I'm not <laughs> oh, where part. the fuck did we go on this i'm lost okay in in fight club yeah uh they just grab this guy working at a, a convenience store Okay. And, they, and and they take him in the, out back and they hold a gun to his head and they say, "What did you want to be, Raymond?" And he's like, "Oh, a veterinarian." And they say, "Okay." And they and they look, look he's like, "I know your address now. If you're not on your way to become a veterinarian in 6 months, I'm going to come to your house and shoot you." Jesus. And so I said to Lav, "Once you are on your way to becoming a doula, I will I will stream with you happily. Okay. I'll be so proud of you." So okay. I'm, you know, I'm, mate, the, this she's, is she's, she's you know, you know, shit, the big, like big, big brother buddy program that that's me and Lav. I'm trying to help her. I'm her sponsor. Mate, you're I'm trying to pull her shit, out. Mate. I'm trying to pull her. Well, mate, no, I'm trying to pull her out of this OnlyFans okay. stuff. And the only way I know how you set boundaries. Right. Let me ask you a question, right? If I went into your discord and quoted what you said about cuties, would that be a problem when I get banned? Only if you're a woman. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> um... That might actually be true. Uh, no. If you went into my Discord and said what I said about cuties, you would not get banned, no. Okay, what if I posted a picture it's, of the cuties girls and said, give me a come tribute on that? There are no... Yes, you would get banned, but there's no pictures allowed in my Discord anyway. You can't well, post images of What's the difference between those two things? Like, the, they're the both sexualizing that children, cuties, and that's the my, rule, isn't my, it? My cuties review is an academic discussion of the film Cuties. Finding kids so, hot. 
sure you can say you can say i found a x kid hot that's not sexualizing them but if you say oh they're so hot look at the way they're blah 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 then if, if, it, if it becomes an erotic conversation <laughs> where you're, you're d describing um the kids in a way where your description is meant to be hot then yeah there's no pornography allowed on my discord either uh, either written or links to pornography do you consider cuties pornography no okay so it's a come tribute that's the problem yes so i could put a picture of the cuties girls and say look at these hot girls and that would be okay with you no that's sexualizing them there has to there has to wait well, first how of is all, that you sexualizing can't, you can't, them you said that you can't, there's, video no, there's no images allowed them. in my there's no okay <laughs> you want you want to know what is the closest you can come to sexualizing minors <laughs> in my discord without getting banned okay is let that, me cut to the, the chase i want to sexualize is minors it? in your discord how do i do it without getting banned okay <laughs> okay you would need to um you'd need to say somebody else thought it you say wow people seem to really think that hermione was really sexy in harry potter with those flowing brown robes it was just really uh in, intense for somebody else i heard about what do you guys think of that okay. i think that'd be the closest you could get okay got it right noted thank you but as you've seen, I'm, I'm, I'm open to banning people for pretty subtle sexualization of minors, so I don't know. True. So do you, so do you think, because I'm getting this hint from you from what you're saying, do you think Lavaluna is doing some sort of like griff type situation? Oh, I'm quitting OnlyFans, guys, to, to garner more subs when she comes back. Um, that certainly is possible. I don't know if it's intentional. I think people can do things without knowing that they're doing them, obviously. Um, so I don't know. So I want to see, um, I don't know. It's like, it's like, it's like AA. Like, you know, when you announce that you're quitting drinking, that you don't, you don't get your fucking, you know, gold chip that day. You gotta, you gotta show us your real intentions. And also, I want to also say, this is not me shaming people just for doing sex work. She said it was bad for her. And that's when I was like, you, now, now that you've identified, you don't want to do it and it's bad for you. Now, I, I feel like I have to do what I can to, you know, push you in the right direction. Okay. Um, I'm going to be honest, mate. I think you've really dodged this whole thing of not speaking about other streamers. It sounds like you're just, you just do it if you want to. Um, and that's kind of bullshit. It's not really a principle then, is it? Well, it's, I don't think I it's about talking about other streamers ever. I think it's just about like not like diving. No, into that's not what he said. On. That's not what he said. I he did, said he wouldn't. No, I did, say, I did say I won't talk about any streamers ever. Oh, well, what a dumb thing. Is Lav a streamer? I guess she's a streamer. Okay, fine. Yeah. Uh, I won't talk about Lav. Jesus Christ. No, well, no but I want you to that now. was a dumb rule. Yeah, we want yeah. you to talk about streamers. We need it. We need it in our lives, man. Come <laughs> on. <laughs> um, yeah. No, I think it's a good rule. No, it's not. Why not? I think it's good to not, like, talk crazy shit about somebody without them having a chance to, like, represent themselves. But she doesn't have a chance to represent herself. Okay, sorry. She does. Ahead. She can wholesale, always, like, wholesale. streams or like argue and shit if she wants to, I imagine. Okay. I if you were to uh, have a policy with her where you're like, I'm never talking to you on stream again, but you were constantly going out on her on stream, that I think would be a problem. I don't think that's, that's what I'm doing. So wait, if she wanted to come in here and chat right now, I'm not saying she does, but if she wanted to, you'd be like, No, she's not she's not allowed to be a part of this conversation while we talk about her. Well, no, I think in this case I'd make an exception because yeah, exactly. I, so well, it's I, funny I, you say that. It's funny you say uh, that because I, I just got I, a message from you. We obviously we we all know that you say the beast's name and you summon her. I know. <laughs> Listen, are you calling her a beast because she's a woman? Like, what's that about? <clears throat> yes. Okay. <laughs> Good. I agree. Okay. Yes. She sent sent okay. me this. So uh -oh. apparently this was a joke about the cum tribute. It was a personal group of friends. Um, I know. Right, um, accidentally yep. posted a photo of face in the joke section, um, and it was kind of like a, a joke that was misunderstood, perhaps. So, do you feel that maybe this is perhaps a bit harsh, considering it's a misunderstanding? No, it's not because it's not just one thing; it's a constellation of things. So I know there's a perfectly reasonable explanation for everything, but it's like even if you accidentally sexualize minors, I will still ban you. Okay, well, wait. I'm, oh shit! Hold on. <laughs> Is that it? Does that extend to off platform stuff? Yeah. Okay, just checking. <laughs> Never Absolutely. mind. Okay, look, look, listen. I want to commit to your thing, Mr. Go. I didn't want to put you in this position, okay? 
but I've got pressure now. External pressure. Wait, Lavalu from what? Lavaluni's asking to come on. Oh, okay. shit. Of course. I'm so sorry. I didn't... This is all your fault, Destiny, for fuck's sake. Yeah, and we. I know. I can see. I, I'm not my fault. I didn't do anything. Yeah, I didn't reach out to anyone or tell anybody to come on. Anyone. I wouldn't do anything. Yeah, well, no, yeah. because obviously you, she's messaging me, but I didn't say, like, hey, come on and chat or anything like that. I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything no. either, to be clear. I, I sent her one message. I said, yeah, something. And that's it. She's And then she's spamming Wait, me. you sent her a message? Oh, my no, goodness. she I didn't... messaged me, and I just acknowledged her message. I didn't say anything about coming on or make any reference whatsoever, okay? Okay. I've not even sent her a message. Her destiny's more culpable than me. Um, but come on, look. Let's be fair's fair, okay? Let's give Lavalunia a chance to answer to her, to her crimes. Wow, she didn't message me. That's weird. It's fucked up. That's because you're, True. you know... Oh, you... also, if we need to... I don't know if Dan wants to come on. He might need to come in later, but... Heads oh yeah, I think he would be a great addition. Yeah, of course, Dan's always right. So um, you know, I'm sure he's going to have the best takes of all of us. Okay, well, I've added Love Luna to the group. Um, let's see. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. What's so funny? I'm just in a rough spot in my life where I hate women more than I've ever hated them before. So I don't know if I can handle these conversations, but I'll try my best. Okay. Hello. I'm gonna get you through this. Hey. Hello. Hi. My heart. Oh, you're quiet. quiet. My heart. Oh, oh you're, you're quiet. Every time I, every time I talk to you, I get. Yeah. Every time I think of you, I get viscerally yes. angry. I know. What's up, Miss? I think. Hey, Dan. I. Th hey. Hold on. Hi, hi, Dan. I don't know who hey. you are. I'm Lav. Oh, yep. Dan's Jewish like you, so you guys, like, yeah, probably Incredible. see that. Wait, there's yeah, three listen, Jewish people in here now? What the fuck? We, first off, it's insulting that you think we wouldn't already know that from our Friday night secret Discord cabal meetings. Like, I already oh, know who these guys are. It's for My bad. Yeah. Okay. Literally um, hold true. On a second. Oh, yeah, we pretend to fight, and then we go drink child's blood together. Based. Christian child's blood, right? Oh, yeah. only. The finest. Yeah. I have, like, a jar of, like, pickled foreskin. Nice. Good job. You ever lend that um, out to Hillary Clinton so she has special political powers? I'm sorry. She gave it to me as a as a Shabbat gift. Oh, gotcha. Okay, so Lav, you're angry. I'm ready to listen. I'm ready. I am going to sit my Jewish ass down and listen. Thank you. Um, I think it's like really hard for you to get me like completely wrong. And for I think well, this is me. I think that I have like a. Uh, like a need to like not prove myself but i maybe it's because i'm like pretty pedantic i'm autistic i like need to be not understood maybe it's that maybe it's that i need to be understood and when you do it so poorly and then you like just paint me as this like evil person especially in a community like your own community where i found like a lot of solace um even though i'm like you know even though i wasn't treated great there because i'm a woman <laughs> Uh, but still, like, for the first time, I mean, I connected with your content because I felt I felt everything you were saying. And so then I, I enter this community where everyone gets each other and I get everyone. It's like the first time I've had social interaction because I'm agoraphobic for, like, months. Like, the first time I have friends. And then you just, like, I got on that first fucking hotline. And ever since then, it's like, I have... I have no control over my own narrative, which I think I've done. I think I've I've chipped away at people's, uh, you know, negative perception of me through what you've said a little bit. But then but then you said I was sexualizing minors, which, you know, reads the exact same as pedophile. You know, it does like you're too smart to to deny that 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 is true. And then and then I talk to you about this. And you leave me on fucking red when I tell you that because you know it's true. You know I'm right. <laughs> so base. And I think that that's so just disgusting. And I, th I think that's so antithetical to the shit that you, like the values that you say you hold. And that made me like rethink everything about you. And I think, that, nodding, I think that that sucks. Uh, no, I was fucking nodding. I'm nodding. No, I... I'm nodding along heavily. <laughs> I was not nodding. I would never. Okay, but I, I am curious, how many people uh, get banned from your Discord? Just so I have... You, you said, also, he said, he, I'm first the first one. person he's personally banned. He made this uh, announcement. Yeah. There's gravity in that. 
Mm. So you're like a super pedophile, basically. Basically, yes. yeah. It from was Mr. One time. Girl, whatever, okay. It was one kid. You know, I that's will like say me, that's like me banning someone <laughs> from my Discord for hating minorities. Okay. And let me let me <laughs> also let me also just say last piece of evidence before it goes before the jury. I literally so in the stream with uh, with Stephen, literally 15 minutes before I'm talking about why I think porn is so harmful. First of all, he's saying. This made this was titillating. I'm talking about why it's horrible because when I was 11, I was able to stumble across the most violent porn within like three days of watching my first porn video. And it, fucking go. Max is like, I love this. Here, like, here this is comes. great because <laughs> you're a freak. Your OCD doesn't say anything about me. Your thoughts you I, doesn't say anything you about o me. You think I have OCD? Your compulsive thoughts? Yeah, I don't think you're actually a pedophile. I don't think you actually thought it was hot. But I think your compulsive thoughts about it, about me talking about that, is like uh, wait is you fucking, don't you don't think that, that you don't think th anyway. Don't think let me finish I... what I'm saying. I'm not going to let you finish before I finish. You've you've done this to me before. <laughs> but last thing, <laughs> last thing is that yeah. uh, Stephen really, literally, 15 minutes before I asked him what the age of consent should be, and he said depends on how hot the kid is, and then yeah. wants to yeah. wants to make. And I thought that's funny. That's literally funny. And then decides that, that I'm funny. like the person that's like, it feels so weird. It feels racially motivated. I just want to, for the record, that was definitely taken out of context. I'm not sure what she was referring to there, but okay, go ahead, continue. It wasn't, but it was a joke. It was a complete joke. Okay. And that's, that's fine. Okay. It's a funny joke. It's an edgy joke and it's a funny joke. Continue. Okay, that's so it. take back, take back the night, Lav. What do you, what, uh, what do you want to say about your narrative? Or is that it? Yeah, oh, also, my OnlyFans is, I don't want to go too uh, much into detail because I don't want people looking for it, um, because there are certain stipulations around OnlyFans. I've changed the name. It is deactivated. And uh, yeah, it's gone. I'm never going to do it again. Uh, and it brought me great pain. I hated doing it. I hated sex work. I was put, I never, it never felt like a choice to do sex work. And the second it started feeling like a choice, I started feeling disgusting about it. I hope nobody goes on OnlyFans. Um, I think that porn should, in general, probably never be free. And I even think it should be more regulated than that. I think that there's a lot of things that I think about porn. And I think that, especially when you say, obviously, I'm I'm uh, not jump-starting my Twitch, but I've gotten on a lot of panels because of the way that I feel about feminism, because of the way I feel about porn. And I think when you, a bigger creator than me, get me wrong and say that that's, like, a way that I'm, like, promoting my only fans it's i like well, it's no, hold so on hold insane. on that would be a good way to promote your only fans no it, it would be I, if she kept it up it, it would be no but that's that's no, not you even know true. even if she took wait stop stop that's everybody not even true. wants okay everybody wants to look at the relapsed sex addicts only fans Please, that's way more interesting. Of like, that's pretty I'm not niche, the kind of person. Mate. That's pretty I, fucking it's, niche. No, it's literally, it's literally. I you don't Max. normally. It, no, it's literally. I don't normally do this. Dot com. I don't. <laughs> so I'm not saying. I'm not saying you're. Do, I'm not hear me talk or be like. I don't think anyone following me or seeing that messaging is gonna ever think that I'm. I'm like doing. Oh no, poor me. I literally not, got on. I literally was so mad at Madame Genevieve yesterday because she does this. Like, and you thought. Don't talk about her when she's not here. That's really fucked up. I don't care what you say. I have different principles than you. Don't hold me to yours. Okay, wait, just so we don't spend a lot you of time You don't hold yourself to yours. Wait, 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 real quick, just so we don't spend a lot of time arguing about stuff that's like not worth arguing about. It is, I will say as a third party server, it is absolutely the case that if some girl is talking about, oh, I really don't want to do OnlyFans, I'm not sure, but I'm going to like keep trudging forward, that there are a lot of people, we all agree, there are a lot of people that be like, oh man, like I got to see this like sexual relapse or whatever. Because like part of the allure of OnlyFans in particular, and really this is true of like all of amateur porn since the 90s, is like the idea that you're seeing something that you wouldn't normally, or something that's almost wrong to look at. Like these aren't professional porn stars, these are amateurs. This is a girl that doesn't even want to do porn, but she has to. There, there, there would be some problem. Okay, so I'm not it, saying that you're all I just want to be clear. I'm not saying that Lav is doing that because you did shut down your stuff afterwards and it's not like you were linking your shit in my chat. So I don't think you were doing that. But like that could be a way to advertise. I just I don't haven't even them. posted on OnlyFans yeah. for over two months. So basically, it's a bit, is it a bit like when Amaranth like, you know, teases titty pics and releases them, right? You're creating scarcity. It's a bit like that, but for skanks. Is that what you're saying? No. Wait, say that again? Wait, what? No. When so Amaranth... It's like, it's like if... It's, 
So Amaranth, like, you know, obviously teasing OnlyFans for a long time and then eventually showed a titty and everyone's like, I've got to see the titty, right? So it's like that dynamic, but for skanks, as in... No, it's like degradation. It's like I would be playing up on, on like, a degradation kink of, like, people knowing that, like... It's like rape. It's like consent, non-consent. It's like uh, someone is, like... Like, I don't yeah. really want to yeah. do this, but Which I will. Which is disgusting, sure. by the and way. It's not disgusting. It's not no, disgusting. It is, no, I'm a kink shamer. No, I it's, abso- no, it's fucking disgusting. Consent non It's absolutely No, not. it's disgusting. Yes, no, no. it's Without disgusting. Without getting into it, are we going to argue over whether every sexual kink is okay or not? Is that what we're doing right now? No, but violent ones? Absolutely not okay. Absolutely should not be normalized or okay. No. Women? Oh, my God, okay. no. I, this I would is like to rebut. I would like to rebut everything you just said. Based. Okay, so it would be a good way to advertise your OnlyFans. It would be like J.K. Rowling transitioning. Okay, <laughs> it's the thing. It's the thing everybody wants to see. And if it happened, it would it would break the internet. So let's just. I'm not saying that you're doing this. If but also, if you how don't successful say, do you think I am on OnlyFans? Genuinely, I'm not saying that you're doing that. Again, your degree of success has no bearing on whether you would use a great advertising strategy. That doesn't, that's not relevant. So okay. I'm not saying you're doing it consciously or that you're doing it at all or that you're doing it unconsciously, but I'm saying you, you could, it could happen. It could very well happen that later in six months or a year after going around saying, oh, OnlyFans hurt me, OnlyFans rape me, oh God, all these men's eyes on me feel so piercing. It's much more interesting to look at somebody who is reluctant and vulnerable and honest about the effect that you're having on them than it is to look at somebody who is like a Greek god, like Dr. Manhattan. Most women on OnlyFans are like Dr. Manhattan. He's naked, but he's not naked. He's so powerful and invulnerable. It just doesn't affect him when you see him naked. That's how it feels to look at most women on OnlyFans. But the idea of, of a reluctant woman is much more enticing. You, you must know that. So like the, the barely legal thing, Ugh. this is like barely consenting. Okay. So yeah, I can if, acknowledge that, six, and I think it's disgusting. Okay. It is disgusting, but we, I, but people are around. And men are disgusting. Are, and yes. And so. Hey, hold women. on, chill. Women love consent, non-consent too. Okay, so let's chill for a moment. Okay? Yeah, no, we're, we're, we're all disgusted. Right. We're all no, we're, there we're all aroused. There are literally studies showing that they do not naturally like consent, non-consent, and that it's desensitization. I can send them to you. We can have a bigger conversation about this, but you are wrong. Okay, Thank if you, you want to send me those studies, you can. But I'm telling you right now that you are misreading them, and what you're saying is absolutely not true. But if you want to send me one, that's fine. No. Okay. No, people literally go to like Amish communities, people who don't have access to porn and the internet and ask what their sexual taste is. And it's, not, they don't even think about this shit. They think it's yeah, fucking okay, well, but if, you, if you want to go to that level of socialization, you can find people that live in these communities that also think it's okay for their husband to beat the shit out of them every single day. Like, well, I mean, sure, what are you exactly. going to go there? Like, Dude, do you know how harmful it is that pe- we're like, we're saying that things like this are okay and people in the UK are using the fucking like, a rough sex defense when they kill their girlfriends and wives. It's despicable that anyone Wait, ever can I get away with that? that? This is normal and okay. <laughs> no, but people are getting away with that. Men are getting away with that. I don't think it like happens. Consent, non-consent, literally perpetuate shit like this. Literally perpetuate. I mean, if that's it makes the case, then like it makes it people having like, any kind of sexual attraction at all. Perpe- like people that think that sex is okay, are perpetuating rape. People that think that sex is okay, like you can make that argument for literally every type of sexual activity. Then. I made a TikTok about this like f- four days ago and got shadow banned. Someone was talking about consent, non-consent, and there was a 13-year-old in the comment section saying, oh, no, I think I have this, about consent, non-consent. And it's because we're literally not kink-shaming. It is okay to kink-shame, kink-shame violence. It is okay. Or else uh, okay, fucking 13-year-olds so, find this shit, okay, and they're like, okay. yes, I love this. Okay, so you hear, you see how you're setting yourself up to be this like figurehead of anti-kink, anti-porn, anti-OnlyFans, protect young people, blah, 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 blah. And if you become this really strong figurehead, and then in, and then six months, it. you're like, you're like, oh, actually, I changed my mind. <laughs> then uh, you think you're going to be pretty popular. So you're whether you're doing right. it on purpose, we need, hey, we need, you're right. we need some kind of, we, Not everyone is, on, is so flimsy on their principles as you are. So. Right. I think that I'll be just fine. But a lot of people are. You can a lot count on are. me. Wait, can we can, can we get into me. that? I will specific? post my personal address if I ever. Wait, why do you why do you think that Mr. Girl is uh, so weak with his uh, principles? What what part? Because I said I wouldn't talk about other streamers, and I'm talking about Lav. I also the way that you are like the way that you're like uh, I'm not. I'm really trying to avoid the parasocial relationships. 
and all of your like you I really think that you love that your fans feel so close to you like I think that you revel in it like and also like the parasocial relationship that you have with your fans is like not like one I've ever seen not what Steven has not what anyone not even what like only fans girls have like you have a unique relationship to your fans you do you have them on call and there's a premise here there's a premise to what you're saying there's a premise to what you're saying that 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 makes no sense and the premise is that if i if i revel in something i think it is morally good and that just ain't true (laughs) sure no (laughs) it would be great great for you to have a, a strong relationship with your fans if you weren't like i'm trying to avoid the parasocial nature of this platform it, like you, it means fucking well, nothing. I didn't, if I didn't want to mind fuck all my fans and crawl into their brains, you literally like, post lay, porn lay for little, your fans it, to see. Like you are doing yes, what I was doing, but I worse. Know. I never talked yes. to anyone who paid for my. That's porn. why I hate you, Lav. That's why I hate you because you are the part of me. You're the cancerous your part foil. of me. <laughs> I'm. Not, you're, yeah, you're, you're no. You're that. my. You're no, my. You're, you're my no, tumor. You're Thank you for literally You're my admitting tumor that you lab. have been projecting this whole time. That's actually so beautiful. And this was a great couples therapy. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're my tumor. And I've cut you out. And now you've turned into this little fucking alien thing scampering <laughs> around. But, but you're saying that you have good intentions. And I want I want to believe you. And so uh, when once you're on your way to being a doula in a few oh months. Oh, this is so... Uh, I don't even, don't even... I don't even want to talk to you anymore. This stupid fucking caveat. You, like, infantilize me. You're like... You're not my dad. Yes. There are like stipulations around when we stream together. You're so uh, fucking I don't know stupid. if that's true. <laughs> okay. About the like, dad that's so, or? It's so idiotic. Yeah. Like, and I told you that I was taking a break because I want to try to push this message. And so I don't want to, I don't want to have to go to school, do an internship or not an internship. Okay. But a shadow when you say I'm not your dad, when you say, babies, and then have a debate that not, morning. When you say I'm not your dad, what does that mean? Like you don't get to, you don't get to set rules for me. I said I do. No, you, I no get to boundaries, set boundaries, not rules. Yeah. No, so I, so no, so now it's that you've set a server. boundary, no matter how stupid it is, I don't get to. I'm not going to participate in your stupid narcissistic boundary. So then I can just take myself completely out of the equation. I don't want to stream with you. If you can. I, when I send you a handwritten, wax sealed invitation to my Discord server on parchment paper in six months, I don't you want don't it. People join, in you your, you don't, yeah, you don't have to join. You can rip it up. You don't have to join. You, someone who doxed me, you kept in your fucking channel. So I don't know what the fuck your principles are. I like have, you have no yeah. idea. one Let's, of those stamps. Those would be nice to get. You know, the metal ones that you can actually make those wax seals. I feel like that'd be really impressive. If you, you know what? Shaylin actually has one of those. So I actually really can impressive. I just can I just um listen, Lav, you were saying some absolute fucking bullshit earlier. To be expected, what with you being a woman and a sex worker. But True. you were saying that OnlyFans girls are less parasocial than Mr. Girl. What about an OnlyFans girl? There's a fucking girlfriend experience, right? That is like Oh the well sure, of- there are different but I think that I think that Max has like a boyfriend experience. What? Or a, even worse, like a therapist. Where do experience. I sign up for that? Holy shit. No, I, I think it's even worse because it's like, a you know, it, Max always brings up his like bachelor's degree and that his family are like a psychi- like psychologist or something like he's literally promoting this like I'm very smart. I'm very empathetic. Like, I know you. We feel this together. Like he's a therapist and also showing you his dick and coming inside of a fucking doll. Like it's so m- much more insidious than anything I've done. And I think get your bag, do whatever you want. But it's like insane that like you can't even understand that. You're like you're like Dr. K, but also a porn star. Oh, hold, to be fair, I did nah. see there was some porn of you with blood. <laughs> I don't think that's I think that's on the same page as fucking a doll head. So I don't want to say like, you know, let's not get too crazy here. That's on the same page. All right. Bathing in a tub of your blood and delusional. coming I've in del- a head. I've deleted those photos. I you're fucking delusional, is- love. This is just absolute delusion that you're engaging in right now. I'm not delusional. Right and to I think compare this is racially Mr. Girl motivated. To Dr- yes, it is racially motivated. Okay. I'm going to start popping out the slurs fucking before you know it. But there's <laughs> no way that Mr. Girl does anything close. I'll let you defend yourself, Max, obviously. But there's no way that Thank he does you. anything comparable to some of the shit. Why that are you, you white knighting fans. for Max? I'm white knighting for Max because he's my Jewish brother. And I hate Jews. So, you know. Oh. You're you're, you're my Jewish brother as well, mate. You know, so. (laughs) But you are not my Jewish sister. Okay, I've got another word for you, but we're not going to go there. I'm to clip that and use it as fuel against me. I also want to just. I just want to add that uh, Lev. Lav and another user in my Discord reported each other to the FBI, which most likely <laughs> most likely resulted right. in the FBI calling me to investigate allegations of sexualizing minors in my Discord. So another problem is when there's people in Discord that get the FBI to call me, 
I really don't like it. I reported him to the FBI because he was posting photos of himself with guns every day and talking about mass shootings and doxing me. And he has a bot in, in my, your, well, in my, in your no, chat, in your chat, logging everything, in a bunch of other okay. chats, logging everything. He's a fucking creep. That's why I reported him to the FBI because he needed to be reported to the FBI. And then sure. he falsely reported me to the FBI because of child porn. This guy's fucking crazy. He's psycho. And you're like, yeah, he's he has a home here. He sounds like he's concerned with law and order, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. You saying he has like a, a Blue Lives Matter sticker on his car? Or one yes. of those like flags with a blue line <laughs> no, in the middle of I, it? I think he's from I think he's from like Denmark or something. He's like those guys those guys have the US stuff. Our stuff transcends the world. If you have a that's US true, flag with true. a blue line in it in Denmark, they know what you mean. That's true. Russians love Trump, so huh? Okay. Yeah, is um, it? Yeah, defend yeah, yourself, okay. man. Uh, Come on, what are you doing? Oh, defend myself. Oh, yes. what, what about my relationship with my fans? I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I, it's like a, you get paid to hurt people. I don't fucking know. I Listen, I'm trying to wear a lot of hats. Rapper, artist, um, streamer, and and content creator. And um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know the best way to interact with my fans in a way that's healthy for me and them. And uh, I think that's something Fine. all streamers struggle with. But I, 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 my scientists are working around the clock, 24 hours a day, to try to figure this out. Is there a way to do this and still make money? I, I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. And that's fine. It's just uh, the fact that you, that you were so quick to write me off for doing something that you engage in, like, so much worse. And also, Dr. K. It's like, it's just, it's, it's nonsensical, dude. You know, uh, have you seen my video, um, Pedophiles Are Sick and Evil? Uh, I don't know. I don't remember if I have, but maybe. Okay, there's a, there's a part where I take a picture of myself as a kid, and I say, I want to be the first CGI child porn star. And so you're going to make this fully realistic model of me as an eight-year-old. You're right, that's like so... Just, you know, I cannot believe that you just said that and you like me talking about being anti-porn because uh, at 11, like I actually cannot believe you. Like it's actually I know. insane. Everything I hate about you, I hate about myself. It's true. Quick question. Would you give that out for free or would you make a business and sell it for a profit? I would give it out for free to save children. Okay. You know, I think, um, I think, uh, AI is going to solve all these porn problems, but it's going to put all, all porn makers out of business really soon. I don't think it's soon. Maybe eventually, but... I think I that think, people think... still value, like, a warm body that they feel like they can abuse. Over OnlyFans? Yeah, or any porn, any free porn. Yeah, but if, if the AI stuff might be free. So I agree there will still be people who... Uh, the thing is, though, the prevalence of people setting up an AI to pretend to be... A woman on OnlyFans will be, it'll be so widespread that um, it, I think it'll the get robots, to, it'll be like, the robots are taking our jobs. I think so. I think, okay. I think porn actress is a job that will be re replaced by robots pretty soon. I don't want to put any pressure on anyone, but I've got a message Hopefully. from someone here um, that has got the some path? sincere, no, no, no. Madam Genevieve has got some oh, sincere okay. disagreements. With, uh -oh. uh, of course she does. She's going to get on and literally actually do what Max has been telling me I'm okay, doing. Okay, wait, this is great. She's going to get on this, and be like, this is, this I is love a... sex. I love it. I love my fans. I love sex. I love fucking. You guys mind? I'm I already told her to I'll stop. I'll be right back. And I'm she's gonna like, no, drink. I need to get back on. I need people okay. to know I have an OnlyFans. Wait, this is a game show. Anytime you mention a streamer, they have to come on. I mean, that's kind of So anybody works, you right? talk about. Hassan Piker. Oh, yeah. Hassan Piker. Hassan nonsense. Piker. <laughs> you already mentioned Hassan, so now he has to come in here and defend himself. Base. Hassan's a fucking creep, also. Base, Wait, t tell us more. What do you mean? She's got any dirt? Anything. That'd be cool, though. Give yeah, us the yeah. juice. Uh, come oh, on. I have be like a, I have the question. whistleblower. I don't want to be the whistleblower, but just. Wow, wait, the fucking stop. Creep. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I hate to do this because I hate Hassan. But we are absolutely not going to play the vague allegation game with nothing being substantiated. So I don't think yeah, he's done I anything. Uh, I haven't, okay, yep, yep. So we're yeah, then one, we won't talk about wait, anymore. wait. Oh, we're moving on from that topic one hundred percent. What is the next thing we're talking about? Is it the Madam Genevieve does, girl? Is she coming on? Yes. Does Lav also want to shame submissive men? 
who want to be dominated by women in a consensually non-consensual context? Why or why not? Sounds good. Here's the thing. I uh -oh, think that there's a, I think that there's a unique relationship Oops. with with women in violence. Exposed. But I do. Whoops. But I do. But I do up. also agree that that should any violence towards each other should not be normalized. So I think that it is unique to women in the way that it harms us and keeps us oppressed. But I also do believe that, that it's a problem going both ways. Absolutely. I want you to answer the question. I did. I just did. I just you, didn't yes give an answer no. that you liked that you could pin me for. Do I think it's, do I think it's bad? Yes. Do you I think want that to they shame I, men? I don't want, do to, want shame to shame anyone. Men? I don't want to shame you, anyone. Actually, you said, you said you're pro kink shaming, you fucking liar. Ooh. Oh, I think like, yeah, I think generally kink shaming, but I wouldn't go up to one person and be like, you're disgusting. You should hate yourself. I would be like, I think we need to culturally kink shame about consent, non-consent. I don't think that we should shame individuals, though. Do you think we should culturally kink shame men who want to be dominated by women? Uh, No. Why? But I think, no, but I doesn't think that, we should have individual that, that, conversations. I think that we but, should... Well, couldn't that reinforce bad things? Careful, you're talking to the two-time domestic abuse champ here, okay? Back-to-back <laughs> -back domestic abusive relationship, so be gentle on this answer. You might offend you? me. You? Yes! You? I've had the two abuse? bad complainers thrown at me. The no, I'm the abusee, okay? Oh, yeah, yeah. See, that's, he's the one who gets... Dated some he's... violent women before, they're, okay? They're, they're big, they're rough. He's not uh, as I'm, tall as he I've, I've hit my partners before. Why I would you say that? Not cool. Because I want to be vulnerable. I think it's important to talk about shit like this. This is the same reasons I really like Max, is because I think it's important to say shit like this. Jesus. You just kind of thrown out there, though. Like, you not, you know. Yeah, I feel like you just one up me. Now I feel like yes, I need I to go we, get hit even more. We got the because same I think, cup, that, Max. I think that ties into what Max asked me. Like, I think that I have personally been violent towards men. And I think that I think that, that that was probably propagated by the fact that I think it's violence is normal and okay because of the porn I've watched, because of the. The content I watch because of the, also the way that we talk about how men are like, whatever. I mean, to be honest, like my, the person who I hit is like fucking six, two, I'm five, two. Like, I wait was a like, second. I what if I, so, I, I hit my ex a couple times. Yeah, that's not even surprising though. So we don't care. <laughs> just, what if, <laughs> what if I said, but what if I said it's because of the porn I watched? What would you say to that lab? Would that be a I good I think plenty defense? of people, that's not a porn difference. made me do it. That's not a defense. I think that that That's would what be you just another... said. You were like, you're like, I've hit men, but, but they were 6'2", and I watched a lot of porn, so it made me... No, mad. no, I'm not defending myself at all. I'm saying that there are things that probably led me to do that. It's still inexcusable. Do you think that it would make sense for me to say porn led me to hit a woman? I think it would make sense. I think plenty of people do fall down that pipeline, yeah. Okay. Hey, okay, Genevieve. so, Madam Genevieve, hey, Lav once Hi. again was talking mad shit about you, so... <laughs> That's a trend. I hate, lately, I hate women. I love women and I hate women. <laughs> um, yeah, I find it ironic that yesterday I, I said you seem to be sex negative and you said, no, you're not sex negative. However, you're out here like completely unable to comprehend the fact that me, a woman, actually does enjoy sex. Like, no, that I, that's, very you're so stupid. Negative. You're actually so stupid. Like, I, I like, hey, the idea that you my bad. It must be because I'm a dumb slut. It must be because I'm a dumb slut. Wait, 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 real quick. Yeah, wait, you're, wait, I wait. actually just said that. No, that didn't just come out of my mouth. Stop, so. stop. Can we, can we try to do this without name calling? Because I, listen, I love name calling, but if we do name calling, then the panel's going to end in five minutes. So, okay. Take a deep breath. No, I appreciate that. I think you equating, this is the problem. This is the problem. Me saying, Saying violence against women in porn is bad, and you thinking that that is women's sexuality, that I'm talking poorly about women's sexuality, is no, the you problem. Specifically that is not said, a normal Madam woman's sexuality. Your libido and your sexual appetite is so different from what you let men do to you. It's so different. These that are two might be the case things. for you, but that is not the case for me. And I think it's ridiculous. That I you think don't that you, I just want that to women are up. able I want to, to shake you have and wake you up. like a, an ownership and an understanding of their own sexuality and that they you might actually okay. enjoy it. You don't like that own just it. blows my mind. You don't, you don't own it. I hundred percent do. Every you post single into a website where, where they can screenshot those photos and put choice. them anywhere. You do not own it. These people As we discussed yesterday, I own... As we discussed yesterday in great detail, I own the copyrights to all of the content that I create, literally, legally. And I Good for actively you. That means no one's DMCAs doing anything on bad with it. You actually, you I'm not saying nobody's doing anything bad with this, but you are literally telling me that I don't own it. And I'm saying that's that's not true. Like, you I own I, it I, in like mine. a legal sense. That means fucking nothing. The way that people, it means like, that I. Do you know what social media is? I have control wait, chill, wait, over stop how my. 
finish. Let each other finish. Go, madam. Go. Let each other finish. It means that I have control. I have legal control over how my image is used and what content is put out and that I am the one who has to authorize if it's used in other capacities. That's significant. That's way better than the porn industry used to be where models or actors would get paid a flat rate and then the company would own that content and it could be distributed and used indefinitely in a million different ways and the woman I or actor or whoever is only getting just that one payment. Ha I know me that's... owning my content is majorly beneficial. Okay. Let me okay, let me break it down to you. I know that this is so much better than the porn industry. I can acknowledge that and that's what we came to on the stream. I know that that is so much better than the porn industry giving a giving a woman a buck 50 and being like, thanks for pussy. But this is what you are not understanding. And I tried to talk to you about this yesterday Jesus. is that do Thomas you, so Thompson. have you ever, have you ever like in your life had a man look at you as like a piece of fucking meat because you're beautiful. You have big boobs. Yeah. I was sexually harassed multiple times in my corporate job. Okay. So because yeah. of that, so, so now, now, okay. So your oppression exists, right? But now you're monetizing it. You're saying it's okay for you to do this, but you have to pay me for it. So then yeah. people are becoming, so then men are becoming desensitized to doing that. Do you think that's going to stop men from doing that to other women? Honestly? Wait a second. Can I, can I, can I interject really quick? Yeah. The thing about sexual harassment is not that women don't like having their asses grabbed. They do. It's just that they don't want you to do it at certain times or in yeah. certain contexts and certain that's relationships. That's exactly it's when it's a great point. Here's mm -hmm. this. Yeah. I, I like my body. I like being nude in certain instances, but I want to say when those instances are and who gets to participate in them. I don't want to be, I don't have my ass grabbed when I'm in an elevator, you know, going up to my office. Um, if somebody wants to offer me money to pay for nude photos that I took of myself and like, I like the way that I look in them, that feels that doesn't feel oppressive to me. I don't see if where you the wanted to are. do that. If you, if you wanted to do that for free, honestly, that would be different than you monetizing. Why do you think that people shouldn't be paid for their art? Capital, your art. I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna or their content in any capacity. Dude, Why do you think you not pay for your content creation in, in any capacity? You don't sub to people that you watch on YouTube or Twitch. If you, you don't, think if you like, think that some watching someone stream creators. is the same thing as watching a woman masturbate or have sex, like you were brain dead. Like I can't help you. Like I can't wake you up. Remember yeah, how we weren't gonna call each other names, yeah, but here you are continuing to call me. Hold on, can I can I interject real quick? I'm I, a have very a, I have a question. So hey, let the men speak. Let the men speak. These women fucking talk over us men the entire fucking time is so disrespectful listen i've been in a jewish household okay here's the question for both of you both of you seem to be like oh it's so great that people do only fans instead of the old models of doing porn sites and i actually wonder if that's true now hear me out on this okay if you were to take a thousand people who join only fans today versus a thousand people who went the traditional route of maybe going to bang bros or one of these other studios who would be more successful because my understanding is that the vast majority of people that go on only fans don't make money. Don't make That's it. True. Go through all of this. So That's true. aren't you literally better off if you don't do OnlyFans? Or at least you're better for the off very if you never do sex wait, work. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Stop. Hold on. Does anybody here have experience in the traditional porn industry? Yes. Not personally, but I have several close friends who work in the traditional porn industry. Okay. I I'm going to do a quick experience. anecdote. You are oh, yeah, you a little different. <laughs> stop. Shut the fuck up. Seriously. Hold on. This Because this will trigger the fuck out of me. Okay. So the stories that I've been told by porn stars that I was friends with was when it came to porn industry stuff, unless you were like a top build actress, you are churned and burned like crazy. People will film mm -hmm. one or two scenes with you. They don't give a fuck about you. You're probably going to blow like 50% of your paycheck on fucking drugs the next night and your life is shit. It's horrible. That type of churn and burn, even for a girl that's not successful on OnlyFans, is not even remotely comparable. The worst case scenario on OnlyFans is like nobody buys your content and maybe your asshole's out there forever. The worst case scenario in the porn industry is your agent steals 90% of your shit, people are fucking raping you, and you're doing crazy fucking drugs you're getting hooked on, and your life is fucking over because you can't book anything else. Like, True. I've heard a lot of horror stories personally from porn stars, so I don't like that comparison. Just do, do you, do you have any more personal that anecdotes that, that you want to throw in there, Steve, right. or any facts that you want to pepper into that? Because I well, heard the porn star is when I used to form. I, I used to film myself fucking your wife in your bedroom. Oh That's well, my see, the thing is, done, man. it was. When I was fucking your mom. She actually yeah. she was in the porn industry, and she told me something completely different. She really? Tell me experience. what she said, Dan. Go ahead. She tell me. said that basically her whole life was set up mm -hmm. as a result of going into the porn industry. It's crazy and that, that men don't mature past like thirteen. I think it's really beautiful. 
Okay, I want to point out a difference. I want to point out a difference <laughs> right, in, go ahead. In, in, go ahead. in Dan's in Dan's favor. Um, in the porn industry, with like if you're talking about bang bros, you're gonna get paid for your work. So you, a lot of people, probably eighty percent of the women on OnlyFans, even if they tried to join the porn industry, might not be able to. Especially if they're trying to join like a huge company that probably pays very well and is very successful like Bang Bros. And so it, maybe it's better to try to audition, get rejected, and then move on with your life and do something else than it is to be on OnlyFans making porn for very little money, way less money than the industry would pay you, and p possibly no money at all. And then, yeah, still have all the downsides of the nudity out there. And you're working, you're making porn, but for free. Just as like a quick, just like a quick thing onto that, okay? And if Genevieve or even Lab, if you guys heard different, feel free to tell me. But like, here's here's a couple differences between that, okay? So one, the people that are doing really well, like if you're working for like Bang Bros and you're one of like the stars, you're a top one of a one percenter. Like if you're on OnlyFans and you do some work and say you don't make so much, much money for it, you know, whatever, fine, fuck it. You take your shit down, you're done. Hopefully people didn't save it. Hopefully people don't spread it. Maybe they do, but whatever. But if you do a, an official shoot, Somebody's cutting you, and dude, there are videos that are that are that I still watch today. Sometimes our point videos where the actresses got paid like five hundred bucks for a shoot, or maybe a thousand dollars for a shoot if they were like pretty popular. And those videos, they don't own that. The company that paid for that, they own it forever. They can distribute it forever. The girl can never take that down. Can never buy it back. Can never do anything. I would argue that in terms of ownership of your content, that model is a lot more scary than just doing OnlyFans and failing. From so, what I've heard, and maybe other people have heard different. Okay, so my thing, that is a hundred percent the point that I've been trying to make here. If you are somebody who is wanting to go into the adult world and create adult content, be it pictures, porn, whatever the case may be, being able to own that and the fact that OnlyFans gives people that ownership now is a huge improvement from the previous model. Have you gone to court because of this? Have you ever sued anyone be for for releasing your photos? So we talked about this yesterday again, too. I file DMCA claims when I find okay, them leaked, but I'm not suing happen? people now. I'm, they get taken yeah, down. So they happened. get taken down. They, I Sometimes, don't want them leaked. What if they I want don't. people to find them only through my site. They if always you file it, If you file a DMCA for any site hosted in the United States or most of Europe, it will get taken down. It, yes, you know I've the, had success. You know, the funny part about this whole thing is typically to actually have DMCA rights to do a takedown, you're supposed to file every piece of content that you make with the Copyright Office. Did yes. you guys know that? And if you I've go to court, I've never heard that in my entire life. I'm yes. almost You'll, positive that's not true. You have you to want bet my, you're stop, telling you. bet me money. Bet me money. Hundred bucks. Don't look at chat. Hundred dollars. Do it. You hundred bucks yes. because I've not done that, and I have DMCA six. DMCA no, does not. Is in my email no, no, right no, no, now. No, no, no. Saying that's not. That's not content. what he's asking. What he's saying is if somebody counterclaimed the DMCA and you went to court, would you win the yep. court case? I'm no, almost you would positive not. you don't have to file. I'll bet you $100. You would All right, we're no. on. Let's do it. There, okay, now, we'll look it up you, sometime. Places like yeah. Reddit, Reddit makes you prove the fucking copyright. No, Reddit it absolutely does not. not. It, it does. It does. Unless not. It matters, not. Literally, don't trigger me. Unless you talk don't to the moderator, this don't has me. happened no, to me. No, it has never. It has, has not happened to you. It has not happened to you. It has not happened to you. You're fucking lying. Or you're not filling the form out correctly then, Lav. If you fill is, the format it, right, you don't have to do it. It is literally okay, part of the safe I'm, harbor provisions that you Steven, do not have to I will actually kill you over this. I will actually kill you over this, so I don't want to talk to you about this anymore. But regardless, with that, with, with even though you, so you're just going to have to keep filling out those fucking reports, just and then yes. people are just going to keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it. Now you are still, like, it doesn't even matter. It's like for the amount of time before you even realize it's out there, people still have access to it. What the fuck are we talking about? Can I just interrupt oh, real shit. quick and say, Max, oh, me I'm and my, uh... What the fuck are we talking, what the fuck are we talking about? <laughs> Max, me and my, uh... Online. He sees no value well, in talk me owning that. my content versus right. me working That's for an fine, industry That's fine, but now, or a company nothing to do with Lav's opposition to women having sex or whatever the fuck it is. Can I just uh, know, now we're, calm. we're getting into semantics. This, this panel was a lot calmer before the women joined, I just want to point that out before we continue. Mr. Oh Girl, God. continue. Okay. I, 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 I wanted I to tell Mr. Girl wanna... real quick that I wanted to let you know that me and my normie friends that I play Rust with, we all together watched your video where you fucked a doll and they loved it. And they're normies. They're not exposed to it. I just want to say that you're having real other exposure Wait, who out are you there. What are talking about? Oh, Thank my you. Rust group. No, it's a big compliment. You're you're welcome. We, we, we thought it was that. hilarious. It was great. I, I mean, just, their I just, sad while we're, happy. let's go, go back Sorry, to what we were talking about. about. No, no, because Mr. Girl was talking and I interrupted him. That's I just wanted to give him some good news. No, he said we need to get back on track. No, Mr. Girl had the floor. Yep. That is that is exactly the type of I made the video for you. That's exactly what I wanted. Um, and my friends. So thank you. And your friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You plural. Um, yeah, I feel like I don't know what the what we're talking about. It just feels like you guys are really mad at each other. And 
um, oh, in the in lav lav you're mad at me and i let's feel um let's bring it i'm not mad at you i'm not mad i'm not mad i'm laugh i'm not mad i'm just disappointed but i think that we're we should right now that's the meme we're all hurting we're all in pain yeah i tell you I you're not like, my dad you say that. yeah don't ever say that to me again i think that we should try to get back on some sort of topic that m matters so like are we, are we debating like are we de okay let me recenter so part of the reason I also, I think that you have a very unique experience, uh, uh, Madam Genevieve, because you also did this when you were like older. So I think that part of the insidiousness, the heinousness of OnlyFans is that it's like, it's advertising to like freshly 18 year olds, people who don't know what the fuck they're signing up for. As does so, all of the sex industry. Sure. And that's why I hate the fucking sex industry. <laughs> But well, also and all of entertainment online too, like Twitch and YouTube. Right, and all like you can make money. Like, have your naked body out as a woman, Stephen. Don't even do this. Like if, it's if so women's, fucking different. Oh, if women's you brains. The wrong guy there. Okay, hold if on. Women's... Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go a little hard on this. No, I'm sorry. No, it's no I'm naked... not done. I'm not done. I'm not done. Stop silencing women. Oh, hold done. on. You mean you, you call also, it dirty? And then having also... a naked body, having a naked body out today also, on the internet is nowhere also, near also, as big a deal also, as it used also, to be listen, when I was growing up. And then okay? also, mm. uh, sure, sure, and that means Ooh, he, fucking nothing because you. you're fucking 62 anyway. No, um, that's not true. No, that's actually a good point. Most, most. I, my also, my, my problem with with you. You said you were gonna center, but you're just rambling. Fucking make a point and then let people respond. Up. That's I, what I I'm saying to you. Finish the Shut fucking up. point before you guys want to talk over me. Shut up. But you should have. You're it's like, like me. Right. I don't get everyone. to talk for three hours. I can't serve you. Can for I? three hours. Shut up, Max. Jesus Christ. Okay. Anyway, All right. my last thing, my last problem with you is that I think that people who are successful on OnlyFans have a duty to publicly critique it and not say things that are positive about it. I genuinely think that we have a duty to women. That, to not talk like, mm, I love this. It's so great. Like, I think that we should fucking gatekeep girl bass the fuck out of it. Like, because I hear one good thing. I'm 18. I'm not thinking about the fucking rest of my life. I don't even know what death means yet. I'm 18. I'm like, I'm gonna live for fucking ever. I don't know what this means. I hear one good thing. Money. I'm like, I don't care. I don't care as much as whatever. Okay, we get the point. Should it, couldn't anybody say anything oh about like God. high school sports? That was really condescending, Steve. Well, no, we, I don't. The, I don't like the same point repeated like thirty times. We understand. You hear it as a young person, and you're tempted to go into it. Isn't this the same of every kid that starts playing high school, like football or basketball? Isn't it like the same thing? Yeah. Like you can join the NBA, you can join the NFL. Like, but I think the problem is it doesn't matter. You can say as much as you want. People should talk out against it. You know, that's not going to. Should you talk rushing. against doing sports in high school and college then? Yeah, of course. But that's the thing. Yeah. It's just a very broad military. sentiment. It should be it's a broad sentiment. It doesn't do anything, right? You know okay, what we need. So, sorry, go on, Mister Go. I think our women's brains develop a lot slower than their bodies that's true right that's yeah. and, and men too but and, but so that's part of what we're talking about right yes where the the age at which people want to pay the most money to look at you naked you are less um equipped to understand what that really means exactly I think I don't, but I think that you could probably um, acknowledge some of the counter arguments being made. Like I think Stephen is right. Most people now do take pictures of, the, of themselves naked. Most, like we all, no. Yes. Oh, most I, I, people when it comes are sending like, nudes in some yeah. context, oh, oh, right? Sure, sure, sure. In some sure. capacity. Okay. Sure. I'm just so saying that, that. I'm just that, saying that. Like, you, on, on what Max is saying, like, it used to be a really big deal a long time ago if nudes got leaked. That's like the end of the world these days. Sure. I don't think it's anywhere near like that. Go ahead, Max. No, not even close. Because even even if everybody doesn't show their nudes, everybody has them and has seen picked nudes of their I partners think, and some I of their friends. This is also a problem, though. I Maybe think you think it's a problem, you're not but it's certainly it is all, it's not. It's, it's certainly. I'm extremely it's certain, sex positive. My whole platform is about sex positivity. It's, it's that's not true, Lev. But it's extremely. It's extremely destigmatizing. You don't think women can enjoy sex. Sorry, Max. What the fuck are you saying? Wait, wait, let's let let before I jumped on. Hold on, wait. Let Max finish. I love having sex. I hate having sex in which someone thinks I can be violent. Come on, listen. I can't beat you in this time round. So please, let 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 Max finish. I feel like we just cucked the fuck out of his shit like twenty times. Sorry, go. Okay. Okay. Just the fact that everybody has nudes and takes nudes, 
mm -hmm. sends them to each other, has a strong destigmatizing effect. And I think that part of the harm of porn, when you say, oh, you don't know what you're getting into when you're 18, part of the harm is like the sexual confusion and exposure and money and blah, blah, blah. But another huge part of the harm is stigmatization. And that that part of the harm is greatly being reduced, where you're, it's not true that you're ruining your future now. I think in 10 or 20 years, if you're applying for some corporate job and the recruiter or HR person finds out that you have there's naked pictures of you on the internet i don't think they're going to care sure I, that's not my position i don't think that that's like the biggest position i have in fact i i, I my didn't say it was the biggest position you had i just said it's part of I what don't you're even talking think that about hold you on just, that was a big were, part of you your said... position because you were literally saying there was nudes of you on the internet forever that's so that was a huge and part of your position of course it was. yeah no, I'm, that's you were saying you were saying that's what and you no, said it, when Stephen it, it said it's not no when Stephen when Stephen said it was not a big deal as it used to be and you said yeah but you're 62 you clung to, to the argument you you that's fine but in the process of saying that you actually attached yourself to this that stupid argument right. that you made I should be less sinking. quick to anger you're right I don't actually the anger I don't is not the problem um, sure. I don't actually think that I think that honestly I think that if you run a successful OnlyFans from the ground up I think that you're showing expert marketing expertise, right? Like, I think that, I think that that's, uh, that's like incredible. And I think that, I don't think that these women who are doing this are like dumb, stupid. I just think that like, I think that there are have so you, many things in play. There are so many things you, in play. So if I could respond okay. to your, your, and your last problem with me that you stated a few minutes back that you think women should be giving fair representation, so on and so forth. That absolutely happens. Um, the majority of my friends and people that I interact with also have OnlyFans or do other types of sex work. And we do trade stories about some negative experiences. The reason, however, that um, I don't think that that needs to be like the primary headline as you're making it is because for, for me, for me, and since we're here talking about our experiences, it has been more positive than negative. And I feel I have more control over how I can respond to people who talk to me or treat me in an inappropriate way than I did in other work situations. Sure. I also think that you have to acknowledge that you were in such a unique situation in starting at the age that you did. Most did I not acknowledge you, that like 17 times? No, but you, so this is what I mean. Like when you are giving out prescriptions or when you are saying, I love sex work and like people who follow you, if any woman sees this, any 16 year old, 17 year old, 18 year old hears that, they're not going to give a fuck about any bad thing. They're going to think, oh my God, she loves it. She makes so much money. They're not going to think about your age. They're not going to think about your confidence. They're not going to think about anything like this. They're not even going to internalize that feeling. They're just going to be like money going for it. Well, that, I, if we're going to treat sense. people this stupidly, I, this sounds like a little Dude, bit like any, insane. If this was with boys, kind of the boys point I was making yesterday as well. This is not like an infantilizing women thing. People yeah, but, are but this is but there's no. At this age. But what you're saying is you are infantilizing sense. women, though. Oh my God, you're so right. That's my whole platform is I don't think women should speak. And I'm well, you're basically saying myself. that like if a woman hears that like, oh my God, I can make money at 18. I'm so fucking retarded. I don't, I can't think of any potential negative downsides. Like, in fact, not only this, the military, actually, the military, perfect foil for men. Perfect. Hold on. The military is not a foil. The, hold on. That. Wait, hold on. The military is not a foil. The military can offer you a fuck ton of benefits as a young man, especially if you're looking for discipline, especially if you're looking for education. So no, that's not even a good example. Number one. Number two. It's I the closest we have. No. Number two. I don't even think this maps onto real life experiences. I seriously doubt there's ever been a girl who's like, oh, I'm going to start an OnlyFans. I don't think there's any negative downsides at all. I'm sure there's a lot of consideration that goes into thinking about the pros and cons of it, depending on what's going on. I doubt that they just like, oh, I heard somebody say something good about it and I'm going to do it thinking there's no downsides. You're being sure most people really are going to go and reach insane. out and talk to other creators. And if somebody does yeah, reach out to me, then I'm going to talk to them and tell them like, you know, why did, why do you think this is something that you want to do? Are you working in the adult industry in some other way? Like, what do you want to do in 20 years? Like, I'm going to ask them those questions. People used to ask me for advice constantly on Instagram, whatever. People used to ask me for advice and I'd be like, I don't think you should do it. I don't think anyone should do this. I like, I would yeah, not but you recommend but you, you. you clearly didn't think that because you were doing it, right? Have you collected no, your I last don't... payment from OnlyFans? Have I collected my last payment? Like I don't you want still to have another account is through the end you of the month, another, is it not? You still have another, do you have another bank account transfer coming? Um, because it just I sounds, don't know this how just, it works. Just, this just, this just, Chaff, kind you of need to get out of the 747, sorry. Go ahead. I don't know how it works. It only gives you a certain amount of money through I'm, I'm the just, month. Okay, I'm just saying, isn't all of this a little come to Jesus? 
no. evangelism where like you just are now saying this shit when you still essentially work for the company? Your account you still active even... through the end of the month is what you had tweeted a couple days ago. Is that correct? Yeah, I said, so, no, so everyone who bought it. So, all, your so I don't want to talk about this because I don't want people to find it. I really don't want to talk about just, this because there are things that go into it. I don't want people to find and go looking for my OnlyFans right now. I don't want to talk Please about Please don't shit give like me $20. This. No, if you, no, I, I've completely changed. Why don't you just, wait, why don't you, why don't you raise the, why don't you raise the price, why don't you just raise the price to $20,000? I'm not going to talk about this anymore. I'm not going to talk about this anymore publicly. Max, if you want to ask me questions about you, I will tell you in DM, but I'm not going to answer that question here. I don't have any questions. Obviously, I'm just asking a question to kind of bring, I'm not, it's not a real question. Okay. What I'm really trying to say. You don't have Max to answer. Max is making an accusation that you don't really believe this. He's saying you're just having like it's, a. I know it's, it's, not, it's, not so much, it's not so. It's not so much that I'm saying you don't believe it. I'm just you're saying being it sounds. Yeah. No, it sounds. It sounds like you're. I'm shutting um, it down. That's not. That's not. I listen. And also, even if that works. Okay, let me lev, lev, lev. Shut the fuck up for a second. Just listen to me. I would love for you to say something sensical. Okay, I'm going to. Okay. It sounds like a lot of this is an emotional response that you're having to an experience you had, which is valid. And it's your not an emotional response. And it, and I have your not anecdote, even talked about your, my experience it, here. Lev, I want to just say something. Your anecdote you. matter. Well, don't. <laughs> well, don't. Your, your, your experience matters and your I anecdote hackers matters. I have working on your address as we I'm speak. Sure you go. Your anecdote matters and your experience matters. But it's not directly translatable to like the kind of policy arguments that you're making. And so I just think if you talked more about your experience and you could compare it to Genevieve's experience, and they don't have to be mutually exclusive. You could have different experiences because you're different people. That doesn't necessarily mean that we all have to agree with you or all have to agree with Genevieve. We can all take away. And it would be really interesting to hear you guys um, share and contrast your experiences. But it's not as interesting hearing you say, because this is my experience, I'm not even talking that about I, experiences. I, that I haven't even stopped doing yet. Just I have feels stopped. like I haven't. Okay. I I I have stopped. Even if I haven't stopped collecting money, I'm still not doing that anymore. I'm not on the fucking like. I, he's I not mean, saying you're doing it. He's just saying there's a recency to it. Is what he's saying. If there's I make money, if I make money, policy. if I make money from now until then, I will screenshot will it, it and me. I will show that I am you will donating it, you will give it to, to girls me. who want to get out of sex work. You will Thank donate you. it to me. Anyway, lab a little bit here. Okay. Because like the idea that there's this like OnlyFans hack and you can like go off OnlyFans or like talk about how it's not good and criticize it and then like generate all of this interest, I think is like really simplistic and really like belies this kind of weak understanding that is like very much an outsider position. I follow the subreddit called like, I don't know, OnlyFans advice. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, you sound, you're super distorted. You're really blown out. Like, I'm like really oh, I'm like really it's, close. It's, Sorry. Um, it's super, it's really undermining yeah. everything you're saying. <laughs> yeah. You're How making a dumb point anyway, though. So keep going. No, you're getting, no, something's going on where you get either like a gain or a boost turned really hard. The mic is clipping like crazy. Yeah. That's what's yeah. Going on. yeah, yeah it's, it just sounds, it That's just sounds better. terrible. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. sorry. Um, fuck, my, my gain always gets fucked up. Anyways, okay. So these people on the subreddit, they basically like post all of these like advice things. And it's, it's exactly like streaming and like everyone understands this who has like any experience with media where you have these like small YouTubers or streamers and they always think that there's like this hack to get into it. But like the reality like fundamentally is that like if your content's good, you'll get like followers. And if it's not, you won't. And I think people kind of want it both ways where like people will talk about like if you post your asshole on the internet, it's out there forever. Right. And that's true if you are like massively successful. But the reality is that like there are YouTubers who have like um, like millions of followers and they're going to be forgotten in three months and only fans people who like barely can get any money from it are not going to be remembered so i think that like i think it's really important to like not oversell the benefit of only fans like it's like anything else where it's like there are trade-offs okay, this is true but this is true of every entertainment ever like everything the top one percent is making 99 percent no it's sports, not yeah, because of the unique experience of female oppression Please and sex-based oppression we're not talking oh, about jesus oh, right Christ now. I'm just talking about in terms god of the, damn it i'm just talking about in terms of the structure of things right this is true of everything <laughs> in entertainment it's true of people that want to be music majors it's true of people that truth stream on twitch ath ath athletes like all of it right like it's not this isn't unique to only fans or anything Okay, there's a special problem though with OnlyFans that I feel like has not been articulated. And okay, I think that that's, yeah, yeah. So like there's this like sense of when you engage with porn, you are 
Engaging with your baser desires in a way that I think for many people makes them less able to control those desires in the future. So like if you're the kind of guy who is like masturbating to porn, like whenever you feel like it, you're not exercising restraint. And I think it makes you like the kind of person who's less likely to exercise restraint in the future. So okay, so you, you, wait, wait, do you have any Hold evidence that that's true? This. Stop! There is a study that talks She's about this quite a bit, right. and it's a big study in Portugal where they decriminalize literally all forms of fucking porn, and I think drugs as well, and you saw the rates of sexual assault and everything fall in this country. So I've never seen any study ever linking that an increase in the consumption of porn leads to an increase in the it. consumption of- Look for it, no, it's there, hold on. promise. I'm not going Look to because I have there. looked for it and because it's the opposite. And especially because I know so it's true stupid. and because it's even the opposite in terms of, it's really uncomfortable, but even in terms of child porn, it is the opposite. When people get access to these materials, it doesn't mean that they go out and they sexually abuse more. It's usually they're sexually abusing less. And I've seen yeah. that done time and time and time and time again. If you have something that shows the contrary of that, I believe I'd be interested this in was, okay, that, that's not the, that's not the claim that I'm this trying was to make. This substantiated by the psychologist make, that, make, that I interviewed yeah. about child porn as well. Is okay, and if you want to make another claim about like the dopamine hits that we talk about, that people yeah, yeah, are having yeah. a that's, trouble, that's, yeah, that's fine. Down. Nothing to do with porn. That has to do with the broader way that we engage in society. That's a good conversation to have, but to try See, to man. narrow that down into porn, like this is across. It's, no, <laughs> porn you, is you a got it. You got to let me say infection. my thing because I'm getting to this, right? Okay. Like, because right, the, the claim that I would make too is that it's like very similar to alcohol consumption. Or, like, people abuse alcohol consumption or they people abuse like sugar consumption, right? And I don't mm -hmm. think that we should like ban alcohol or ban sugar. But like we all recognize that there should be like certain regulations with how people engage with sugar and alcohol. So I think that like I think Lav is like half right, but like you have to be really careful with the road you go down with this because you can get like really extreme really quickly. And I've argued with people who like literally think that porn is like worse than heroin. That's like obviously nonsense. <laughs> um and you just yeah, you have to be like realistic. I worry about that. Yeah, I'm I'm obviously not I, I think I get a little angry, especially when I'm uh, Max is here. So I think that I'm I'm just reacting emotionally uh, in the room. But I think that you are right. I'm not I'm not as extreme as my 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 whiny voice uh, would. Well, you're oh, with the, here's the, here's the, the position. Other thing. Hold on, wait. To be clear, just real okay. quick for lab, the positions you've carved out seem quite extreme. When you're saying that you're against like normalizing like couples taking nudes for each other on phones, that's a pretty extreme position. When did I say that? Because I didn't. How like, many people here heard her say? Hold on, wait, wait, wait. How many people in here heard her say that early in the conversation? Max is raising I her hand. Okay, I heard that. Heard that. So three. You're at least lying. Tried. Did you hear it? Yes, I did. Okay, so this is I'll, this is a okay. conspiracy. Okay, I hold on. Well, so, oh, hold on. Maybe you misspoke, or maybe we all misunderstood you. But okay, that was the impression we misspoke. Earlier. Maybe the impression we had earlier was that it seemed like you were against even people taking nudes personally, which was an extreme position. But maybe oh, you didn't feel that way. Just all okay. No, I said that I realized. No, I said I realized that people did that, and I think that that's different than capitalizing off of it. Okay, but here's okay. like the second dimension, and it's sort of what Destiny is talking about, where I think that there's like there's a real problem in society where like people are engaging with sex less, and like millennials especially, or like the younger generations are having less sex in general. And I don't know if it's connected to porn consumption or like the general increased sexualization of society. But I think like it is a little bit worrying when people can like get all of their sociality from Twitch streams or all of like their sexual gratification through the internet, because really what we want people doing is like going out and forming those experiences. So when you say things that like, well, when people consume porn, it doesn't increase their chance of like, you know, raping or whatever. I, I think that's true. And like when people, you know, engage with these things, I don't necessarily think that it causes them to like go out and suddenly have like tons and tons of sex. Um, that would be bad if it did. But like, um, I, I think it's, if anything, it's the opposite. And that's also dangerous. So sure. but, like, to uh, that, to that, I would say yeah, that ahead. in, in UK, there's a study that's one in four women have had okay. sexual have had sexual relations with one with someone who during consensual sex hey. <laughs> uh, choked them Shut or hit up. them. Nobody cares. This is gonna change anybody's opinion. Okay. Unwanted, right? Now people are also using the rough sex defense. Oh wow. When they kill You've their changed wives everything. Or we all we changed our minds. Okay, I want to make a medical thing. Is that want, like you no. start talking about rough sex or whatever as if it's like you're sort of, it's like the argument oh. of like, I hate burgers. And you're like, why? And it's like, turns out they just hate lettuce, right? We're like, okay. I, I want to make a meta comment. I don't, obviously rough sex can is I, a bunch of I, different I, things. I'm talking about violence. I, okay, so I just say Slav. something about this? Mr. Girl, go. Say this? Okay, this conversation is starting to really piss me off. Because um, we're not going to change each other's minds about porn or about rough sex. 
or about any of the shit that you're talking about in these studies. No one in the history of ever has just been like, oh, here's a study about porn, and the person, the other people are like, oh, God, I guess porn is bad. It makes people rape each other. We're, that's not going to happen. I, I don't would think do we that. should be trying to. Fuck you. I would. But go ahead. Okay. Okay. I'm not, I'm not saying that it, if, the, if the conversation is about let's do a research stream where we're comparing statistics about stuff, blah, 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 that's one thing. And that can be a part of a broader conversation, but that's not really the conversation we're having. So I, I, while I agree and I believe you, if you see strong evidence of something, you will change your mind on it. But my point is that we're not going to change our kind of like basic values about it right now. I think it would be better if we could compare our values or try to articulate our values because there might be things Emotional. that you and Genevieve... Emotionally. Share our there might feelings. be things that... We share our feelings more or our values or beliefs or whatever you want to sure. use word word you want to use to make it sound less gay. But I think you and Genevieve probably have a lot What's of overlaps. Nothing. That's why I'm advocating <laughs> for a gayer a gayer panel. I think there's probably a lot of overlap in your beliefs and Genevieve's beliefs and um, Stephen's beliefs and uh, all of us that we could explore and sort of collaborate to figure out what like what, we all agree there's like a problem. Um, I think. Or there are problems and kind of trying to work together to figure out what they are given our different perspectives would be great instead of being unable to talk about what they are because of our different perspectives. Sure. Okay. Um, Chud Logic wanted me to say that everyone should follow his channel. I don't know why I'm supposed to say this, but he said he didn't want to. So I feel like go. everyone should also follow <laughs> my channel to send me hate mail. And yet I'm it's the like one on so here for fucking... shameless self promotion, huh? It's so yeah, fucking my, cringe. It's my degradation kink. Gotta do it. Gotta do it. Okay. Well. Okay. So. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. So, Genevieve. That's cool. You agree. Uh, okay. I I want to I I kind of want to frame the problem in a way that we can all agree on. We okay. want we want to see women naked before they are mature enough to fully understand the implications of that. <laughs> right. As a society, we all, we yes. All, the society does. Society, we don't personally do, freak. Well, and I do, personally, personally. Okay, personally, oh we all God. do. And, oh, and our yeah. beliefs about... Okay, way before. What age, do you, what age do you think somebody has to be before you believe them when they say, I've decided I want to make porn, and I'm okay with how this is going to affect the I feel like we had this exact oh. conversation today, huh, Steve? Maybe. What the... F what is that sound? Lab, your shit is going crazy. We can't hear you. Typical woman with a bad audio. What else is now? Okay. I think that so the age me, as it is at 18. Okay, Sorry, for I didn't me mean it's to about it's, I think for me it's probably like 32. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, don't I mean think I think the other way you can ask this question is like, would anyone here be like very against raising the age at which you're allowed to post nudes or make no. money off of them? Because like Sounds I good. think it would be reasonable to raise it to like, you know, 21, 22 or something. I think that'd be like a fair, you know, thing to do. But then I think then as I'd long as we see another picture of an 18 year old naked, as long as we consider 18 year olds adults and they're financially responsible, they're participating in the world as adults in other capacities. I don't, I you don't know what? So as someone who discussed this conversation at length today with Steven, We'll say the age is fine. However, the problem is that you have no context going in. What should happen is when you go to do OnlyFans, you should have some generic AI machine that looks at you and says, you know what, you're a four, okay? You're probably not gonna even make $100 doing this. And that's a fact. In 99 people that look like you that come on OnlyFans, don't make $100 the whole time doing it. So there's your realistic expectations of what's gonna happen. I, th that's I think what you're, should I think you're, I think like you're way has over emphasis. I think you're way overemphasizing the objective attractiveness of somebody on OnlyFans. Well, just on a, on a first yeah, 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 like, you, know like, like, you get what he's trying to say. You get what he's trying to say, don't you? Before yeah, getting they're, into they're the meme arguments. They're nitpicking. Before yeah. getting into the meme arguments, I think that what Genevieve said is true. If 18 is the age of majority, then that's the age at which they can do things. It doesn't make any sense that you can decide, like, literally the course of the rest of your fucking life when you're choosing college classes at 18 and then taking on student loans, but you can't choose whether or not to take naked pictures of someone on the internet. We have to go to war online somewhere. That's that's. 18 seems to be that line we've drawn, so that's where it is. Okay, that's fine for how things are, but I'm I'm wondering at what age, if you hear somebody say, if you hear a 22-year-old say, I've decided I want to make porn and I know what I'm doing and blah, 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 do you actually believe they know what they're doing? I legitimately wouldn't know, believe somebody until they're like 30 to 35. 
but like okay, that would be true I, about that, everything. That, but that's but that's not a realistic way to set up society, right? I'm not I'm not saying it's a, I'm not saying I, I just want to I'm not saying that Come we on. should do that. I'm just saying we should acknowledge that you and I, being in our 30s, and probably mm -hmm. Dan, I assume would agree, um, and maybe Chud too. I mean, maybe fuck, maybe all of us agree. I might feel what? differently though when I'm 45. Maybe I'll think that, damn, I was a dumb fuck in my 30s. Maybe Wait, people need to be 40 the, for that. Finish right? the sentence. That's okay, so my, my point is that we don't have to say that the answer to this question means that it's a prescriptive argument that we're making that we're going to stick to to raise the age of consent to whatever number this is. I think it would be meaningful for us to acknowledge that when we hear somebody in their early 20s say, oh, I know what I'm doing, we think, no, you fucking don't. You're in your early 20s. And I want to acknowledge the tension in that of being like, I still want it to be legal for you to make porn. I still want it to be legal for you to take pictures of yourself naked and send them to people, me, whatever. But I also want to acknowledge that you're too young to even really be totally cognizant of what you're doing. And there's, there is tension in that society wants to look at people naked when they're young, but also knows that they're not really old enough to fully grasp what that means. And then when, as Chud is bringing up, the um, there's like a big corporation that is is solving um, solving engagement problems with their audience and their users and their porn producers algorithmically. Like, they're, they're, OnlyFans is the company and Pornhub are going to use machine learning to optimize engagement from the viewers. And that is going to do fucking weird things to the people making the porn that the typical traditional porn industry doesn't. And is it, is it safe to expose people to these perverse incentives? going to make it a lot more profitable i think is the is the main thing which drives more yeah. people into it absolutely and so as this is happening and it's happening with streaming and social media it's happening to us right now it's making us that the optimization we we, uh, we check our metrics and it, it affects our behavior we're all being tuned to optimize for engagement in ways that are probably harmful to us and to our viewers and I think we should acknowledge that, and it doesn't mean we have to change the law or raise the age of consent to 35, but I think we should acknowledge that we're doing it to people who are pretty young and not, not very developed mentally. Yeah, I mean, I think the thing here is that you have the introduction of these technologies, which have never existed before in human history. So, like, the scale of pornography is totally fundamentally different from what any culture has had, like, contact with. And I think that as a culture, we have to learn to reckon with that in the same way that we have to learn to reckon with, you know, social media use as a whole. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. it's like a piece of the problem, you know, the, the bigger content consumption, the access and the ease of which we have access to things at all hours of the day, I think is the bigger issue. And this porn consumption can play a part in that, certainly. I, can I just I point something that, out? Sorry, true. Destiny, I think you were being a bit harsher to Dan there. You said he had a meme argument. Dan was making a perfectly reasonable point in a funny way, which is that OnlyFans should present some information about what someone's going to earn. I think no, that's perfectly because reasonable. Nobody, nobody would even be able to figure that out. It's, that's like an unsolved. No, it's, it's very reasonable. You know what it is, is that it's no, a great point. We already know the average. You're going to have him go ahead and make this his idea in six months, and all of a sudden everyone's going to be, oh, soy, king, 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 but just nowhere <laughs> fucking oh. spawn right here so we, we already know the average the average uh averages don't matter monthly here. income is a hundred and fifty dollars yeah, but aver averages don't matter here for this time that's of the average it's not even the median no you don't want it's so what you average. want is subtract the yeah. top three percent then give me the average and then yeah. Yeah. Wow. Oh, oh my god if, like, yeah. if, if only there was a statistical number for removing the extremes at both ends to figure median. out like you have to be the median good like job no, but like I'm just saying that like nobody's like thinking about it that way. Like I mean, you can say the same thing again for Twitch or basketball or anything else. Like people aren't like looking at the averages or the medians or whatever. Like, let me know. let me clarify that I don't think that I don't think that we should go into like a totalitarian society. These things should be illegal. I still think that sex work should be decriminalized. I just think that there are certain things that culturally we can start to shift as we have conversations like this. And I fear that we are not doing it enough, and we are like failing women, women by not having these conversations. So that's the, that's you're right. saying that like you're saying that like all I have to be extreme. I have to be extreme. Wait, so that but do you think thinking? But hold on. But you're trying to say that like all forms of consent, non-consent, are immoral or unethical. Here, it's a pretty well, extreme position well, to take. Okay. Well, I think that uh, like a rape fantasy is like yeah, that's fucking ridiculous. Don't do shit like that. It's like uh, this, you're making a mockery out of victims. I mean, that's disgusting. You're saying, okay. you're hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. You can be against it, but don't say you're making a mockery out of victims. That's you are. You're you are. You just don't understand 
the kinks, I think, yeah. here is I just don't think you have a good understanding. Of it. Why would someone have a kink like that? Why would someone have a kink like that? There can be a kink because like that for a variety of reasons. Sometimes giving like, up control can be like a mental turn on. Okay, so you can tie someone up that's not consent, non consent. First of all, well, tying someone up is almost by definition consent, non consent, depending on how you're pr practicing it. No, it's not. But that's like, just fucking consent. That can be an yeah, element I, okay. of it. Certainly. So let me clarify. Let me clarify. I think non consent is like rape play. So if you are saying, I want to act like I don't like this and be like, no, 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 I want to be able to bat you off and you keep doing it, that's fucking disgusting. No well, should not mean harder. Wait, can, wait, no okay, should not mean you, harder. Okay, Lav, can you can you parse out the difference? I know you have. I know that you have a personal connection to this, Max. I do, and Jesus so I'm going to defend. I'm going to defend. I'm going to okay. defend myself. I'm going to defend God. myself. Okay. Can you parse out the difference between? That's disgusting, and I'm personally disgusted by that for my personal reasons that have to do with me. Um, I think as I think we should shame this as a society. And I think other people should be saying this is disgusting. We should change social norms. I think this type of content should be illegal. It shouldn't be, you shouldn't be allowed to make a video that shows this, or I think it should be illegal to do this. I didn't say home. that any of this should be illegal. I just said that I don't think that we should create legislature around this. Great. But culturally, we should have conversations about this. Okay. So you're saying that you think that we should ostracize or shame or condemn people for doing this, but not actually try to stop them. Well, no. So there are certain things that I think that you, so I don't think that in the comfort of your own home, these are things that mm -hmm. we can even possibly like make legislature around. Right. But well, I we think have a legislature that, around rape. For example, it's illegal to rape somebody in your own home. And if you do that, then we sure, can, you know, we sure. You. But I think that's when okay. things get a little iffier, but I think that we can do Sorry, things. Sorry, shut up, well, shut, up, shut, up, shut, up shut up, shut up, shut up. Listen, do you think we can fit one more sex worker in here? Who? Oh. Aoife, Aoife B. Um, How many sex workers does it take? Destiny's think thinking, are they hot or not? Should, should we have them? That's no, I was thinking. wondering if uh, Brittany wanted to come in so I could see how many people I could trigger in here at once. But No, it feels like this is a really full room already. Oh. Well, I'm not going to tell you. I, I don't care about oh, your opinion. Oh. I don't give a single fuck about in. your opinion. Bring her in. Asking... I don't know what's yeah, going on, but bring her in. <laughs> I saw I sent some. It's okay. She doesn't want to come in anyway, okay? Camera. Relax. Oh, you're just testing the water. It's very sneaky of you. Where do you think the camera is? All these Jews, and I'm the sneaky one. Jeez. That's oh, Shailen's first appearance on stream, everybody. Fuck. You fucked up, bitch. I thought you wanted to protect her from the internet. <laughs> I did. She Shailen didn't, just I didn't tell her to walk. I don't know. She just walked in front weeks. of the camera. Can we make a joke there? What did, you said how many sex workers to screw in a light bulb, Max? What do you? Yeah. What's yeah. the funny? Answer? Well, what's the funny answer to that? Because it how can't much just are you be. paying them? Well, that that's not a good enough answer. It's got to be something else. It's got to be like I'm you know one, okay. one to. One to complain about how much they make on OnlyFans and three to do it to no viewers or something oh, like Dan that. Dan needs to go the misogynistic route. Nice. Good <laughs> well, I mean, it's the funny way. <laughs> yeah. All right. So okay. My bad. Well, that was hilarious. Good job, Dan. Uh, I was job, trying man. to. It's a joke. Okay. It's supposed to be a commentary on yeah, practical it's funny situations. Because fuck women, right, Dan? <sighs> okay. Well, I'm sorry that I was trying to put a little humor in here. What's your answers? It's, it's like funny. one because women are empowered and they can do it themselves. It's like, okay, yes, queen, go off. I congratulate Dan for not misspeaking once. That is impressive. That is shocking. Good job, Dan. <laughs> I think it's got to be a record. You think ableism is funny? I do. And it's directed against you. Okay. Okay. That's good to know. I, uh, I'm going to keep that in the back of my mind. It, go it goes both ways. You can make fun of me for being a, a only Make person. your case, Max. Make your case, Max. You were in the middle of it. Yeah, do what the woman says, Max. Yeah, Max, do what you uh, don't yeah, go ahead. Dance, okay. monkey. Make the right case up. for non-consent? Uh, no, but you were... Oh, wait, or was I the one who was talking? I'm confused. It's so hard to tell the difference between you and me. We're so fucking similar. <laughs> I know. We're basically the same person. When you talk, I feel like I'm talking. <laughs> Make the case for rape. Yeah, go no! ahead. No! Right. The, ca oh <laughs> the case God. for rape by Max Carson. Well, um, sure. Vosh I can is going to love case. this. I think that... Um, Part of the excitement on a first date of somebody putting their hand on your leg is that you didn't is, know is they were going to do it. Is he going to rape me? Yeah. No, is that you didn't know they were going to do it. I think that's part of what gives you butterflies. You don't know what the other person's going to do. And sure. then as you get further into a relationship and you know each other really well, that feeling of butterflies eventually diminishes or goes away, where you kind of do predict what the other person's going to do, or they already, they're already allowed to do whatever. And I think that um, the sweet way to look at it is that consensual non-consent is a way to try to role-play getting that feeling back of like, 
you want me so bad that you're going to just do whatever you want and and I don't know what's going to happen but you do and you have control over it but it's, I think it's a an exciting I've talked thing. about this before this is what I mean I think that we can also make the difference between what is like passionate ravaging each other right like I think that that can be very different and often looks very different when you know when Genevieve says that I don't like sex I fucking love sex I love having sex like this I was I'm a fucking nymphomaniac I love to do stuff like this the problem is that I understand that I can separate that from capitalizing off of women's oppression like that is the big wake up moment is that you can you can have your own sexuality that is just yours without the male gaze looking at you, like without feeling the pressure of it, like without. I mean, obviously, in feminist theory, you can never fully do that. Right. Whatever. I think that you can. My at least sexuality internally. is being looked at, though, like that is part of what I enjoy about my sexuality. OK, then the, the patriarchy has made an example out of you. Um, I think that, I think I that think there's no way there's no okay. way to pr have okay. a conversation if every I'm time very oppressed. Genev if every time Genevieve says something you say that she's not actually saying it then oh. there's no reason no I think that she to... she means that like I, I think I mean to some extent like I'm an exhibitionist too like I get it but I also think that that can even be different than like monetizing off of it. Like I even think if you're going to, if you're a sex worker and you're, and you're like doing in-person sex work or something, or even like if you're uh, entering like an orgy situation, like a consensual orgy situation, a party, and you're exposing yourself to all those people, I feel like you will still get the same thing, but not like the added like uh, uh, degeneracy. <laughs> That is like so you think in real life sex work is less degenerate because I mean I do that too and I go to orgy parties like all three of the situations you've mentioned yeah so I'm like an orgy would be your personal sexuality anime. yeah so an orgy would be like your individual sexuality whereas like if you are showing it to like the world you're participating in like a wider bigger conversation where people who don't understand that about you get to sexualize you and degrade you completely it's completely out of your control there are people who are offering me money for media that I'm creating that that feels very much within my control sure but the sure but the media the media is 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 making yourself an object like I think that you think that these people like care about you and they don't they jack off to you and they log off I think that's it's not anything. true like, it's you can literally look at my messages <laughs> like I my my clients my best clients and I have much more of like a virtual girlfriend experience and I think that you're convinced that every single person well, there's on the uh, parasocial experience Wait, I, I think that whatever your experience of must have been very different must be or have been very different than my experience and i think that most people who are successful on only fans have success because they're interacting with their top fans right like they're there's kind of like this person feels like they're getting to know me and they are we talk about video games we talk about our favorite restaurants we talk about what movies we're seeing yeah we also exchange sexual content too but like it doesn't mean that i'm not interested in him telling me about his day or whatever like i i'm genuinely curious it's the same you as are. customer service and another job yeah let's uh, like, I'm literally let's, let's like, compare let's, feel... let's compare sex work to therapy i think that Obviously, like, it's some, not there's, like there's, there's, there's a crossover. Point, there's some similarities. Yeah, at I, some, at some point, at some wait, laugh. Shut the fuck up, I'm Jesus, going... goddamn Christ, shut up. Just, just talk like thirty percent less, please. <laughs> God damn it. The Genevieve? things I'm gonna do to you, Genevieve. <laughs> yes, Max. And let's tone down the threats. God damn it, <laughs> no. Genevieve. Genevieve, um. Is it true? I've heard that and experienced. I've I've only really had one sex work client myself, but um, he wanted to talk about his parents, his childhood, his life, um, and I did not do my advice and confessions thing. I was not very open to it. I was just kind of like, uh, -huh, okay, sure, yeah, okay. I did, I almost like didn't really say anything, but it just became clear slowly over time like this isn't this isn't about the hand jobs this is about you talking isn't it you just want to talk and talk and talk and like the sex the sex shrank the se or sexual part of it shrank to like uh two two percent of the time and it was 98 percent talking without you know denigrating your clients or your work um does that resonate with you
do think that there is a specific type of client who is looking for a relationship that is primarily based on talking and dialogue. Definitely. I like to do everything in my power to control the situation and the conversation, lead the conversation away from Mm -hmm. things that would be like their traumatizing childhood or like their relationship Mm -hmm. with their parents. I don't really engage in those conversations. That's not, but they want to, they want to, I do want to talk about more like day-to-day stuff or like, where are you going on vacation or, you know, things like that, that that feel adding, it's adding a whole nother job to your job. Yeah, exactly. That's not something I'm qualified for. There's probably a lot of OnlyFans workers and sex workers who are talking a lot about men's childhood traumas, past girlfriends, ex-wives, their kids, their jobs, right? I imagine this, there's like a super big overlap. And they probably do also genuinely care about about those things on some level, right? Yeah, I would say probably there are, there are situations where that could be the case. I think that like there's this kind of misunderstanding because if you are making significant money on OnlyFans, you are probably getting like (laughs) dozens and dozens of people who are wanting to have like individual DM conversations with you every day. And like right now on OnlyFans, I've got like 500 unread messages or something like that. Because like I cannot actually do a girlfriend experience. I cannot like build that parasociality. And I think that like this is the reality for pretty much everyone who gets like- What what about the whales? Yeah, I don't talk to them. I don't talk to anyone. Like I post a photo like every few days and I, yeah, I don't engage with that. And I think that's true. I I have like my top 1% that are the people that I will DM every single day. So it's definitely, I'm doing uh, this with every subscriber, clearly. 50% of the donations I received this year came from one person. Yeah, you'll get people that are- Our mutual friends. I, 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 our mutual friend, yes. I respond- to his emails. I Fuck, hope so. Jesus. I think yeah. I could make more money maybe if I was like willing to do this. But I think like the parasociality aspect is like very uncomfortable for me. I just like don't like engaging with it. And so I think it's like very within people's power to engage with these things in ways that is like more or less destructive to people. Absolutely. Also, but wait, yeah. wait. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not saying that that's how it should be. I'm just saying let's acknowledge that there's a big crossover between um like sex work and therapy or caretaking like mental health caretaking yeah i think that's true for like a like lot of different hats girls, and that's, so. i think even like i know women who are much more successful only fans is not my main hustle like there are other things that i do as well it's like a side hustle for me um and, and i do decently well on it it's great but um it's not like my only source of income but i do have friends who are like in the top one or 0.5 percent or whatever and i've seen their dms and they still do have those interactions with like their top one percent of clients as well now i know that's not for everybody well don't um, some outsource it don't some of them outsource it to like some indian fellow in a call center i've heard people have tried that and their um their clients could tell so they stopped it immediately it's a pretty (laughs) they do a terrible job so like there are companies who offer to like answer wait a second for you it's quick diversion shitty job would that be some oh, form of I don't want to say like rape, but is that if you're if you're convincing yeah. someone to, yeah. to do it, is yeah. that a rape? It's That's completely unethical. Violation. Yeah. Wait, wait, is what unethical? Sorry, I had to look up something I proved it. And just like, plug hiring some, hiring it. somebody to pretend to be you to answer your DMs on OnlyFans. They is call that... themselves like OnlyFans managers sometimes or whatever. Well, hold on a like... second, real. What's up? You cannot bring a suit for copyright infringement without first registering your copy. You point this shit and it says you're wrong. Just sit the fuck down and read hold what you on, said, man. You no. can't do it. Hold on. You can't get statutory damages, but it is possible to get actual damages and profits in a suit involving an unregistered copyright. Actual damages and profits are the actual money lost or potentially lost by the copyright owner, the money gained by the individual using the work. If the copyright is registered, it's possible you to get statutory you damages. Fast? No, I'm just saying, read it. There you you're go. You're wrong. Boom. You're wrong. Like, there you, you go. Boom. He's like there out there looking no. like technically. You're, you're, literally 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 like, stop, stop. you're derailing. You're derailing. We'll do the, you're right. We'll anyway, do my understanding is that it's. Um, you're, you're, you're a rape. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> my understanding <laughs> is that um, uh, all of this the is top, rape. If you, are, if you are DMing a top OnlyFans girl, so a girl with like thousands or tens of thousands of subs, chances are you're working with somebody managing her channel. You're not actually talking to the girl herself. You're talking with somebody representing them, basically. Yeah. Yes. That's kind of rapey. That's super unethical. But you Definitely guys don't know happens, what that, but I but I don't think that every is doing that either. Or rapey, but 
I mean, well, you're it's, letting, it's, you're exactly. luring someone into a sexual activity under it's, deception. It's rape actually, by deception. You know also, I what if it's a guy? Yeah, I was gonna say that. Might. What if it's like some you find out some fat, like sixty year old, like four hundred pound dude that you've been sexting with? Maybe yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Like, and, they're, and they're black as well. Chud logic coming out. Chud, are you still gonna say those things after your face reveal? Yeah, I'm gonna um, become about you know 100 times worse probably. Oh no. We'll see. Based. Um, I mean, yeah. I I wanted to talk about because I Max, I think that what you said earlier was important. I think that we should talk about our feelings. Um, I obviously posted a YouTube video about the full story, but I'll share a little bit here. At the moment where I was like, these people don't give a fuck about me, is literally uh, last year. I had a near death experience. I ha I went into cardiac arrest. Uh, because I was drugged with meth at a party. And I didn't know that I had an underlying heart condition. I was gone. I was in the hospital for four days. Three days. And uh, I came back. Well, one of the first things is like, I was like, okay, I'm going to die. And uh, Connor, my fiance, doesn't have, like, access to my Sorry, OnlyFans. sorry, sorry, love. Quick question. Quick question. Who oh. asked? Oh, sorry. Let me, let me finish. Say. Let me finish. My Connor, my fiance didn't have access to my OnlyFans. My photo, my naked photos would still be up. I'm not living my life. It my my sexuality is not mine anymore. I'm monetizing it. It's for men. I don't get to. I don't get to like the things that I like because I'm performing for men. And now I'm gonna die, and these photos are still gonna be up. I'm gonna have no fucking control over it. Worst case scenario, these people don't give a fuck about me. I mean, I've they've already leaked my shit all over the fucking place. Like these people don't give a fuck about me. I'm going to become a fucking viral thing on fucking Twitter. People are gonna be like. Fap to this dead girl. We've seen it fucking happen before. There's best gore is known for this shit. And I was just like, oh my God. And then and then I came back from my hospital stay and people were fucking angry with me, right? Like they were like, I'm not getting my money's worth. And I was like, oh my God. And then I got my heart surgery. I was like, I'm taking a week off. And they were like, why are you taking a week off? I paid $20 this month. So then, uh, whatever, at this point, I'm already like, I fucking hate it here. I go on this week to delete it. I go on to delete all of my posts. I see a post I made when I was 19. I had just relapsed on self-harm, trigger warning. And I, and I say, like, I'm so sorry. I've relapsed on self-harm. I don't want to post photos of my body right now. I understand if you're upset with me and you want to not pay for next month or whatever. And I, the amount of messages that were, like, I don't care. I think that's hot or like angry with me that I wasn't posting for a week was fucking disgusting. These men do not care about you. If you are sending out promos, you get anyone. You can, you do not get to decide whether or not like you, you don't, you're not in these men. You're not in their heads. You don't know whether or not they, they care about you. Even if they are, even if they're saying that they care about you, it's fucking disgusting. And we're, we're literally we're saying we're selling this as empowerment. That's the problem. If you if you want to go into sex work after you've weighed everything, honestly, I think that there are some in person sex work opportunities that are actually very beautiful. If like if you're a man and you're involuntarily celibate and you don't know what it feels like to be you know with a woman, I think that there can be a very beautiful thing in that. And like a woman teaching you how to have sex, letting you touch her, the intimacy that comes with that. I think that's very beautiful. We're just selling it online as empowerment to a bunch of fucking young girls. And I was collateral. And there's going to be so much collateral damage because it's becoming something that fucking Beyonce talks about in a fucking song. Or people like okay, Cardi I... talk about. Left. I want to respond to you. Um, is it... Is it possible... I agree. Fans don't care about you. True. Uh, not certainly not in the way that you, where you, um, that you need people to care about you if you're in the hospital, right? Mm -hmm. They just don't. Your 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 entertainment, or your, they like you. They want what's best for you, but also as long as they get to see it, and and as long as it's what's best for them too. <clears throat> um, so I think all of us can fall into a trap of wanting to get something more from fans that they're not going to provide. And then when push comes to shove, you see they're not going to provide it. And uh, that's, uh, I think a lot of people implode when that happens. I don't think they owed or, it to me. I'm not saying they owed it to you. I'm saying that we, um, 
maybe companies, maybe society, whatever, probably the companies want to frame the creator fan relationship as a lovey dovey thing. And it's, it's very normalized to frame it that way. It was like, Hey guys, Oh, I missed you so much over my vacation. I'm so glad or I'm on my vacation. You're coming with me. Look, we're on vacation together. Hey guys, like that's just super normalized and, and it makes the company's money. If the fans believe that, um, they care about you and you care about them. Is it possible that um, that framing hurt you, obviously, if you thought they were going to care or have any response other than the response they did? Now you, now you know they don't, they don't give a shit about it. So you. I didn't think that they were going to care. I just think that when you're like, obvi- and even at 19, they're saying were, all these things you were, to me. You were, I'm like, you whatever. Were surpri- well, whatever. You were, you were surprised by the response. Uh, I, think that I wasn't surprised. To- by it, I actually wasn't surprised at all. I definitely expected it. Um, okay, well, you had a you said you, you said you had a realization of like these people. No, don't I woke care up. Me. I woke up. That's when I woke okay, up. Okay, great. So, so I'm saying you expected it, and, I think it and it was confirmed. Sure, you expected it. You, you partly expected it, and it was confirmed. And then that, and then you you whatever decompartmentalized that. That makes sense. So, are you saying that we need to warn young girls who are going to have a naive expectation that your fans um, would give a shit if you died. No, not give a shit if you died. But I think that there are certain things that we could do, like, uh, you know, uh, how Dan was saying that we can, instead of just having like a terms of service that nobody fucking reads, cigarettes Mm -hmm. have fucking pictures of rotting teeth on them. But we don't do this shit Mm -hmm. with OnlyFans because we actually have referral links in OnlyFans. Like, there's an incentive Mm -hmm. for this fucking company to keep making money off these barely legal 18 year olds. Like, there is, there's a fucking incentive. There's a cultural incentive because now if you're an OnlyFans girl and people are asking you on advice, you can be like, oh, it's so great. And here's my referral link. And then you make money for 12 months off of this person that you just recruited. Like, we should fucking get away with that. That's fucking disgusting. It's completely unethical. And then also, I think that there should be a thing, and this guy yesterday, or whenever we talked about it, Jeb was talking about how you should you should have, like, a training course. Like, like OnlyFans should, like, train you. You should have, like, a like a, like a 72-hour period where you have to, like, read a bunch of things and, like, you get tested on it. About, like, business savvy, about how you should start an LLC, about, like, all these things that literally, like, you need to be able to do so you don't fall down the fucking cracks of, like, the sex trade in the wrong ways. Like there just needs to be so many caveats about this. And I don't even think, I know that I've come off as a little extreme. I don't even think that OnlyFans in itself is like a bad thing. I think it's like, I just think it's the <laughs> fucking pipeline. It's just the fucking okay. pipeline. Okay. I want to say something real quick. It goes back a little bit to the, to your realization or your, when you felt like you were woken up by the fact that these people didn't care and just wanted you to get back to work. That's another thing that is not, exclusive to only fans or sex work either like i worked for over 10 years in high level corporations in like upper management positions and when i was hospitalized for cancer treatment they were wondering when the fuck i would be back and going back to work oh yeah so when, that somebody, exactly. when, when somebody has seen like, your butthole in any different. job i think I, when somebody has seen your butthole it's a little different I yes, but My I also point agree is, with is that you. The capitalist world we live in is going to want you to get back to work as soon as you can, no matter exactly. what but, job you're and, doing. And I have critique for a lot of capitalism. And I think that this ties to that. I'm not saying that it's exclusive. I'm not moralizing just sex work. It's just my focus because I've been personally affected by this. I talked to Steven about this. It's not that I think that this is the biggest problem sweeping the world. I have personal experience. This is what this is the lane that I'm going to stay in. I think that this can be said about a bunch of different things. But other people can go. Sorry, listen, listen, there's been enough. Look, um, there's been a lot of interjections at the moment, okay? Now, Aoife, thanks for coming on. And I would throw it to you. However, I think that Dan and Destiny need to have a little chat. But Destiny's just fucked off, hasn't he? Good. What's he doing? Professional streamer, am I right? Like, what the fuck? Um, Aoife, you go. Sorry. I think um, a lot of the issues um, for, for, like, the the platform OnlyFans, um, it's very hard to separate them out from issues that are... Um, I think very similar to things that uh, content, other content creators, Twitch streamers um, go through. I don't know if it's done, but one of the first things that I did when I was like looking and I was growing and stuff was I watched uh, quite a few of the, the Dr. K um, interviews with um, big, big, big Twitch streamers. And Ooh. I looked at a lot of the, um, the ways that Twitch streamers, I remember watching, I think there was one about Mitch Jones 
um, a lot of the, the Twitch streamers were going through a depression and how that they felt their stream and like the content they were making and their stream audience was impacting their, their depression. Um, so I, I kind of looked at that as a way to hopefully like um, avoid the same mistakes that people had already made. Um, and I think a lot of the, the issues that I have particularly are not exactly sex work or nudity related or things like that. They're more specifically like, this is a big platform. I'm a content creator. The pressure of like producing good content, the pressure of um, like having a public persona, um, what you can and can't say online, things like that, which are not exactly um, sex work issues. The sex work, the issues more specific to OnlyFans are like body issues or, or things like that. I don't know. I don't know if that makes any sense. I'm so sorry. I think, I think it, um, I think we have a blind spot as streamers to um, um, a lot of the harms of OnlyFans because there is a lot of overlap. And I think that uh, in order to do our jobs, we kind of delude ourselves about. Sorry, Destiny's how... back. Destiny's back. I've got a really important question you need to ask. Okay. What, up, what the fuck is wrong with you? Listen, I'm in the middle of a fucking no, no, sentence. No, no, this is important. no, 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 me. no, no, I'm going to finish no. what I'm saying. This is really no, important. Yes, I'm going to fucking finish super important. No, it's not. Who here has watched Harry no, Potter? It's not. Who here has seen Harry Potter? Oh my God. What? No, it's a serious no, question. Finish. No, I want to, let me finish and then let me finish. Okay, let me ask you a question first. Have you seen Harry Potter? Have you seen Harry Potter? I'm not going to answer your question. Do you know the platform nine and a half um, no, inches or whatever it is? I want to finish what I'm, <laughs> Dan, I'm Dan, saying. Dan, get in there. No, Dan, I'm not. In there. Finish Chad, what I'm saying. Not, let him finish. Shut up. Shut the fuck up, Chad. Let me finish. Okay, go on. Okay. Um, I can't remember what I was fucking saying. Oh, yeah. Uh, we. I think we have a blind spot about the harms of Twitch or streaming or YouTube or whatever. And True. that so it's we're all we're all kind of handicapped in this conversation because we all we all want to pretend that what we're doing isn't like bad for us or bad for the audience, um, but it probably probably is in a, in a way that's like kind of confusing to us. Okay, now, like you the, oh, sorry, the, the, now you finished. Sorry, now you finished. Now you finished. Now you finished. Have you heard of dog warts? No. Okay, Dan, take it away. I'm not doing this. I'm not. I, I said that I'm not doing it. I'm not. I... Can I ask F? Is that okay? I just wanted to, because you've, you've been doing streaming for a bit now, right? Um, yeah. I know you, you still do, you still do like your OnlyFans at the same time, but are the, the, the like mental health issues that you struggle with with streaming, are they like meaningfully very different from, from the sex work uh, like issues that you go through or do they feel pretty similar? So a while back, years ago. I used to really struggle um, with like online content stuff and I found it frustrating. But I think what was happening for me and what happens for a lot of people is there's this like intersection of issues and that's like really where things actually become problematic. So like I'm listening to Lav and she's talking about her experiences um, and her like struggle with realizing that these people really didn't care about her. And I think what can be really dangerous is when people like use sex work or attention from the internet or, you know, on the audience side, if they're consuming this kind of content to fill some sort of like hole or need within them. And like, it's just not possible to do that. And so I think when people engage with sex work, there does need to be kind of like a clarity and a soberness that this is the kind of thing that is not going to like fix problems. It's not going to make you feel like if you, want to be wanted and you feel insecure about your body and you get attention from that and that makes you feel a little bit better in the short term moment the solution is not to go into sex work because that will embed and and deepen that kind of issue so okay. i think that there's like a magnification I, effect i want to i want to i want to argue against what you're saying okay no. please the, the implication that only the most mentally sound healthy people should go into sex work doesn't I don't even like think that's what that she might be said. oh cool i think the implication I think <laughs> why are you like implication, i think the implication <laughs> that only the most mentally sound people those who do not have holes if you don't have, don't have just don't go into it if you have any voids like yeah right yeah right we're all here because we have voids and everybody has voids okay not and me. so the I'm idea perfect. that you're going to be like okay 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. You. yeah. No, you're not. No, none of us are. <laughs> and so the idea that you're just like, oh, this thing could feel like it's filling a void in you, just don't, but just don't let it into that hole that it wants to go in. I psychologically, I don't think that's possible. I think it's just know. totally. Okay, I feel a little bit of. Wait, wait, wait. Let me respond. Wait, can more people talk at the same time? I'll actually jump off a building if I don't get to talk next. So pressure, Lab, no pressure. Lab, you're gonna get, you're gonna get banned. He's made like 16 get, death threats already in this yeah, conversation. You have to in a game. Keep in mind this is all in a game. Seriously. You need to stop doing that. You're gonna get banned. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Also, I've been arguing with trans people for over a year now. Okay, suicide threats mean nothing to me at this point. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's battle hardened. Okay. Let, yeah. Let me respond to you, Max. Um, because like yeah. there's this this question about like the void and, uh. Destiny, he's been on this, like, I don't know, this reevaluation of religion, and part of that is reading suicide. <laughs> Not anymore, I've left it, okay? Chill. Okay. Well, I, I've, also I can take some, <laughs> I've also read some, like, C.S. Lewis, and I think he makes this really interesting point about temperance. And that's that uh, temperance is a virtue in the sense not that alcohol or other, you know, sins should be, or, like, you know, vices should be denied from like everyone universally but that people who you know are unable to cope with alcohol or food or sugar they need to be like especially careful with these things and so that's my position is that like okay, if, you some, are the, if you are if you if you know some, that you're depressed some, like you need to be especially careful no you're in denial you're in denial well, there's no, some drugs that you that's true no okay no so, i uh, think that we, what you are saying i think you're in denial well, about well, yourself oh, she wanted to talk oh. So, or or I will. You're in you know what I'll about do. Yourself. Sorry, I think it's got a really important message. You, oh I've got some. God. I've got a message here. It's asking me what is dog warts. Um, is there anyone oh here that God, can maybe Dan? Up. Could you? Okay, uh, could Max. you just? No, I'll just. Max. I just gotta get this over with. Stop. I'll just do it to Max because he's most likely. Answer. I'm sorry, I have to do this, but I, I think you can appreciate it a little bit. We're just gonna do it and get it over with. Anyone can jump in if they want to. All right, Max. In Harry Potter, you know when they're going and they're on the train station and there's a secret door that they run through yeah. like an aside. Okay, I want you to imagine yeah. that you have one of those in your room. And inside okay. there's a dog, <laughs> your choice of breed, okay? And this dog, <laughs> you don't know what I'm gonna say, you can't say husky yet, okay? I, I, what I what I about would. if I say, what about okay. if I say you, you can't have sex with it, okay? Then you would look like an idiot. Dog. Uh, yeah, right. see, that's why you gotta wait, all right? Okay, okay. Okay, inside there's a dog, and um, you can have sex with this dog, and every time you do, there's <laughs> ten, There's a monetary reward that you get. Okay, let's say, to start, you are Mr. Girl, so I'm going to put this a little bit lower, at like $10,000 a time, okay? But it can be a little bit higher, that's fine. But the whole point here is, are you immoral for not fucking this dog because you could go out and uh, save, like, starving children in Africa? Do you have this unlimited resource? You can go into this secret room... Nobody knows what you're doing in there, okay? No one knows. Just you. One, the dog knows. Oh, we're, we haven't Is gotten into that. Is he required to donate his money, or could he just keep it? No, he, he could keep it. Okay. So the question is, how often are you making use of this? Every time you go in there, 10 grand. He's Who's not a white me? woman. It's, it's, like, it's, like magic, it's like magic goose money. Well, I would say mm -hmm. that I don't think printing money is the solution to our economic problem. So I would actually be causing inflation every time Jeez, I fuck that. I mean, two kinds of two kinds. Isn't of that inflation. what you Jewish every, people every, do, though? Every two time. kinds of inflation. <laughs> I got that joke. <laughs> hey, maybe three, three times. Go. Maybe three times. Well, go ahead. Uh, so I think so it, would actually be, it, would be, it would be immoral to fuck the dog for that reason, so I would fuck it probably ten times. Ten times a day? And keep the money. Yeah. You really um, think you could fuck a dog ten times a day if you got ten Gs a pop? No, I couldn't do it Somebody. 10 times a day. Physically, I could fuck a dog. For 10 G's a pop, I could fuck a dog three times a day. My brain okay. is rotting. Um, well, we need to hear from the white women on the panel on this issue as well. Okay, let me, I'm, as a white woman, let me, uh, let, let's go the back to the conversation. Yeah, uh, I've, I, I, I've, um, done, I've been there, done that. I'm on to better things now. Um, okay. Oh, good but, you. okay, so we were talking about uh, how everyone needs was, to have, like, outstanding mental health to be able to to do sex work yeah right? i was telling tap no, she's I don't in think denial that's you're in denial about no, yourself no that's not what you're, you know that's you're, definitely, you're, definitely you're, not what she was saying that's what i said definitely i said you're in denial about yourself the, the original no, thing okay, i was so trying know. to ask was is there a is there a similar type of like mental issues you're going through with streaming versus like engaging in like on, like only fans that's okay. yeah, her answer question. is like no because no because lesser oh people who have insecurities fall no. prey to this kind of thing but we i know. am perfect and you're, that's fucking not true this is it's like shooting heroin directly into your veins it will affect anyone 
So doesn't across studies, me. across studies, I think it does affect you. Bond. Across, we know, we know across studies that yeah. forty-seven to sixty percent of sex workers who engage in sex work have been diagnosed with a mental illness. Have been okay, diagnosed. Isn't that, let's be, hold on, hold on. I, I'm seriously not trying to shit on anybody here, but aren't the vast majority of sex workers women? And isn't it like one out of six women have like taken SSRI? So like, is that even that far off the norm for the population of women? So the right. most, like, for the most, when we talk about jobs, when 50% we talk, oh my God, is a lot about, more than one in six. So when we talk I'm about I'm trying to job, help you. No, thank you. All of I, this, okay. this is all just a fucking intervention to help you, Lab. Okay. We're Thanks. all here. We're all thank here you. to support you. Thank you. Through your but when we Okay, so the most dangerous job in the world is logging, and it is significantly lower in mortality and also mental illness. We even the most even the most uh, the jobs so doctors even it's like significantly lower rates and we know that okay, those are like is, you're changing extremely the high rates. subject though. No, like, I'm not. I'm saying that mentally ill people, people are attracted. Like it could be that mentally. The fact a lot of people go into sex work because they're not able to work what would be considered a normal job. Maybe yeah. they I've, have I've some made sort of argument a billion times. Capitalism is the problem. I literally have talked about this a billion times. I'm trying to just keep it in like a smaller scope so that people don't think that I'm a funky tanky. Okay. I'm not a tanky. I think maybe we see more people with disabilities or with like a mental health issue in this field because it does allow you more freedom of like scheduling. It's also, and yeah, it's also why balance. we see more trans women. It's like a pipeline for trans women because they're. Wow. It's like they Are you saying trans? Trans women are mentally ill? Obviously. Yes. Well, yeah. uh, but well, also I'm, I'm saying that trans way. women have way less job opportunity <laughs> because of because of bigotry. Um, so this becomes like an even more heinous issue. And that was actually my next point um, was talking about, uh, you know, trans women. Obviously, um, that's like a whole that's like a very unique experience because I think. Yeah, that's a very unique experience. I mean, yeah, if because... anyone's going to speak about transition, I think it should be you. You should be the voice. Yeah, no, that's why. I, obviously, that's sure. why I'm shutting up. Obviously, that's why I'm like, I don't want to go thing into about being trans. It's like because you are. No, 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 no. Hold on, Tab. Niche. Let me. I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're so aggressive. <laughs> okay. Um, because you occupy this special niche, like a lot of times it can be like easier to make money. Like the standards hmm. of beauty are like lower in a sense. And like if you're like a cis woman, like, I'm sorry, but like your chance of making money on OnlyFans, even if you're beautiful, is very, very low. And if you're a trans woman, like you can kind of get away with like not putting in the most effort just because like you're an oddity, you're, you're special. Yeah, I think. Oh, well, yeah. It's also you want to appeal. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. You go ahead. Uh, I was going to say, um, you usually want to appeal to like if you're not like if you're not like the hottest girl ever or something or you don't have like a big social media following, you kind of have to appeal to some sort of niche. And just by default. But being trans yeah, automatically like, swaps you into like a uh, sure. yeah yeah you also acknowledge that this like still like enables like the violence and objectification towards you like you've got to no well, well when you say violence disagree. you're including well, everything under violence like people just like looking at you and jerking off to use violence so i mean like it's no a little that's bit not that's not what i'm talking it's, about i'm talking about the, yeah. the sexual objectification if you can't be treated we already know that places like red states are watching more transsexual porn. We already well, fucking know. So when you look like these people, you're drawing like, the wrong causal link from that, though. Like you, don't, I mean, it's not a causal. Did, I'm not saying I did it's causal. hear. I did hear an explanation for that being that people who live in red states that like are LGBT like don't really have like they're not going outside or anything, so they're forced to search for those types of porn. Right? I think there are more that, LGBT people in fucking No, no, no. Louisiana. What I mean is, if you live in a, I mean, if you live in a blue state, you probably don't need to search like transsexual porn online because well, the transsexual so porn probably, will find you. Know, you. Yeah, but you might have like an email like it will, it will, it will, it will, will come to you, it will knock down your door, and it will be um, in your fucking litter. But also, yeah, like, I just everybody, it's people very like taboo, obvious. Okay, so like yes. if you're in a red state and like you are watching Tucker Carlson all the time, and he's talking about these like trans women who are invading everything, like that's taboo. Oh, yeah. That's exciting, and this is like taboo Max is knows always going to be sexy. I know so, this, like, but then the, but then their first interactions with you, even though it's taboo, even though I obviously know that people like that shit, who are who know it's taboo. Oh my god. Their their first instances with you are going to be you as a fucking sexual object. And, Wait, lab, and this there's a lab. unique experience with this also because of male validation. Obviously a lot of trans women want to be passing or need validation lab. from men in a way that cis women do but is very unique to trans women. And I feel like this is even more regressive for trans women. Okay, wait, hold on. Firstly, wait, I just, I well, I just realized something. Or... I just realized something. Oh my god! Just, what did you realize? I just, I just realized something. Tell us. Okay, you can't shut I should, the fuck I should, up. I should make. Ahead. I should make it. I should make a trans persona named Tucker Carson. 
Oh my god! Yes. Thanks for that. Thank you for that one, Max. You should, and you like, should fuck and up. Make an only I've actually got something page. important to ask. Code. In all seriousness, this is I'll very make important, only right? Hey, yeah, here's so, the question: What's wrong with objectifying uh, women if you're masturbating to them? True, true. Destiny. Nothing. As long as you pay me. <clears throat> because here's so here's here's the big contradiction that's about to blow you get your up, Tucker. Mind. No, no, no. Here's the big Tucker contradiction Carson. That's about to blow your Do you get it? Mind. I feel like you. Yes, we get it. We get it. When you look at streamers. It seems like one of the big problems we have with how people associate with streamers is that they personify them too much and they think they're friends. You get these parasocial yeah. relationships. So instead of that, shouldn't you just be treating them like entertainment objects and then that's a healthier way to engage with it? So when we look at women or w women on the internet that are selling porn, shouldn't we just be masturbating to them? Isn't kind of treating them as just like a sexual object, isn't that the more mentally healthy thing to do rather than treating them like a friend or a girlfriend? Is there really anything wrong with that insofar as you're only treating people as objects as they're selling themselves as objects? Like if I was having a personal relationship with Max and he treated me like an object, I'd feel pretty bad. But if my viewers viewed me, they're like, oh yeah, like I view Destiny, he's just funny, he's a funny guy to watch. I'm not like friends with him, I don't care about any of that shit, but he's like a funny guy to watch. Yeah, that's cool, that sounds like a good relationship. What's the problem with it? Well, I think there's like obviously problems both, there's like um, different yeah, there's kinds of issues, ways. right? But, well, um, well, I didn't I, ask if there were problems, I asked what were the problems? Well, I think, I think specifically I think, with like being... And can you and can think, you give me a problem without getting like into a third order abstraction of like well the issue you're is like, what's wrong with being dehumanized? Uh, a, a lot of the, a lot I can of the I can wait I can, well, I can I can answer. No no, no wait hold on I, I, I want I want I don't want a third order objection I don't want I know well, you I know by somebody in the sense of maybe in the future you'll meet somebody I, I, yeah, I'm not going to do that I would do it then do it never right now go ahead never do that the problem is confusion about what the role of the relationship is so it's when you think that they are going to humanize you and then they treat you like an object that hurts. And when you think they're going to treat you like an object and they humanize you, that's confusing. Sure. So what I'm asking it. right now is, let's say that the relationship is, I make porn for people. That's it. I don't even talk to them. I just I post on Pornhub. It's like, Me. okay, cool. And then I see that yeah. person as like an object, like I do Tav. Yeah, I see them as that's, an object. Okay, I'm here. I just watch your shit to masturbate to you. And that's cool. I think and that's great. That's like, I think, yeah, yeah, I think I, that's so good. I. I think that's healthy. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's okay. Yeah. Wow. I it's think that's actually like, more healthy like, than like overhumanizing somebody where you think they're like your friend or something, right? Like, yeah. Lab, you mentioned yeah. that like if I was sub to your OnlyFans and you have like a big cardiac event or whatever, I'd be like, well, fuck, this sucks. <laughs> it's like two weeks of no content. I think yeah, that's dude, a better. You're that you I have, think it, you're putting I think, like an stop, extreme. Stop. stop. Let me finish. I'm not putting an extreme anything. I think that's a healthier relationship than me reaching out to you and being like, oh my so god, true. are you okay? And you're, like, and, blah, blah, you're blah, blah, blah. and you're a healthcare professional. Thank you. So I like. You just got You're, shut the fuck uh, down. Your opinion on this is Lav. fucking retarded. <laughs> Sorry, Lav. Love. I distinguish Lav. between me You're, you're an expert life. on okay. human relationships. Like when people talk about video games, people are constantly like, well, video games are going to make these kids violent. Like these kids are playing Call of Duty. They're just going to shoot everyone up. Like people can distinguish between reality and fiction. And like... It is okay for people to a view it as just like video game that's not a real person. If that's a video game um, that's not real, you're dehumanizing real people. The video game people that you're killing. Who cares? What, what's the difference? difference? No, I think you know, it is. You're going like too far with this, where it's like dehumanization. If someone's masturbating to me, that doesn't mean they're dehumanizing me. I think it is okay for the dehumanization <laughs> thing. I think it just depends. Like, it's, well, it's it's like a personal decision. Like when you go into creating like your own content, if you don't want people to dehumanize you, and then they do obviously you're gonna feel bad right but i don't think it's like necessarily like if you go into the content and you're like okay i'm just here to pump out one photo per day seven days a week i'm completely emotionally detached from this i i just take one picture per and you're fine with that and the people that look at it just think of it as like you know a pure like object type thing i don't know really, i think that it's probably more healthy than like the way that most people engage with their content which is they take it very personally so like when people don't like their picture, they take that super personally. Or when people don't like watch the stream or something, they get, you know, they get depressed. So um, it probably I seems just, healthier. I, I think that there's something that we're ignoring here, and it's the feelings of women. It's feelings. But it's not and because I, if you're a woman and you go out and you make, I'm making pornographic pictures, people jerk off to them. And that's the extent of my relationship with my audience. What's wrong with that? Yeah, my feelings are not hurt by this dynamic. And if anything, I think that like it's like <laughs> I'm benefiting no, wait, from this on, more than my audience. Because you can have a similar feeling. You know this going into it. Like I know that that's gonna, what's going to happen. Like I'm I'm aware of that. I know what that okay. what the exchange the problem, is. Problem. Even if you think you know that, which I I I don't believe you when you say that you do. But, and I think okay. that you'll wake up one day. But that's anecdotal. Okay, whatever. that's. I think that there are so many women who are doing this that don't understand. And that's what I'm trying to avoid, right? If you think that you fucking get it, whatever. You guys are 
are complete adults. I'm, I don't know how old the youngest of you is, but I, I assume that you guys are all in your late twenties or thirties, right? Yeah. Yeah. So this is, so this is the problem is that I was, I was 17 when I entered this world because I had to. And I I think the issue is that like, Everything you're when you when you come back to this like people need to be made more aware of things. I don't think anybody here disagrees with you, but you make way stronger statements that it's like always bad. I've, it's no, always I, oppressive. It's always participating in the destruction of women. If it's like people need to be made more aware of things, and there are some people that are being exploited, I'm pretty sure I think every women's single person sexuality is in the scope of capitalism is just too good. Women's sexuality in the in the in the scope of capitalism is well, too listen, good. I've got a question for you about that. So you think capitalism? capitalism you, you think how it's just not here? Okay, you think capitalism is the problem? Is that right, Lav? I think it. it I think capitalism is a okay. big problem. That's well, yet. guess what? I've got the solution. Dark dog okay. warts. Dan, okay. take it away. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Uh, I have a. I I feel a uh, monologue coalescing. Can I? Oh, can I this is beautiful. Oh, Speak your yes, truth. Yes, go, go off okay. Hamlet. I'm ready to hear it. Okay, so I Perfect. I don't like a lot of normal porn um no. i don't no oh, i'm shocked what no what i know sorry so sorry. when i see uh when i see men and women having sex with each other and the woman going ooh, ah, uh i don't like it uh it feels really fake it feels like she's not enjoying herself and um i i i i don't like a lot of the um I don't, I don't, I just don't, I don't like the, f I just, it feels fake. And I, you don't like a lot of having normal sex with real life women? Have okay. you considered having sex with real life women? He has a girlfriend. And a real but doll as well. Yeah, 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 having sex with her is, uh, well, whether you have one, yeah. You still have um, the real doll? Yeah. Oh. Oh, you well, mean, you mean you the real doll? you want to borrow Now I have two real dolls. I have two, I have two real dolls because I, no, I have two real dolls because I have Shaylin and I have Renee. Oh my god. Okay. Is there a market for secondhand real dolls? Because they're pretty expensive, yes, right? Yes, you can sell them for quite a bit. Yeah. Really? That's nice. Yeah. Well, I guess like the um, parts are kind of... They can be sterilized. Well, no, you just buy new parts. But oh, you yeah, can't you sterilize yeah, yeah, your yeah, soul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but you can just... I didn't realize sex dolls were fucking position. modular. Okay, Jesus. <laughs> oh, even yeah, SNL, well, you, a lot of technology. You can take your vagina out and wash it in the dishwasher like I did in my infamous <laughs> review. We've all been so, there. So, so, um, I, uh, I agree with a lot of what you're saying, Lav, in that, um, my personal experience with porn has been that I find it, I'll, I'll see porn and I'm like, how is, how, what are guys thinking when they're like jacking off to, like, I, I can understand like enjoying that the woman isn't having a good time. Like if you, if you like watching women be tortured and uncomfortable or exploited, um, and men too. The men don't, I mean, like they're hard. So there's like a baseline arousal, but a lot of them just seem, it just like, they don't want to be doing it. And I, um, I feel like I, I prefer porn where I don't feel like I have to shut off my empathy. And so that's, that's one of the, um, nicer reasons why I, I like Instagram and TikTok as like porn sources or illustrated porn, because I know that, um, it just seems more like cons- it. The drawings like it, or it's just, it's like somebody telling me a story and it just feels more consensual. Totally, totally. I, I get, I get so, the storytelling aspect. Yeah, and if it feels like a consensual. I, I don't know how it took you 20 minutes to say you're into amateur porn. <laughs> oh my God. Because I'm you. not, I'm not into amateur porn because a lot of amateur porn still has the same problems. Sure, yeah. but you like porn where it seems like it's almost like girlfriend, boyfriend. They seem to genuinely enjoy it. That's a better like, experience more realistic. than like, yes. Uh, I, I, don't don't even, I don't, I don't, I don't even boyfriend? like that. I don't even really like I that. Like I just, yeah. he's got to romantic the fuck out of it, but everybody knows what I'm saying and everybody knows what I'm saying is what you're saying. Go ahead. Oh my God. You're so You can't just say that. You're God's gift. Everyone knows what I mean and then. Okay. Hey, every, it's it's I, the, everyone know what you mean. We don't like to watch fake as fuck porn where the people seem like they're moaning and putting on a fucking show. It likes Let to feel like Max be emotional yeah. and poetic. Yeah, you you've literally it's, spoken for 70% of this panel, shut the fuck up. Okay, go, it's, Max. Okay, it's called a monologue for a reason, bro. Okay. So I think, like with meat, you know, lab grown meat is probably the most ethical kind of meat to eat, right? And it's going to become more prevalent. I think it's going to solve the vegan problem. And I think that vegans are going to be arguing about this up until the last second. I understand. You think it's a Holocaust or whatever. 
And I think I, I said this earlier in the panel, but I really, I really think that um, AI generated porn is going to replace and solve a lot of these problems. Especially uh, for me. I thought that was going. With you. And I also where, think that there, where we can have porn. With, so, so now we're forced to make these compromises where we're like, um, we, I feel like no one on the panel is acknowledging this. Everybody, every, it's like the abortion debate. Everybody wants to either say, oh, this is terrible, so we should stop because it's terrible. Or the other side wants to say, well, you know, you're 18, blah, blah. And so if it's legal, if it's fine, well, you're good. To, there might be a downside, but fuck you. You signed up for it. Um, Wait, I, what? I, well, that was an impression of you. But I think that <laughs> if, we just acknowledge, if we acknowledge both are true, yes, it is probably harmful it's not just that women are who have mental illnesses are attracted to making porn. Probably they are. That harms them more. It probably causes some mental illnesses. We should just acknowledge that, yeah, it, it hurts women to some extent to make porn of them and men. It hurts the people in the porn, but we just really like it. We just really want to see you naked, and we need to. And I think that technology is going to provide us an opportunity to not have to do that. And I think once that happens, once OpenAI finally gives me the fucking keys to the kingdom and i can see physically in front of me whatever i want whenever i want then the i think lav's case is going to be a lot stronger for well no, okay now why do we need real people doing this if um mm -hmm. you know if, if we we don't need we don't I actually need it's, them something like like a a hentai. it's like hentai is what you're arguing for essentially but there's yeah, but eventually be it's going to become who are not interested in the AI and who want to see the real person. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Good enough, aren't you? absolutely. And, and also... so I'm, well, I'm not saying that I'm not saying that they there won't be, but I'm saying I think Lav's anti-porn stance will be much stronger when an AI can generate a um I mean already if I see an illustration of a woman enjoying sex, it 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 actually resonates with me more sexually than a real woman pretending to be enjoying sex. You know what it's going to be, Max? <clears throat> they're going to take like a nice... Like... Hey, bitch, I'm fucking talking. What the fuck? God damn. Can't get a fucking word in edgewise. Hate Jewish women. They always fucking do it. <laughs> hey, all right. Listen, here's what I think you're thinking and what's going to go. All right. Yeah. You're, I think yeah. in the future, it's going to be like, imagine taking a full body scan of a person, a real person, but then you can control that 3D projected of the person. Do you feel like yeah. that would be like a little rapey though? Like basically you're I think you have, it, I think it is. It's like a deep fake. It's like a deep fake. But, but they consent to the deep fake. But it's have hard. but have you seen have you seen um what Dolly 2 is generating? Like Dolly 2 can generate a photorealistic person that doesn't exist. Like so, instantly. Yeah. So I, I don't think well, you'll no, not, like, not instantly. The problem is that, so it's complicated. All that shit. I understand what you're saying. It's not we're not here with the tech yet. It's going to be very far away till we're there. You think so? I know it seems, yeah, well, like, that shit runs off of, like, tens of thousands of GPUs. The good one, the fucking garbage one that we can use, yes. Mini Dolly 2. Yes. Yeah, that one, maybe not, but you can see the results of that. The fucking well, yeah, that doesn't, one, that, doesn't, that doesn't stoke the uh, furnace for me. But No, it how, doesn't. How, so how far do you think we are from, um, sounds like you follow this cl more closely than I do. How yeah. far do you think we are from make uh, still images? Well, I think we're, I think, don't you think Dolly 2 can already do that? Make me, make me 10 still images of whatever I want for me to jerk off to? Because we're already there, they're just not. They're just not letting us. I use mean, it, to, but... to the quality that you're gonna want to jerk off to it, probably pretty still far. Away. I just said that I would, would fuck a good. dog, Dan. Yeah, I understand that, but like you know, it would have to be a lifelike dog for you. I'm guessing it's not gonna be some crudely drawn 2D fucking husky, right? So that's the okay. problem we're at here. Okay. Yes. So how how far do you think we are from being able to? Produce... I, I understand where you're at for like the fucking. What real... do you think I would jerk off to? Yeah. Well, I'm giving you high standards here. I'm okay. giving you okay. I think probably ten years at least. I think for like that VR, is a huge. The, that's you don't great. you don't understand no, 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 the no, no, power. Still, still images, not VR. Still images. Oh, still images. I have a. I have a we have like that already. I can go look at like fucking Gal Gadot naked today, and it's like you can't tell. So like that's here today. If you have True. enough. Yeah, but I'm saying a, a purely power. AI generated image that somebody would jerk off to. I think we're already there. Image, yes, but who wants to fucking jerk off the photos? What is this? The fucking me? 90s? I jerk off mostly the photos. Does sometimes it's pretty unbelievable. I'm actually losing respect for you for saying that, Max. But go ahead. I, think I jerk it's, off I think mostly it's, I think the photos. Very cool that you do that. I I think that there's a case that can be made for still images over video porn. I bet these guys put on their analog fucking records when they're doing it too, right? 
At that point, <laughs> you might as well bust out the fucking erotica to read. Jesus. Yeah, I, I, also, I, I, also jerk off, I also jerk off to erotica. Okay, I'm a man incredible. of culture. All right, well, I what sort of stories? What sort of stories, mate? Okay. Tell us about the stories. I don't think oh that's God. a good idea. But I think that um, AI is already there, and I think that that makes I think that makes Lav's cases stronger. That it what? if it's it seems more unethical the more we have an alternative. Yeah, and also if there's this whole other thing that is not human, you don't dehumanize this thing that isn't human. It's not a fucking human. There's no problem. It's there. just your imagination, right? Exactly. Um, that's fine. I'm, Max, have you ever read a I'm book so called lost. Lolita? Just wonder if uh, that's uh, in your collection. It is on my list of things to read. Okay. Uh, I should review You've it. You've seen the film, I'm sure. <laughs> I haven't seen the film. Really? It's, it's uh, one of the Kook, uh, yeah, one of the it's Kubrick a classic, movies. I, you know? I know. Well, I don't want to see the film without reading the book, and I'm too lazy to read the fair, book. Fair, that's I fair. Should, that's, yeah, I should read it. One before the other. I got you. Right. By the way, and I've seen I more. Curious. Your quote about Amherst being the raccoon city of the SJW virus is actually incorrect. That's Northampton, and I think you know that's true. <laughs> that's fair. Yeah. <laughs> nice inside joke, Dan. Good one. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's what we do here. You know, I did it with you earlier when we were talking about our bet. I'm sorry. No, you want to just I, 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 let's let Lab and Mr. Girl no, go and fucking argue. That was the no, no, thing. Do you guys want to argue? I feel like, I feel like me and Max or? are on very similar pages. I'm just a little more extreme about it. Lab, you and Max like are a different yeah. universes on every literal take you have regarding sex. You're absolutely insane if you think you guys no, I No, because I think, no, I hate that you think that because I really do think that, like, Sexuality is like a very beautiful, vibrant thing. I just think that we That's have not, access to so much okay. shit that is like it's making it's making like I'm also We're like not Madame against, Genevieve's like, sexuality. You think that's hold on. disgusting? This is Mac. This is Max's no, view of you. Okay, disgusting. hold on, hold on. This is Max's view. You oh, tell me if this sounds no. correct. Yeah, we're gonna do this. Max thinks that you don't actually believe in anything you're talking about, but you've literally just had a collection of negative experiences recently, and you are, your entire mind is infected by you trying to rebel against this as hard as possible because of a handful of negative experiences, and they don't represent like truly well thought out beliefs. That's what Max. If that's thinks. if yep. that's true, if that's true, it's true, and I'll get there. But I'll get there, and I'll learn. Right. And I'll learn. Max, but this do you is think she's actually right done with OnlyFans? Do you think she's actually done with OnlyFans? Do I don't you think I don't, to be in I a, a debate. That's so fucking stupid. I don't even care me, what he thinks about that. I'm fucking done, that's obviously. Lab, that's a lie. You care what I think. You, you do care what I think. <laughs> I don't. So, I'll play true. I th that's very true. I think... I don't I think, think there's weight to it. <laughs> oh, there's weight. <laughs> you're pinned under the weight. I think okay. that... I think that you have mixed feelings about it. And so, yes. while Stephen, I think you're... I think that is part of what I think about what she's thinking and feeling. I think that um, your beliefs and your feelings are kind of intermingling, and you're basing some of your beliefs off your feelings, and some of them, which is, makes sense, and some of them are kind of more intellectual values. And I think as your feelings change, as you could take more time having quit OnlyFans, I think your values may shift and change, or I think it's possible that this is all perhaps unbeknownst to you, a big advertisement for your big comeback on OnlyFans. Oh my God, this is all up. possible. But just any, anybody who quits anything that is addictive, you can't, the day they quit, like you got to know they might relapse for yeah. sure. For sure. So I, I, so, under, I understand this. I also, I also. What? <sighs> what? What did you just say? She said she understands this. I understand what you're that. saying. Well, no, now not I forgot you. what I. Genevieve? Or I said that I said that I can understand doesn't mean that it's plan or anything like that. Like it, you know. Yeah. I had I had very right. I had very positive experiences with OnlyFans, and it's why I stayed for six years. I had extremely. Wait, you said you had positive... extremely negative experiences. No, I said it is important to not fucking say shit like this, mm -hmm. so that people hear this and they're like, "I made so much money." If I didn't do OnlyFans, I would not be alive. It saved sure, my life but hold in on, a lot just of to ways. Be clear, <laughs> you said that like when you posted, Only when you had the when you had the heart issue and you came back and you saw people objectifying you, that that was an incredibly negative experience. That was like yeah. one of you. Yeah, I I'm not like you. I I think that I I can internalize and have nuanced takes. Um, I think that inside my body, when I think of, when I think about it's 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 the difference of like how I feel, how I've analyzed it, and then what I choose to say. Right. 
So I think that, you know, like, like I just said, I had a very beautiful experience in a lot of ways. For the first time, I'm out of generational poverty. I grew up on fucking concrete in a fucking trailer park. No one in my family went to college. I live in a beautiful house in Los Angeles. I, I have two, you know, I have a very great life. I see a, a therapist twice a week and a psychiatrist that two doesn't what? take my no, insurance. Two, you have two what? I was going to say very expensive dogs. <laughs> um, Don't like, you that say. Are, uh, wow. <laughs> like I, I'm able to, I'm able to have all these things. I'm able to have the home I do. I'm able to have the things I do because I've accumulated wealth. And I think that, I think also classism is a lot of, um, I think that if you're poor, you're, you know, that's being poor is a net negative. Right. I think it, that could be worse for Wait, a lot of people. I'm sorry. Didn't you say like yesterday that you had like a husband making like a half million a year? Yes. Okay, I do didn't. You think that contrib do you, does that contribute to this at all? I mean, it's a little easier to do this in that circumstance. Yeah, no, how totally. Much, yeah. How much were you making on OnlyFans? I was um, at my highest. I was making three hundred thousand dollars a year. Okay, that's significant. That's a lot of money. Yeah, I know, and so I feel like it is my duty because I'm someone who is in the top 0.05%. I need to take an extreme position, even if I don't keep this extreme position. I need to at least sit here for a second. Well, no, what I need to. Seems to be bouncing. Like a lot of things you're saying are contradicting things that you've said. No, it's no. Here. All of these things can be true at once. The brain is so complex. But this is what I want to portray to people right now. Now, when you when you say you, even if you don't keep this extreme position, what other position would you imagine yourself? Uh, well, I'm 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 never going to go back because of how it affected personally my mental health um, and my relationship with my own body. You're never um, going to go back to producing porn or to OnlyFans to being the sex work industry in general. Um, but yeah, and I will acknowledge that it was the reason why, another reason why I quit is because I did not, it was like a, it was a choice at that point. I was already making, you know, I'm already taken care of. I didn't need to put myself in this position anymore. Um, and a lot of people don't have that, don't have that privilege. Obviously this is a necessity, which is why capitalism is the bigger issue. Um, Can I ask how your partner okay. felt about your OnlyFans? Was that an influence at all? He never cared at all, at all. Never said. Did he never know, heard. like, right I from when you first met that that's what you did, or did you have to reveal it later? Uh, on our second date, or maybe after our first date, um, I told him, and he was like, "Okay, sick." I think we. I mean, we both grew up in in Los Angeles, so it's like this is what people are doing. Can I ask? Did you still want to like? Because um, I think a lot of the, the skills that you learn are pretty transferable to other entertainment stuff. Um, do you yeah. still want to do entertainment? Like, do you want to do, like, is Twitch, like, your next avenue, I guess, that you're working yeah. into? Yeah. Um, so I did actually, I, I did comedy before I did this. So I think that's why my following also skyrocketed. So I was a comedian before I was a sex worker. Then do you, how do you feel? Because um, a lot of just entertainment in general is kind of sexualized if you're a woman in the same way that even doing sex work would be. So I feel like you might may still run into a lot of the issues that you were running into. Yeah, a lot of sex work. Of course, and I, in, kind of in this industry as well. Listen, but, if I if I could if I could snap my fingers and make the whole world look at women as people, I would. But I think that that's not going to happen overnight, and we just need to have keep having conversations about this. We need to keep <sighs> telling women about what they're worth. Uh, about their place in society. I didn't even understand feminist theory and I thought feminist theory was fucking disgusting until like fucking six months ago. I like didn't fucking get it. I was like, what are these fucking blue haired bangs people even talking about? But now I'm like, okay, and now with my own experiences, I'm like, okay, fuck. Like I, I call this like I woke up, like I woke up. I guess, um, I guess what I'm saying is that um, a lot, I feel like if you're trying to escape the problems that OnlyFans was causing you, I don't feel like the place you would go to escape those is to like Twitch because I feel like you're you're going to still be so, around the exact same problems. So my personal, so it's not that it's so a lot of my own personal problems with um, so sex is very important to me. Like I said, I'm I love having sex. Sex is very important to me. My own sexuality is very important to me. So because of this, I think that it was especially important that I had this individual relationship with sex with myself and that I wasn't performing. This is like a, that's like one of my personal reasons of why it was like making me so mentally unhealthy is because I couldn't have sex with my fiance without fucking thinking about this shit. Like, you feel I like couldn't, you weren't able to show like sexual acts that you actually enjoyed? Like you, you don't feel like you could create content that was reflective of- No, but that's not for me. Like That's not for me anymore. Then that's content for someone else. That's like not, that's not for me. 
like that's you felt not, like you had not, to do things that you disliked in order to produce the content. Even things that I liked, even things that I liked, knowing that they liked it, fucking ruined it for me. How does that like, fun, how does that not follow you through all of entertainment though? Because sex is a is to me is sacred in the way that I feel like it because it's something that means so much to me, and also I think this is I think that this is different because I grew up pretty, I grew up very pretty. This has been my value since I was fucking six. People have Except. sexualized me since I was six. I've been told literally since I was literally old before I had boobs that people are going to be like that people are going to be knocking down my doors. My 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 parents had to teach me like how to cross my legs, how to talk to men, to be weary of men, to be scared of men constantly. Like I I had a very, I was sexualized since I was fucking six. My whole life revolves around my sexual value. I had to take it back um, for me. And I think this happens to a lot of women. Do you have a therapist you talk to this about? Yeah, twice a week. Gotcha. Wow, that's a real mood killer. <laughs> um, go, I think uh, I think uh, there's uh, this is maybe unrelated. This is something I, I wrote about. I wrote about just there's a bit of an issue when when uh, discussing negatives around this stuff. Um, I think uh, I think it works similarly to um, it's like a desensitization of talking about negative experiences um, in the same way that like when someone if you're constantly like clothed and someone sees you naked one time, it's like a big deal, but. After after a while, it becomes normal. If you talk about like negatives too frequently, I think people will stop listening. I don't know if that makes any sense. But um, if you're like very very positive and then you mention like a bad experience, people will really give a shit. But if you're constantly being like this, like stop. I think this people is are awful, pretty. People, I think people like, are just listening sort of to me. Like drone it out. Wait, sense. what is that? Or what's the relationship to this topic with that though? I it was kind of unrelated. I just nobody was speaking. So. Yeah. No, it's fine. What is I the mean, topic? I, well, no, I tell you what has happened is we've got quite a somber <gasps> no. tone. You know, maybe yeah. you might call it like a, a dark tone that we've got on the panel. Kind of make me uh, think of I that. already know where you're going. Just stop. <laughs> stop. Oh well, my god. I'll stop when you begin. I go. I Dan. Dan, go. Do it. No, I don't. I didn't mean Dan. to make things somber. Dan. I didn't make. Dan. I didn't mean to make things it's okay. somber. We're I think that it's it. important. I've got this the way. This is the only no, way. No, I think out that we should darkness. stay here. I think that we should we stay here for a second because I think this is important. Dan, Dan, exactly. We'll stay on this. Dan, you know, like, can dark I move towards. to? Can I move? Can I, listen? Dark dog words isn't excited, but we can. I'll bring up another topic. Okay. Okay, Dan. Um, why are you I, afraid I, to talk I, about I, bad feelings? Why, why are we these... afraid to talk about something? God damn it, woman! Fucking a! Two minutes where it's not about you. All right. <laughs> I have fucking lost my goddamn train. Are you a now. sex worker? <laughs> Make it about you. Make it about dog warts. Go ahead. Dog, dog Are you warts. putting that word on me? On Dan, me about Dan, me? Just say the topic. Dan, just say the topic. Yeah, I was thinking of. Okay. Mind rape. I want to imagine oh, what? Okay, that everyone in here. Yeah, we're going. We're going to go into mind rape. Oh, I'm sorry. Do we want to all like, wait? Talk actually, about ourselves can I, hold more? on. Wait, wait. Okay, because hold on. There's actually mm -hmm. just a mini topic that I would like to explore really quickly because if it is true, it's actually a massive thing that's going on right now that I think was actually really interesting. Okay, the vast majority, from my personal understanding, I don't know every OnlyFans girl, but from my personal understanding, the OnlyFans girls I know that are large, the big ones that are DMing guys aren't actually writing those DMs themselves. Is that a form of like rape? Do we do we all think that? Because if so, we're not rape, but at least some kind of like sexually inappropriate activity. Yeah. Because yeah, I, I I don't know if Miss Genevieve or I don't know I don't know if you know big OnlyFans girls. Um, Genevieve, do you know? Is it normal for do you know larger OF girls that use like managers to basically all of do the all of the large like very successful creators that I know that mm -hmm. I'm personally friends with speak to their they answer theirs personally. Oh, they, they do do theirs personally. Use. Okay, yeah. gotcha. I, do I don't personally. know. Yeah, I don't know anyone like, those that are does that, but I do like know that people do that, and I do know. But yeah, okay. I don't know. You can't pay for services to do that. Yeah, I know I'm they sure exist. I know those people talk have been it. like approached for that, but they've just declined it. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. We can still talk about it if you want. Never mind. Actually, I, I don't think it's actually that. It does seem. It does seem immoral. That was a really great topic, Steve. Did you come up with that? Okay, sorry, Dan. So let's say that what the dog like doesn't die. What were you gonna do next? Or if it's a dog that makes a lot of noise when you fuck him, you or know what? what? <laughs> Why? No, go ahead, Dan. <laughs> Dan. Where are you going? I wasn't talking about fucking dogs with this. Okay, oh, you know okay. what? Just you said, you said mind rape. Is that what you meant yeah, by yeah. mind rape? Oh, mind no, rape. Yeah, wasn't... go ahead. 
You know, I don't like that you're being so. No, I want to hear What's your topic. Tell me, for? mind rape. Tell me, Dan. No, Kim. No, <laughs> like, I'm sorry. Is are you having so much more fun with other conversations here? I'm no, just trying to mind rape is what happens whenever I have to listen to dumb fucking leftists on Twitch. Mind rape is what okay. happens when and I click not safe work on Twitter no, and cash pictures pop up. That's we're what you gonna, need to Britney. <laughs> we saw. Okay, we're gonna get a little bit honest here for everyone yeah. in the call. So I want you. I'm, we're gonna see who's telling the truth and who's a liar. <laughs> okay. Dirty liar for for PR points. I want you to imagine. Okay. That you woke up tomorrow and you had ultimate mind control powers. I'm not talking about like some basic bitch shit. I'm talking about you can make anyone do make people have make sex with you. Professor, yeah. Professor make it make make them make them feel things. Make them remember things that didn't happen as well. Okay. So I'm talking about you can walk up to any person and make them feel like they want to have sex with you, want to have their life with you, and you can afterwards, after you're done, you can either have them completely forget the event happened at all, or you can make them think that that was, yeah, I was glad I did that, and walk away, and that was the end of it. The question is, if you had that power, would you use that power for your own gain, raping people? And is that raping people by doing that, if they feel like they want to do it? Or is that it more is. a, um, you know, yeah, all right, go ahead, take it away, Mr. Girl. I, I would not use that power. It is raping people, and that is why I would not use it. Okay. I feel like there are way what if no one knew? you could what do with no that power. What's that? What the, what, what, you what, if no, what, if, what if no one knew, no one would ever find out, and there'd be no well, no, out. no one, of course, no That's one. That's part of the, the deal, reason, yeah. Yeah, you have the reason I don't control. Yeah, the reason I don't rape people is not because I think I'll get caught. It's because it's wrong to rape people. I also think it would be very lonely, because the reason... I have sex with people. It's their mind I'm having sex with, and so then I'm just jacking off with their body. And like, I like people's bodies. Oh, sure, Mr. Girl, but, but... hold up a second, because you also said that you wanted to fuck like Shaylin would have her be like completely like not there at all. So in that case, it's not like you're having sex. You admit that there's sometimes you're attracted to having sex with an object and not with the person and not with the mind. Uh oh, that's yeah. not true. Let me push. I feel back like that's. You. I feel like it's a little. True, I know, you might ahead. feel like it's true, but let me. Explain. No, no, it's okay. I can be explained. Okay. Okay, so if I wanted to literally have sex with just an object, I'd have sex with the sex doll, right? And, okay. And you, which I you did, which you did. I did, but you, as you saw, it did not. It was not easy. That was. A I mean, struggle. you did. You did enjoy it though. At some point. Uh, I don't know. Less enjoyable feelings. than other you, interactions. You, you've okay, had. Absolutely. but it is. It is I had something to, I had to that you did. myself to do. But you did. I, do it's it. something I did. I had to force myself okay. to do it, and I did it because sure. it was my goddamn job, not because okay. I enjoyed it. Okay. So what I asked for Shaylin, what I asked her to do is asked her to take care of herself and lie still while I fuck her. That's not her being absent. I'm still I'm still fucking her mind, but what I what I want her mind to be what I want her mind to be doing in that moment is making space for me, thinking about me and basically caretaking herself so I don't have to take care of her because I feel overly burdened by other people's <laughs> emotional well-being, which is partly why I don't like porn. I don't like videos of I don't like seeing their faces because I start thinking about what they're thinking and what they're feeling, and I I don't I don't want to be empathizing with some like sad porn actress while I'm masturbating. It just it's just very disruptive to me. So it's not that I want Shailen to be. Uh, what'd you say? I said we're the only people here with uh, with feelings. <laughs> I don't I don't know what you're saying. Go ahead. Okay, so I want Shailen <laughs> to be monitoring her own feelings and taking care of herself and me in the process not um not to be dissociated or vacant which is why when she first agreed to it and she seemed like she was dissociating a bit and she was like oh yeah i can do that that's why i was like no that's not good enough i need to know that you're really on top of this and now you know i got what i wanted i won i won she's my sex doll and i win um once a month but that's um so I, that's totally different from using my mind powers to control somebody else's mind and have sex with them Obviously, there's a physical component to sex, clearly, where the other person's body is what I'm enjoying. But the variation in bodies is um, there's a lot of a lot of people who are physically attractive enough to turn me on. It's not it's that's not like a special thing for me. What's special? Mr. Girl. And it, yeah, I have a question for you that I think is very really. Wow, Snako, thanks for the 10 bucks. I will put my mask on. Are the kind of wait, person... wait, 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 wait. I'm only halfway there. Okay, let me just finish this sentence. Okay, what's yeah, special to me, what's special to me is connecting with the other connecting with the other person mentally, and if you are controlling their mind and there is no connection. Okay, go ahead. Okay. If you are say wearing makeup or doing things that like arouse people otherwise more so than they would be naturally to your body, do you think that is on the spectrum of mind? Yes. 
I suggest you watch the video that I made called Women Should Stop Wearing Makeup. You know, I want to I want to interject about something you said there, Miss Girl, because I don't think that it follows exactly. So you're saying that you want to have sex with a person. I'm not saying you're not having sex with a person. I'm saying that you've just made it a, a, a switch click in their head where they all of a sudden find you attractive. Same person, yes, same but thoughts. In the, but in, or you made but them the process, more attractive but, to you. Yeah, but in the, in the process of making that that flipping that switch, I'm mm -hmm. taking agency away from them. They're no longer them. They're you just feel like, like... They're, they're now an extension of me. They're a pseudopod that I am fucking myself with, which could be physically I don't think enjoyable. I... But I find it I find it immoral, and it's also not what I look for when I when I engage in sex with other people. That's not what I want. I the whole the, them. I feel like we can break this down, Mister Girl, a little bit because I feel like I when we think go out so. there. No, hold hold on. I feel like when we go out there and we're we're talking to women and we're dating and we're doing that whole process that we're putting on a little bit of a show and maybe not showing exactly who we are. Maybe you do exactly, but I think no, you probably I dress, do. Do you dress up exactly the same as you do every day? You don't do anything differently when you go out on a date. There's nothing differently than you do when you go out on a date. You just go out there and you're exactly how you are at home. The answer is no. Of course you do some change. Wait, people are saying get Snake on. If Snake on messages me, he DMs me on a Discord if he wants to get on. I, I like I don't. I'm not gonna spam his shit and ask him, damn. I understand that's not normal, but I also think that there's a social convention where it's expected that you are sprucing up a bit on your first date, obviously. And so... You're presenting not something that's not true? Would yes, you get but married it, in it, it, it's, not, it's not true. Ideally. Wait, stop. It's, it's, acknowledged, it's acknowledged that it's not true. That's totally different from mind-controlling somebody into wanting to fuck you. Can I take a stab at this one, You Dan? said it's on the spectrum. Sure. Okay. Okay. It's sure. on the spectrum, and, and it's on the spectrum of dishonesty. But it's a dishonesty, but it's not on the spectrum of mind controlling somebody. Those there's a binary <laughs> difference between dressing up nicely, and the person knows you're dressing up nicely, versus a literally reaching into somebody's mind and making them think something they don't naturally think. Baseline. You're, you're yeah, I mean, you're obviously they're different. You're possessing wait, would them. You, oh, wait, hold on. Here's a, I, know, I know Steve. I kind of want to let you go. Would you use your power to ever control people's minds at all? Maybe to like, for no. instance, go up to a banker and say, "Hey, give me a million dollars." Or yeah. I'm going to be the president of this. You would never use it. What if you just oh. nudge people? Just Wait, like hold on. That seems kind of by white people coping. What the fuck does that mean? White people? I feel like you're definitely abnormal. Because I feel like if I asked that most people in here, they'd be like, fucking A. I would walk into a yeah, casino. Yeah, but I, and... that would, that would, that, that. No, I don't think that that's That goes true. against everything I believe in. Oh, yeah. Okay, so the whole, I must, the whole I must point be of everything I do Why don't every you give everybody well, else a little. chance to answer too then? Yeah. Okay, well. What? Go ahead. Go ahead. Me? Or do <laughs> Oh, no, Dan, he said that he thinks everybody else in this question would feel diff everyone else would feel differently. So yeah. I want to be clear, you guys all have true. you guys all wake up tomorrow with fucking mind control. You can be probably the most powerful person in the world. You could go out and you could save millions of people. But there's no up. world. Hold on, let me finish. There's no, there's I don't no want to finish. world or people. Hey, They're Mr. Not Girl, people you anymore. fucking you. monologue and motherfucker. Yeah, I feel really uncomfortable, dude. No. Oh, let it's me just finish. you. You're alone if you do that. Yeah, it's no. weird. Let me finish. You wake up, okay, you have mind control powers. I'm not saying you're going to go out there and rape everyone or do everything, but do you think... So you're telling me that when there's great injustices in the world, you wouldn't even go and go no. mind, con mind control cinema to make it so that fucking millions of people get health care or millions of I people don't even, die. I wouldn't even well, stop. Oh, I think that's immoral. Well, no, I think that's immoral. Then, there you go. Okay, I, wouldn't right even, I wouldn't even stop the Holocaust. Okay. Yeah. conversation. Uh, Mr. Girl said that I was... In, the ni in denial about like my feeling like totally comfortable with sex work and not really having negative mental effects. I think like the socially expected, the good thing to say to answer this question is that like, no, of course I wouldn't use this because like I would, you know, go mad with power or I would like influence things in ways that I'm not predicting. But I think like the reality is that like most people, it'd be very easy to just like very slightly influence people. And I think that's like the most common thing of like how people would actually use it. Not like actually raping people, but just like making people like them slightly more. Most and people would like, actually that's rape how people. We, yeah, that's how we usually you operate so? in our day-to-day -day yes. life. I, I feel like I would, 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 would I rape think raping people. Th so, okay, so. I think this is, this no, is. No, no. I think what might happen is, okay, so. 
I know a bit about this because uh, <laughs> I've taken a lot of drugs before. Okay, no, we've never gotten into this one before. Um, oh my god, Giga Chad. Yeah, Giga Chad. So this is something um, that I feel like I realized when I was at the uh, at the depth of an insane mushroom trip. Okay, is one of the most horrifying feelings to me, and I didn't even know this was a horrifying feeling. But one of the most horrifying feelings to me was the idea that you could be truly alone in the universe. And I think that what Max is saying is true. That if you have the ability to control other people's minds, I think one of the nicest feelings about associating or interacting with other people is that you are forming relationships with people that could choose otherwise. When you form a relationship with somebody, it's because they're choosing to be with you. They're choosing to do things with you. And that choice that they're making is what makes you feel really good and gives you that value and gives you that self-worth because you know they could choose something otherwise. If you were in a position where you could control everybody's mind and control everything that everybody's saying and doing, all of a sudden, all of those choices become meaningless and the universe is full of just a bunch of yous that don't really represent anything anymore. I, think so, that's I do think that that's insightful, and I think that that's true. But I think that like people would very easily rationalize things away, or like they might know that, but they would still say like, "Well, I'm okay with like makeup, so like I should be okay just slightly influencing people's minds." And I think that's what's, like <laughs> that's, rather than uh, actually that's, raping. I think that's way like, different. <laughs> I feel like, uh, yeah, the, the like point of this, present yourself is very different than being able to control somebody's mind entirely. It is the point of this was very minds, lost. Though. Okay, um, where it was supposed to go is I was supposed to say to Mr. Girl, hey, would you mind rape someone? And be like, no, of course not. That's fucked up. And I'd be like, well, you'd mind rape Hitler. And he'd be like, well, you got me. I'd stop the Holocaust. But instead, <laughs> Mr. Girl is being slightly autistic and not stopping the Holocaust, <laughs> which I didn't see coming. That question, that, okay, that, the, the question about mind raping Hitler is boring because now you're not talking about making people like you. You're talking about just like making some people yeah. like make the world a better well, no, It's fundamentally no, a different. It's not because, easy. It's not no, interesting. It, well, no, because he, first off, this is not true. Okay, because it gets down to our ability of what is what is. What is all this type of? You're taking away someone's agency. If the only a action. No, at the he end would. Of it he is would. This, he would I, change I, Hitler's. He would. He would change Hitler's I, mind. He's lying. I, of, course he no, would, of course he no, would. Of course he would. Of course he would. Okay. Here's Holocaust. a question, no, Mr. Girl. Yeah, Mr. Girl. Mr. Girl. Mr. Girl. Here's a question. Let's say that somebody was about to murder five people in front of you, and you had the ability to protect those five people and shoot that one person before they murdered them. Do you think it'd be ethical for you to shoot that person? Conversation is making me fucking brain dead. Yeah. Would you shoot? Would you shoot the person before he kills five people? No, make a man. No, shut the fuck up. Let him answer. Okay, I'll yeah. tell you why I'm trapping you. Because if you say yes, Everyone of course. Everyone here has autism. No, if you would say yes, of course I would shoot that person and kill them. If you would say that, then I'd say, well, what's the difference between shooting them and just mind controlling them for a second to not do it? And then I'm going to apply that same logic to Hitler. I don't see what the difference. Also, is. earlier the he the said he would is... fuck dogs to like no, get money the, and donate it. The, the difference Most is people. Oh my god. That we what's up, have Sinko? agreed. We what's have up? agreed that people should be able to carry guns and that guns should exist and that we can use them to defend ourselves. Well, I think most see, people enjoy yeah, you while you can destiny. make a very strong case for mind control in this one instance. Most the people enjoy is that once you I think, once you start once you start rationalizing reaching into other people's minds and turning them into you. It's it's the, 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 the my everything I stand it's because it goes against everything I stand for and shooting somebody who shoots other people doesn't brainwashing people goes against everything I stand for. Okay. Wait, earlier, I, didn't you say uh, you would fuck dogs? For money? Sorry, they're dogs. Who cares? That's a different Wait, thing. Wait, right. what the <laughs> Wait, why, 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 why would you say? I'm getting cancer. I'm actually getting cancer. Let me just let me just just say in the room, okay? Listen, why would why would why would me? You've got to listen here. Okay. Wait, no, no, sorry, Sneeko, you've just come in. Have you had a dog watch? Stop. Jesus Christ. Shut the other no. oh, I, I don't know what the world Most going people on. enjoy influencing other at. people to some degree. Hold on. Okay. I Destiny, think. Yeah. Destiny, you need to get some more non whites in here because, like, this conversation is just like, what the hell are you talking about right now? Okay. Don't you're absolutely watch, right. So, we, hold on. They're, they're here. I got a really important question for you. Okay. Are you ready? The girls are in here cringing. I see them like listening to these guys talk about like their sexual fantasies, and I see the girls just like extremely uncomfortable. Okay, hold on. We're on a place, crazy panel right now. Turn you're down. You're reading the... my behavior correctly, but I think that Turn... you're getting an inaccurate no. impression. Turn down the red pill a little bit, okay? We have an important. This is a life-changing question for you, okay? I'm are you ready? I think that was a beautiful sentiment, man. Life-changing question. Dan here wants to Thank present you. you with a with a with a place called Dogwarts. Go ahead, I'm take not it away. Dan. Do it. Stop. No. Dan, take it away. No. Dan here is a philosophy no. PhD. He publishes works on on difficult ethical quandaries. And uh, go ahead, Dan. I'm not. Are you, you serious? And we want to know. We're all waiting. Just chill. Stop. Okay. You ask one too many times. Listen, just just move the fuck on. Okay. Stop. This is your moment. Stop. 
Wow. Don't put this on me. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Dan, you've changed. Okay, sorry. Never mind. My bad. When you give the man oh. attention, he doesn't want it. Yeah, true. The whole the whole there foundation of, yes. of everything the whole foundation of everything I want to do with my life and my work <laughs> is dog is words. To, I'm sorry. To get people is dog words. No, to get people to humanize each other without dehumanizing them. And so I try to avoid using kind of persuasive or mind control tactics, even when I'm making content. So the idea that I would use literal mind control to make the world a better place is antithetical to everything I believe in. So while in one instance, you could say, yes, you're violating your ethics for this extreme reason because in this one case, but that's the exact same thing that every person who brainwashes their fans and creates an echo chamber and gets everybody all riled up to hate the people that they want them to hate, That's that every single person is saying, well, yeah, but in this case, it's for this good cause. So I stand against that God, more so strongly, she, wait, so do you more, more strongly than I stand for, what? I stand against that more strongly than I stand for the lives of five people or six million people. But do you We're really do you people. think that you're in any way above doing it, or do you not think that you're participating oh in your own way? Right, you're just doing it yourself. I think that I am doing everything I can to not do that. Yes, I think I'm uh, effectively. I think I'm. But above can, it, yeah. I don't know. Can you? Like, yes, it, it, and the, you you can't use this rationalization for either mind control or genocide or whatever. Say, well, if somebody else would do it. This girl's sleeping and she's passed out at this party. If I don't fuck her, somebody else will. No, you can't. No, you can't. That's not you, what can't I'm no, you can't. You can't. You know, I'm not a. What, am I really? I'm so smug that I really think I'm above this. I don't want to be an asshole, so I'll just I'll just rape and oh murder God, people. Turn it down. No, yes, <laughs> Jesus. I, I, I do. I do. Saying. I do think. I do think. That you can actually hold yourself to a high moral standard, and that you should. Cringe. And that when faced, when 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 you have the ability to mind control other people, you should not use that power for any reason. Wait, can Agreed. I have one question for you? Yeah. What the hell are you talking about? Sneeko, <laughs> what's your deal? Yeah. What's you? What's, I'm what's, talking about what's cuties, deal? baby. Who are you? What's what are deal? you talking I'm about? Yeah. I'm in Miami right now. I'm living the good life. I'm about to go out to the. I heard you were the only other right person now. to give cuties a positive review. Jesus yeah, it's Christ! Good movie. You should check it out. Are you I have checked, checked it out, place? bro. I'm Very the cuties familiar. guy. Wait, 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 wait! Movie. You're in my. Where in Miami are you? I'm in Brickell right now. Oh shit! You're like five minutes away from you're me. You're Miami nice. too. This yeah. is where free people are at. This is where. This like, is the people worst people, people in the world. You've come to the fakest fucking city in the planet. I thought L.A. was bad, dude. The girls down here. Well, maybe you're into that shit. Jesus Christ! Yeah, but they're beautiful here. They don't make no sense, but they're beautiful. Beautiful. They look <laughs> like they would fucking melt if they stood out in the sun for too long. Not all of them. <laughs> not just the BBL girls. There's there's a good variety. Okay. There's international. There's a lot of different people out here. Gotcha. Not all. Would of you them like to do? It's, it's pretty diverse. Sneeko, do you want to do an IRL debate with Destiny? No, you shut the fuck up. Content? You're so cringe. You could 100 percent do that. Like you guys are like five minutes away from each other right now. Let's set that oh, up for oh, like you tomorrow. Miami too, Destiny? Yeah, I live like five yeah, minutes from Brickell. Yeah. yeah. Five minutes. Five oh, minutes from you. Let's do this. We'll set this in Discord. Man, why next are you day or two. Miami? You in Miami? Because my wife wants <laughs> you know to what? fucking live here. <laughs> My there wife. you go. My wife. Yeah, my exactly. Wife. My I listen to my he's, wife. True. Yeah, he's the broken, ultimate cock position. Man. Yep. Unironically, I am. Yeah, I am. What are you gonna a do? A man's a man's place is below his wife. Nice. Word. You're Mr. Girl. Yeah. Wait, who's I'm Mr. Girl. Oh, the dude is Mr. Girl. <laughs> I'm Mr. Oh, of Girl. Course. It's Mr. Oh, that's I... what you said. Yes. They told me to react to you, and you had your boxers out. You had like your dick full front camera. I don't know what the hell you were on about, but. I don't, yeah, I don't your, know either. your videos like I, I think you have some good messages, but it's just like, bro, like put some pants on before I watch your shit. You feel what I'm saying? Yep. He's wearing yeah. pants in a lot of his shit. I mean, it's only some where he's not. in a lot, but I guess the one I clicked on, he was like crotch center camera. I'm like, okay, this is not really my type of content, but do you? Do you, Mister Girl? I appreciate and Love Luna, that. Why, why are you saying that a, a husband should be below the wife? Like, do you really think that's gonna make for an, an ideal relationship? I think on average women are smarter, higher IQs. I think they're more emotional. <laughs> no, I'm just fucking with you. I I think that two people should be equal. I'm just being um Okay, you're just, just saying being... the feminism like I'm, I'm better than men. Meme. Than... I'm just making a little meme. That's it. Okay, okay. Sneeko, why do you think Cuties is a good movie? I think it exposes the problems that girls have on social media and it it's not the movie doesn't promote girls dancing and little girls dancing. It's actually anti that. And it's showing how girls can get brainwashed by social media and how at a younger age, girls who go on TikTok too much and see all this flamboyant stuff, girls who worship Kim Kardashian can get brainwashed. But the okay, but, 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 is, it, but so is, is it really necessary? Is it really necessary to show the girls shaking their butts in order to accomplish that? 
I mean, if you're like, maybe that's your thing. That's not my thing, so it doesn't. <laughs> well, I'm not it saying is. whether it's your thing. Well, okay. Do you think that it's wrong for little girls to be yes. um, forced yes. to forced to make child pornography? It's, it's provocative. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Do you think like, it's? Do you think it's? Do you think? Do you think? Do you think? Do you think? Do you think child pornography is a problem? <laughs> Of course. That's the, okay. Do you think it's do you think it's wrong for girls to participate in child pornography, whether or not <laughs> it's your thing? That's not re- whether it's your thing or not. Okay, so it's not obviously. really relevant. Whether okay, so do you think it's exploitative? Do you think girls should be able to do like thong bikini contests? No, as, they shouldn't. As... And then the movie's trying to okay. expose that. But people like you saw the trailer and they go, "Ooh, girls are dancing." It's not promoting that. It's oh, no. anti that. It's showing a problem that's very yeah, but, real for young girls. But don't, don't you don't all feel the need? To, sure. To no, I understand. I agree with you that Nico, it may you have are so have... based. But, this is actually the most I, base thing anyone has said today. It's actually crazy. I, I, I agree know, with you that I agree with you that the film had good intentions. Mr. Girl, yeah. the reason I'm saying this is people like you who get like a little bit like feel a little something by watching these girls look, like, this is bad. But think of, <laughs> think further past the surface level. Don't just watch sure. the fucking trailer and get triggered because like maybe that I don't know what the fuck. I've seen the at. whole movie. Yeah. I've seen cuties. Did you really think watch it all? Right. I think you just I got triggered by the trailer. Right. I don't know, bro. That's a good no, 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 I, no. I, I, I think you I just really, got triggered I by really the trailer, Mr. Girl. Son. I've really seen cuties, but my my point is that even if it has a good message, even hey Sneeko, hey hey. Even if it has a good message, don't you think it's possible that it's also slightly unethical to show young, you know, twelve-year-old to fourteen-year-old girls twerking in the movie? Do you think that that's unethical at I think, all? I think that movie for the right people incites empathy and lets people understand a problem that's very relevant for young girls. Yeah, that's the good. That's the good side of the movie. But do you think there's a? Do you think there's an ethical? The young problem girls are with, collateral. Yeah, in I that. think there's a problem if guys are creepy and then like actually look up CP. But that's not me, and that's not who the you, movie's for. But if you're on the hey, internet too I, much and you're on 4chan too much, you, you strike me as like a Reddit fucking deep 4chan dude. Like I don't yeah. know what you give. I don't know, son, Mister Girl. You give me like hey, maybe maybe I don't know. Maybe that's you. But okay, so I'm gonna ask understand. this. I'm gonna ask for the. I'm gonna ask for the third time. It's fine if you just don't want to answer. Do you think there's any ethical issue with sticking a camera in a 12 year old's butt to make your point, even if you're defending 12 year olds? It depends on the intention, Mister Girl. And the intention was to show a problem. It was not. To it's, the intention was not to exploit them. The movie's okay, directed so is by it, a woman. Wait, uh, the movie's directed yeah, by a woman, not a guy named. I've Mr. already acknowledged. I've already acknowledged the good intentions. Are you saying that there's no ethical issues with sticking a camera in a 12-year-old's butt in order to make your it good point? Depends on the intention. Point? If it's trying to show a problem, then no, there's no problem with it. Do you want to, okay. Mr. Girl? Do you know that you can just ask them the hard question? What if you can get across the same point in the same type of movie, but you do it with actual child porn? Is it okay? That's the hard question. Of course not. Well, sure, but that's right. that's essentially answer, what you're asking. Well, yeah. Well, there's no. Well, there's no. The, his answer is just. I mean, you're Sneeko, I think you're evading it by saying it's all about the intention. Because ob- yes, that's obviously. That's not evading it. That's a straight up answer. It depends. Okay. On the okay. Okay. Fine, like Stephen. It depends on the intention of a okay, joke. Okay. If the okay. 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 To reveal some truth with funny, then that's a good joke. If okay. So is it? So is it ethical to reveal? Is it ethical to reveal truth with? Is it? Uh, bro, I know. I agree with you about the intention. Is it? Is <laughs> so it ethical? I'm evading the question when I'm giving you a straight up answer. Is it ethical to have good intention child porn actual not, child it's porn not, it's not cp anybody who treats that as cp would it be ethical would it be ethical to create well-intentioned child porn to stand against child porn we're just going to make some if you think it's be... cp then that's you i didn't watch that movie and thought it was cp but if you're into that you're into that that movie was you... showing a real problem to me okay i'm but gonna ask you this can, question one more i'm gonna ask you this question CP, i'm gonna ask you i'm gonna ask you one more question, time mr girl if you consider a... that cp maybe you should do some self-reflection because that movie is not cp it's gross here's I've I've meditated a lot on the topic of cuties and how it affected me. Yeah, I can me, tell you've done a lot of meditating on cuties, Mr. Girl. I, I well, I have. But to ask you the question for the final time, this is a yes or no question, and if you don't answer Jesus yes or no, Christ. you are you're ceding your participation in this argument. That's the question. Yes or no? Would it be ethical for somebody, maybe me, to make child pornography? For the purpose of protesting child pornography, it's not actual child. Because the movie is not CP. It's not okay. that. I'm it's hearing. Not okay, wait. Can I I'm, hold on? I'm, wait, 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 okay, wait, 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 wait. Let me, let me try this. Wait, wait, let me try this real quick. Okay, I want to try to bridge this. I want to see if I can okay. do this. Okay, Sneeko, is your mind right. open? Are you ready? Mm-hmm. What's up? Okay, so I think the issue, looking at the general logic, is all of us here would agree that the the behavior that's shown by the little girls and cuties is unacceptable. We shouldn't be having little girls showing that type of behavior in society. But we'll show it in the movie to make a point about how bad it is, yeah? Yes. Yeah, so we all agree. So what he's saying is, it would also be unacceptable, obviously, everybody on this panel agrees, that child pornography is also unacceptable. 
But if you used that in a movie to show how unacceptable it was, would that be an acceptable use of it? The same way that the girl's twerking is an acceptable use of showing how bad that is. That's the question he's getting I think it, I, And my answer again, just like I answered before, I think it depends on the intention. If you look at the director, the director's had a similar problem growing up. She's a woman. She wasn't trying to exploit them. She wasn't trying to show off. And yeah, we all agree. I think we all agree. Okay, so let me, let me, let me repeat, let me repeat, problem. let me repeat and, what and you just said. One more time. Let me <laughs> You're getting triggered, but listen. Let me repeat what you intention. just said back to you. <laughs> no, no, you no, no. I think we're good. You, no, 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 no. I want to turn. Attractive. No, Sneeko. No, Sneeko. If you think that shit is attractive, that's a you problem. Sneeko? Sneeko it's everybody's yelling. problem. It's everybody's uh, problem. You said let me, this let me, is let me, let me return. Should, it's not my let me, problem. Let me respond. Let me respond. I want to rebut. What you just said is, it's all in the intention. And even, even with the example of child pornography, so you're saying that if a well-intentioned woman who had a traumatic childhood wants to make child, literal child pornography where she is filming children getting raped for the purpose of protesting child pornography, you're okay it's with hypothetical. that. hypothetical. What is this hypothetical? That's not even what happened. That's well, not that's what happened. That's not, it's not, it's not, yes, it's not. Yes, it's not. Yes, it's not. a hypothetical. It, this what is, is your this answer? Is a hypoth this here? is a hypothetical this is question. Destiny, take control. Take control, Destiny. Don't Come on. you see how the women in here understand what I'm talking about and the women no, are, think, are defending the movie? Right. No, no, I'm on I think Lag loves the No, I think that because you guys are both, you guys are both on like opposite extremes, you guys have to like keep biting these bullets and you don't even have to keep biting these bullets. No, you don't. Hold on. No, wait, chill. Let me bridge, let me bridge the line. Like, you, question, shut the you, fuck like, up. I think that both things can God. be true. I think You're not no. saying anything. It, You're I, derailing the conversation. No, I'm not. Stop. Shut up. Shut up. Answer the question, Sneeko. Answer the question. Is it ethical? Up, is it ethical Matt. to film? Matt, you look is it bad. Ethical? I'm trying to save you. I don't want you to help me look good. What? Are you fucking kidding me? You think I want help looking good? Talking about cuties? Oh, you you don't understand me, Lav. You don't understand me. Okay. I think that both things can be true. Sneeko. Lav, shut up, Sneeko. Is it ethical to to film children? Is it ethical? Is it ethical? Is it ethical to? Is it ethical? Is it ethical to film? Is it ethical to film children getting raped to protest children getting raped? You're asking a question I've answered five times in a different way. Hypothetically, is that ethical? I just want to. I just want to. Yes. I just want a yes think, or no. Do you think porn is different than a fucking than someone than a kid shaking their ass in a movie? Do you but think that's we a little both we, no. The thing is, we we, we, we know they're different. Because I it too high. In chat, hold up. I want you to pay attention to how the women understand what I'm talking about, and Mr. Girl is so avidly. <laughs> women understand. I think I think Mr. Girl understands this also. You're that's saying that Lav me. understands what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, Lav is the only one here that is. Statement, but yeah. you're disregarding the three other women on this panel. So no, why I'm don't you team, be specific? I'm Team Sneeko. I, I didn't want to. I didn't want to misgender you. You kind of look like a they them with that haircut. So I, I'm sorry. I didn't want to like just assume. Oh my but God. You, you, you give me. You give me. me. I think you're trying to insult me, and that's a really no, fucking stupid no, way to do it. It's an insult to be non-binary. Yes, it is. I'm proud of. If you're non-binary, that's good. That's that's very woke. Yeah, Wait, but she she just then. said you're. She just said you're ignoring the other women on the panel. In the process of saying that sentence, gendered herself. Then you misgendered her in response. To well, I included myself oh, as the other very, women on the panel. Very, very low, very ugly behavior, Sneeko. Oh my god. Very ugly behavior. Mr. Girl, how come every time I'm on a panel? Something I would expect from a child porn defender. defender. Something I would expect from a child porn defender. Oh my Wait, god. That's Sneeko. I, I'm I'm jacking that you watch that shit. That's why you're you can, that avidly defending this so much and like attacking people like that. You're not, Ain't nobody you're you're attacking me for watching like cuties. No, yeah, yeah, I watch. Like, yeah. Nobody yeah. Asked older actresses and accomplished oh the exact same thing. Do you think that you they, you they could have used girl, older yeah. actresses and accomplished the same thing? Could That's they have the used real. older actresses and made them look young and accomplished the same effect in the movie? Yeah, or you could have made it an animated movie. Yeah. It could have been exactly. a documentary. You we could didn't have, have done to anything. Shoot the actual children. We no. could have done it a different way. No, no and you got to think about the, the children. It was important. Part think of it. about on set, like, oh, come here, stand here. Yeah, just shake your butt a little bit while I film you. I think it's a little fucked up, Sneeko. And I understand you're saying you have no ethical issues with the movie or with, and uh, I guess any of the hypotheticals we presented to you. I'm going to charitably assume that you probably would have issues with those, just being argumentative. <laughs> I just got to disagree with you. I think it's wrong. Okay, disagree. To... I'm not gonna change your yeah. mind if you want to keep thinking that. Okay, bro. I don't give a fuck. I don't. Yeah, I think. I think. I think it's. I. I guess your argument is, and I. And I'll, I'll, I'm so much of a pedophile that I think it's wrong to film a 12-year-old shaking their ass for your. No, movie. other people in the panel. Does Mr. Girl kind of creep you out? 
<laughs> he died. He creeps yeah. me out. Oh, yeah. Yes. Absolutely oh, yeah. not. Absolutely yeah. not. Yay. Yeah. 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 Let me tell you right now. Hey. Nico, this guy wouldn't right. stop Hitler. He wouldn't stop Hitler. No, and he's I don't, Jewish. Can you believe I'm that? I'm just saying, I don't know much about you. I couldn't watch your shit because you had your crotch full center. But, bro, you, you creep me the fuck out. Oh, so, oh, so you're, you're, you're straight in addition to being not a pedophile. You're also straight. Is that your fucking claim? What are you Big talking moves. about? Do you have, do you have evidence on the contrary? <laughs> What you you, you teed that up like you have evidence that he's gay. What the hell is he talking about? <laughs> okay, we need. I've got a quick question, Dan. We've talked about Don't, Don't, stop. Watch. Don't ask oh, wait, Dan no, anything. Dan is not going to make any more content. He's no, done. No, Dan is Destiny, done. Okay, he's Destiny, washed up. I'll ask you. Thank Destiny, you. I'll ask yeah, you. thank you. Okay, forget thank about you. dog. I'm Ryan yeah. over here. What about what about child warts? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Go ahead. No, I don't. I don't know what that one is. You're gonna have to ask. Dan to do that. No, no, you go ahead and continue to ask Steve that. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> yeah, what, what is, is wrong with you, dude? I miss Red, Max. Nico, you know? Go ahead. I miss Max. I miss. Hey, what I did miss you do uh, to listen. him, Sneeko? What Yo, did you so think Sneeko, hold on, hold on. Sneeko, okay, hold the on. answer is uh, there's nothing gayer <laughs> than getting, than within meeting somebody, within one second of meeting them, saying, I couldn't watch your content because I saw your dick. Okay, bro. I, I mean, okay, so I, yeah, and I then you start calling everybody a pedophile. You're calling everybody gay. <laughs> why don't you just talk? Why don't you stay in your you lane gay. and talk about I your? Call what? You gay? I'm just saying my type of content is not centered on your crotch. I just don't. Okay, great. Your so you're 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 straight you and you Mr. like adults. Girl, I'm just saying it's not about gay. It's about that you creep me out. You you are creepy to me. It is what it is. You selected like, I'm, that I'm video and clicked on it to watch it. Like I'm pretty I, I'm sure, sure it had a fucking title. I'm yeah, not sure my chat asked me to help. watch Mr. Girl. They spammed it. I didn't know what it was. I looked it up. I saw your crotch. You were talking about some real shit, but like, why are you putting the camera on your dick? It's not calling you gay. You're, it's just type to make a point. Like to make a point. <laughs> why is okay, your camera well, so right, close now, point. Max? Oh, wait, what wait, wait, wait. So you're saying you can put some creepy shit to make a point? So why are you defending cutie so much while your dick is? He's an adult. He's an adult. Adult can use creepy because, shit. Because, because, adult can use because, their bodies in sexual ways. What we're talking about here is if that's ethical to do with children. <laughs> Because yeah, my dick are. isn't a little girl, Sneeko. My Even dick isn't Sneeko a little girl. doesn't That's like. Why. I think that Sneeko. Can you agree that they probably could have done something different or not like gone directly on? But it was more so just like outrage. It was like obviously, if there's outrage, people are gonna watch this movie. People are gonna get the message. Yeah, well, the outrage is why it was so controversial, and you need yes. the world is controversial right now because the world is full of lies. So it was good. Yes. I guess they could have they could have probably done it differently. But my opinion is that the fact that it triggers so many people says more about the world we live in rather than the content of the movie. If so many people Agreed. have to look at that and go, like, oh, oh, "Bro, they're little girls. It should not even be attractive to you. You should be able to see the problem and not consider it CP. If you consider that CP, I think that's a you problem." That's basically also, this problem. shit is happening. Like this shit is literally happening it's in real. real life. It's, it's like really it's real. like it's like if you watch, it's like should just because uh you know like cows and pigs are getting killed like every single day. <laughs> it's like are you gonna say the same thing? Like why would you show us this? Why would you show us this? It's because you, it makes you pay attention. It's not it that it isn't attention. an important story to tell or an important impact to to highlight, it's but it could have been done in a different a way. And the movie it could have been long. filmed in a way that doesn't cause you're just fucking virtual trauma signaling. for the children it could have been involved filmed in the filming. Because Wait, I don't think it's the only going. reason that like any of us are talking about this movie is because of how they filmed it. Like it would have gotten obviously absolutely. No, no if you made a movie, otherwise. if you made a wait, 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 if you made a movie where you killed people in it, we would be talking about it, right? Mm. Like if if in the new Mission Impossible, Tom Cruise was like, I'm gonna actually shoot real mm -hmm. people. Sure. To make a point that. about or how bad it is to shoot people. Actually rape so someone on camera. Yes, so we all agree that, yes, doing unethical things in your art can make people talk well, about it. Sure. It doesn't get, like, but what that, you're saying that, is, like... That, that, that... No, it's, it's not... Like illegal no, versus it's... unethical, right? Like, the, that doesn't, that do distinction that doesn't, that that distinction matter. doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. That's not, that's not what we're talking about. That's not what I'm Because there's nothing illegal about having, like, a six-year-old girl shake her ass for a thing, right? But that's what I'm saying. But it would be like... But that's not relevant to my point that I'm making. My point I'm making is... The, the effect of the movie, and whether it has a good effect or bad effect or gets people to talk about it, is not relevant to whether or not it's ethical the way you made it. So that's not, sure. okay. that doesn't matter. That's, that's, yeah. that, that, that's just ethical. It's Choosing not ethical. Lying. Sneeko, <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think saying I, it's wrong to shake, to get a 12-year-old girl to shake her ass is wrong is virtue signaling. Oh. Is that, but no, is that, is that everyone is everyone that, knows it's uncomfortable. Is that, is that, 
Everyone knows it's think? uncomfortable. No one is, is like, hell yeah, I fucking think... loved that part. I replayed it and I fucking loved it. No one's saying that. Is, this, is, is, your, st- is your stance in this d- discussion really that I'm virtue signaling about cuties? No, I, really, well, I that, think that you're that, doing is it that really. Least. Is that really no, what you think? I think? No, my stance is that because Sneeko's being extreme, you have to like overcorrect. And I think that you're doing yourself a disservice because I think you that think, you guys can find okay. middle ground. Okay, so the stance. I think stance that other I'm people taking, here are virtue signaling. But tell me, tell me what about this. Women. Tell me, tell me, tell me what about this. Me? Stance. Are you saying that I'm virtue signaling? Tell, tell is that me, it? Because I know that, I ruffle your feathers here. I know you fucking hate me, but just call it out if that's I the case. I actually don't hate you. Say it. Say I what think you you're mean. a victim. I don't hate Lav, you. Tell, <laughs> Lav, tell me, tell me okay. what you think about this stance that I've expressed on Cuties is extreme. I think Cuties is a good movie. I think Cuties has some pretty good choreography. I think Cuties is well acted and well made and has a good mm-hmm. message. I think Cuties probably had a positive impact on the world because of the issues that it raises. Mm-hmm. However, I think it is unethical to I think it is unethical to film twelve year old girls shaking their butts with a camera, especially close up for money, especially when you acknowledge by making the movie that you know that you're sexualizing them. What about that is extreme? That's extreme. I think when you say hypotheticals that are like, is this this like, would you do you think just, filming what, what rape about, is extreme? No, but you, what about what you I just said, said that, and then you would add it a ca- you would add. What about what I just said it. is extreme? What about just, what I just said is extreme? I just told you, bitch, fucking nothing. But you also that's not the Great. only thing you okay. fucking so said. Now, okay, so now you're gonna say that I was extreme because I made hypotheticals. But the whole point of a hypothetical is to that take hypothetical that somebody, is extreme. The whole What's, point. And there's something wrong with The whole point of making a lab. Laugh. The whole point of making a hypothetical is to take oh somebody god. something said, oh my god, I take know. something somebody said, and take it to an extreme to show that they don't really believe it. So if oh you my say, god, you're right. well, if yeah, so if you say all that matters is the intentions, then of course Stephen's going to say, well, what if you what if you had good intentions and you chopped a bunch of people's heads off? The person's going to say, well, okay, I guess maybe not. That you're so right. I had this. no idea. I had I yeah, literally well, had no idea this is what you were doing. I obviously fucking know that. But when it's something that is so like, especially when you add something like rape that is like obviously so fucking serious versus like a video of a girl clothed shaking her fucking butt, it's like it's like. It's so fucking different. It's so fucking different Rape from a makes video. Sure the best it's hypothetical. Like, Can we be real? Rape I know, literally, it's like, why would you, like, something that charged? Like, you gotta be fucking, come on. Especially with someone like Sneeko. You think, you think you're charged, gonna change his you mind? Think... You think you're gonna change his mind with shit like that? Okay, like, gonna, hold on. You're, he's Wait, just gonna go into this, a more extreme I, position, and so are you. Okay, I, can I monologue for like one second? Okay, hold on. Just because this whole thing okay. is triggered the fucking way. When people can't yeah, engage I with love the sound of your voice. I know. When people can't engage with hypotheticals, it triggers the fucking way, okay? I'm gonna try to say this as coherently and as nicely as possible, okay? So there is a problem, there is a real ethical issue that cuties is critiquing on a meta level the same behavior that it's technically engaging in, which is the utilization of young girls as a form of entertainment in a sexual manner. That is happening in cuties and simultaneously being criticized in cuties. So the question is, is can we engage in a form of unethical behavior if we're trying to make a point about that unethical behavior? Now, if you answer, well, yes, of course we can, full stop. Well, of course, what we're going to think of, well, what's the most unethical behavior we can show to criticize it? What if I want to show you a, a child porn video to make you so disgusted about it that you're that upset about it? What if we produce a child porn video to do that? Well, now when we say that, well, now it's like, that actually feels really bad because making child porn is highly unethical. I don't think we should do that. Well, now if you say no to that, well, now we back up to the cuties movie and go, okay, Okay, well, here we've taken real six, seven, eight, nine year old girls, and we've really had them in front of a camera shaking their ass and being sexual. We've done all of that. So, whatever negative things you think will happen to little girls doing that, that's actually happening to those girls, to those little actors, 100%. And then the question becomes again well, then is it okay to subject them to that to make a point about critiquing the broader culture? That was the, the hypothetical, which I think is an interesting question to do. I don't think it's a clear cut yes or no, but it is a challenging question. Okay. What I think is, is it- not okay. Is, is it to, wrong to say that it's okay to be a little unethical? Is that not? Does that not no, work? No, no, absolutely. I think that is a totally that's a totally valid stance to take. Yeah. What's what? I, what I think is wrong is saying that there's nothing unethical about it. I think that's just not true. Sure. And, and I don't know I if anyone's saying it was No, I'm not saying that. Co- that no, that is not true. That was what you guys were saying. saying. That is, that is the is feeling. Is your camera getting like closer? And closer? Yeah, it was. I think he's doing it. He, Sneeko just said that it was a net positive. He didn't say that it wasn't unethical. No, I said, he, I said, do you have any? Ethical. I said, I said, I said, oh, we acknowledge the positives. Are there any ethical concerns whatsoever of filming a 12 year old girl shaking her butt? And he said, no. All right. Well, so okay. that, that, All was, right. that was, that was his stance. I take so, it back time to, to Mr. Move on. Girl. I'm team Mr. Girl. Can we go back to you not killing Hitler? I'm very disappointed in you. Yeah. As a Jew. <laughs> Yeah, Jew to Jew. No, just as just as a person. That's what's bro. standing out amongst the whole conversation for you. Yes, it is. 
Um, What's the, uh, thanks for scaring off my new friend who's not going to talk to me anymore, guys. Well, I didn't say okay. I wouldn't shoot Hitler. I wouldn't mind Hitler. <sighs> what, what else can we talk about? You think that's worse? I want to talk you, more yes. to Sneeko. I think he's a cool guy. <laughs> well, Sneeko's he left. Gone. Because I mean, he came him in, away. justified child porn, and fucked off. That's pretty giga chat, if you ask me. <laughs> Absolutely true. <laughs> to support child porn, if yeah. anything. Anyway. Yeah. Well, uh, we'll have to do the live yeah. meetup with him, Steve. Make sure to set what's it up, different, right? What's different than that than watching, like, barely legal porn? What? Because barely legal 18. and illegal. Because they're right, legal. That's the difference. It's barely, yeah. but they're legal. <laughs> the difference between 18 and 12 in terms of development is pretty significant. Sure, but it's like the That's same what? sort of concept, right? This is a hypothetical. This is like an extreme hypothetical. The thing that makes it illegal to jack off to a to porn with a twelve year old is not is not that not your reason. Well, it wasn't for doing porn. It. I want you to you just okay. Sorry, cuties isn't porn. Okay, okay the reason that the reason it's unethical to film a twelve year old shaking her butt has nothing to do with the reason the person watching it finds it arousing. It is all about the mental development and mental state and ability to understand and consent to the situation of the twelve year old, which they don't have. I was kind That's of just memeing and now I feel kind of like embarrassed that you took this seriously. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to derail that. Well, well here's a question for you, Mr. Girl. What about like child actors more generally? <laughs> do you have a broader problem with child actors? I do. I do. I think that if we're, we're saying like a child can't work in a restaurant and because it's dangerous to them and obviously the danger to um, actors is psychological and I think kids are really vulnerable to it and their parents now have a vested interest in not seeing what's happening to them and pushing them to go further and further. So I do have a problem with it, but I, I, I'm kind of with, um, how do you say your name? Ify? Uh, Ifa. Like Ifa. Ifa sorry. with an F, yeah. Tash, turn okay, your camera Ifa. off. If you're going to have it on this long, turn it off now. Mm -hmm. Fuck you. Sorry. Leave it on. Ahead. My camera? Yeah. Took you too long. Okay. To on. Listen, okay. I was not wearing a shirt for a long time. Okay. Whatever. It's hot. Fucking, oh, yeah. It's far, so it's farming right. the emotes, huh? Big emote farmer. I know <laughs> one. I got a no one to be one. So, yeah. Move along. It's the game, Dad. Uh huh. Um, I, think, I think what Aoife says applies here when <clears throat> she said that you could be a little unethical. And so with child actors, it's like, we, we, don't want to, we don't want a world where there's a movie, where there's no movies that have kids in them. So we're kind of, kind of just bending the rules or breaking them. But I do think it's unethical for sure. What's so funny, Steve? I'm really laughing over there. <laughs> I just, I agree. Is, 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 I'm, I'm is disagreeing with Mr. Girl Mr. said funny? <laughs> no. You say so you're laughing though. Is there something in particular that's funny about what he said? Careful, Dan. Maybe Every new word you say is another potential to misspeak. <laughs> The non-binary <laughs> joke is pretty funny. No, it wasn't. It was a mean joke. No, it wasn't. It's just shitty. Yeah, it's, it's a literal shitty. shitty. Yeah, that's pretty weak. Oh, Unless so all about, of a sudden transphobia isn't funny anymore? I've never thought transphobia is funny. really triggers a lot <laughs> yeah, of people, other streamers. People, like, I'm not the... quite sure what I'm doing. I don't feel like I'm trying to, but like, I tr lav can't fucking handle me. Like, Mr. Fanatic fucking I'm hates so me. Um, people are really mean you. know, to you. all the Crucible guys. Like, I just, there's some You're naming, like, the really maddest cool. people on the platform, to be fair, okay? Lab gets, Lab has been pretty mad for the past week. Uh, Fanatic you is pretty mad. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I'm just Jewish. I'm not mad. I'm just Jewish. Okay. That is and you think I'm an immature victim, but that's a whole nother story. No, I, I think most of this is coming from the fact that you you are blonde. <laughs> I am Jewish. It's in my blood. Okay, it's in my blood. Can we? You look tall. You look tall. You look like Hitler Youth. Jesus I'm Christ! Jewish. This is Jewish. Jewish. This is Jewish Christ. preparation. This is Jewish. Do you ever Jews feel wow. the same? I, wow. Yeah, I get it. I get it. My family's from Argentina. I, my family's from yeah. Argentina. My mom is a first-born American immigrant. So. Okay, hold on. Your family's from Argentina. Well, that, yeah, yeah, Wait. That was not yeah. the right you country. To, that was not the right country to say. Are you a person of color? Trying to defend yourself. So that doesn't help with like the Nazi cause, but my family no. is actually, you know. Uh, my family emigrated to Argentina in like the 40s. I have some weird pictures. They don't fit in well, but you know, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, not they lived of, in Argentina. So we actually not do not have a lot some of color details here. about my grandparents. They, I don't know where they, they were. They did have Argentina Stop. in uh, the 50s. They left Argentina. I think they were in the 50s for the somewhere or something. I don't really know. Okay. We need, can, you try, know, my, get control. My grandfather. Like yeah. grandfather, stop! And we get it. Hendrick We're all Lopez. Yes, Nazis. I can't Chud, stop. Chud, 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 what do you want to talk about? What are we? Yeah, where are we at, Chud? And this dumbass well, panel. You're asking me. I mean, Jesus, I've got no are idea. Are always like this? They haven't done them before. They are. Yes. Is this what they always go like? Um, they are when I bring know. them together. Yeah. More or less. Uh, okay. I mean, what what do you want to talk about, Destiny? 
I'm I don't know. I'm just here getting the free content, you know. Yeah, cool. I um I feel bad that no one wants to admit that they would mind rape people for any reason whatsoever. It just I wouldn't mean, feel okay good. Say. Like, I imagine, like, you're I'm, having I'm, this... I'm telling you right now. Hey, I'm Dan, not talking about sex anymore. Sex uh, and everyone are, like, you're actually want to get how sex with Okay, here, here's what it's going to be. You guys are all about optics. I know all of no, you would sure. be mind... You'd be, so mind so you'd be mind raping. You'd be mind okay. rapers. Every single one of you might be mind raping. I don't want to have sex with somebody that doesn't It's not just about sex. It's not about sex. You're going to mind rape for money. Mind rape for power to save dying kids in Africa, but you're going to be mind raping. Everyone in here is, and I'm well, disappointed in all of you that you won't be honest. Then why about ask? Why do you ask the fucking question in the first like place? Because I like to see state. who I like to see who will tell the truth and who will you're, fucking you're lie. You're full of shit, <laughs> Dan. Just sit down. I'm just say I'm mind I say it. I'll mind rape. Great. Then you can can just announce that. Mind rape. I am. Mind raping is There we go. Don't ask me a question and then say that I'm lying. I don't. You push harder than. Anyone I fucking know, okay? And you gotta realize something. Like, I have been training a shit ton. s -Fan is a hundred fucking pounds heavier than all of us and is a football player, man. We we have been training. We've been working hard. You, you, <laughs> you just you just started really school. Wait, why is he, is Lakari sad? Would not be able to handle that kind of power <laughs> responsibly. Like 99% of people would not be able to like totally restrain themselves. And listen, well, maybe Mr. Girl is like built different, but I think that like if we're being honest, people would use the power a little bit. Well, I'm wondering, I'm I'm thinking more about Dan. You seem like if you're oh, so I, I ready would try to, to go, use like, it. No, like no, I'm gonna I go to the casino it. and I'm just gonna like, oh yeah, take for over sure. people's like, like that's pretty fun. I don't think, I think yeah. most sane human beings would not do that. I don't no, know. I, I think most people would do that and they lie to themselves. No. I think most people would try to use it sparingly. I think some people would go drunk with power and fucking all of a sudden hate life because they would have no point to live because they could literally control every outcome. Um, most people would very... definitely try, 100%. Yeah, That's oh, honestly. For sure, for sure yeah. they would try. But I think after I a think while you would scared. find it would be really hollow and empty. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> but I think... It's it's weird to me to assume that people just say, oh yeah, I would never do that. If and then I also there are some things where like we obviously would. Like if I could mind control somebody to get like without like stealing money for example, to get like a million dollars, I'd probably do it. Just, like fuck it. Yeah, or or like even like some policies that aren't like you know you could get a lot of people out of jail. Like oh, sure. people that are in jail for marijuana or something, you could just like literally mind control the president and say, hey, executive order. You know, this is something that's a greater good. And okay, do, you, um, do you think do you think that that would be a virtuous act? Uh, yes, I do. I okay, think so if you could how mind it, how control, is it, how is, then how is it how is it virtue signaling for me to say that I wouldn't do it? Well, I guess you're saying that your personal worth is better than a million people languishing in jail. That you how value that, that, that more. You sound yeah, so how is it, how, That's what he's so how, saying. He doesn't that's believe. Well, I, I guess that, the virtue signal is that you're. Signaling. Okay, so the virtue signal. I guess it might not be the right word, but I guess it would be that um, your convictions are so strong that you you wouldn't do it. I think. It's hard to imagine anyone who wouldn't do it, except like insane people to me. But I maybe I don't okay, I don't so get the, it. So then, then maybe I'm insane. But also the question you're asking literally is how virtuous are you? Um, and then any answer, and then any answer to it can be perceived as a virtue signal. Because so you're literally the, asking, the you're asking how virtuous like we are. Interrogating virtues, like everyone is just trying to like figure out where everyone else is. No, when Dan is saying it's a virtue signal, what Dan is saying is that like, you guys are so committed virtuously to this idea that I would never change the autonomy of another person, no matter what the cost is. And Dan is saying, that's not a true position. You probably would if you get something really good for it. That's what yeah, Dan is saying. Yeah, that's what, I, that's yeah. what I'm, that's my interpretation sure. as well. That's the virtue Thank you, Stephen. No problem. Uh, he said it much more. I, no, I appreciate, I, I didn't say it as well. It's true. Um, I so think this whole- people wouldn't go, so I, don't, I don't know. To me- This whole this hypothetical, how it far starts you out, Look, it starts out very aggressive. Would you mind rape uh, a celebrity you find is attractive? And most people say, no, of course not. I would never do that. Okay. And then you work <laughs> you back into, would you stop Hitler? And then most people would say, yes, I would. No. And then you try to so meet not, somewhere it's in the not middle. Actually, it's not a real question. It's a parlor trick. And if Ooh. I fuck up your magic trick, if you fuck up your magic trick, then you say, oh, you're lying. You have to answer it this, you have to answer it this way. Um, yeah, I think... To, well, you don't have to answer that way. I just well, if I like, don't, then, it, you, then you say that my answer isn't a real answer. Well, no, 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 to, no. I here's the thing. I saying can, someone's I can believe you. And saying that you don't accept their answer. Well, you're saying you don't believe me. So then we don't get I'm, to I'm actually think, answer I, your I'm question. Th I'm, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Um, okay. I want the agency to answer your question for real. Yeah, yeah. You know, I I understand. I understand. I'm thinking. Do I believe that you believe that you wouldn't do it? I think you wouldn't do it for a long time, and I think you eventually would. That's the honest, the honest thing. 
I, I, but you know, I'm giving you the honest answer. I think you would go a while and you wouldn't do it. Out of Actually, you know what? <laughs> you know what I might fucking go hard as fuck on? I think I would mind control the fuck out of Nathan to do like study at least one hour a night in high school and college. I think I would actually go hardcore there. Go, go ahead, Mr. Carl. I just feel trapped. Ah. That's all. I don't, I don't, I don't mean to trap you. I'm sorry. It's more like a, a thought thing because I know that you're a very strong-willed opinionated person and i yeah, guess you i'm wanna, you, you a little want a buck you want to buck break me that's what I'm, you're I, doing i'm Jesus sorry it's Christ. not 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 a little bit i i also wanted to see you know like it's interesting you to watch me, me I, squirm it's not like that as much as when you have someone that i think that's super principled on something to really push them to the limits really also stresses their thing and you can find out more about them and find out where the line is and for you um, you know, let's say I take you at your word and say that I believe that you wouldn't stop Hitler, you wouldn't do anything, you wouldn't stop millions of kids. I learned something about you, right? So let's say I do, I do agree that, but I don't know what I'm learning in this case if this is a positive thing. Should I, should I like this outcome? Should this be a good thing to know that Mr. Girl could save a million dying kids and chose not to? Is that a little bit selfish of you to do it in that case? If you acknowledge other people have autonomy and their own experiences and that you could have made their lives better and chose not to i don't know yeah there's, de it's there's some... definitely so something selfish yeah. about saying that the ends never justify the means absolutely it's selfish. yeah yeah so that, it's just it's just a, a thought thing that starts in a like dog warts starts in a very dark place and then goes into something more introspective so that that I was think, all i think everyone should, should zoom in and sh this should be way more personal um <laughs> But uh, yeah, that 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 that, that was it. Um, I personally like to think that I would go mad with power and eventually kill myself after like six months. But it would be like an interesting six months or something. Stop. I feel like I know myself a little bit there. That like I'd like to say I wouldn't, but you know, I'm gonna be doing it every once in a while. I just don't have the moral conviction you do. I guess that's fair. Yeah. Yeah, but no, but you don't have the moral conviction. I think I do. You don't think I have it either. I don't think anyone can with that power. I think it's too strong. Like, to know that you... Something... Like, if you wake up and you see some news and it really fucking pisses you off, some evil being done, right? And to know that you could stop it and you don't, I think is really hard to live with that every day. And I think most people can I, would... Can I use the power to make myself forget I have it? Yes. Well, well, oh, I'm no. Good. You can't You can't forget that you, that you had the power, but you can do the action and forget that you did the action afterwards. Oh. But this is a little bit like, uh, what's that thing with, with God? Can he make an unmovable rock, stop a, something right, right, else? Right. You can't, so you can't, you can't get rid of the power. Here's you can't get rid of the power, but you can forget that you did an action, I guess, would be the thing. So you could end child hunger and then forget that you did that action, if that made you feel better. So then I can k keep uh, walking around thinking I'm smugly superior to everybody, but actually I've just been raping millions of people and have no idea. Yes. Based. That sounds, that sounds like the best option. You get your yeah, self worth. Then you get, hey, then you get the, you get the, <laughs> yeah, and you get the clear conscience. That sounds there you great. Go. You know, hey, that, that. That's really what it's about. Situation. It, yeah. And the end of is the it, day, that's is what it okay it's all about. to do? Is it okay to do blackface if it's virtual? Um, what's relevant to that? Also, <laughs> you don't... <laughs> question. Yeah. Listen, we've been going for four hours. I mean, do we have anything else we need to uh, like discuss? I feel like we're kind of done, aren't we? Oh, well, we've really covered all of the hot-hitting, hard uh, important, hard-hitting, important topics uh, for right now. I don't think that we've missed anything that's not topical or relevant to our current society. So These are the matters... questions on everybody's mind, and I'm really glad that we got to address them tonight. Yeah, I think it's been very productive. Um, so Max, I, I love our friendship arc. Uh, Steve and I love our enemies arc. Thank uh, you. Madam Genevieve, I love our enemies arc. I really, I'm sorry that I came in so hot. Um, Honestly, lab for real. I think that it would be cool for us to have like a like a one on one conversation where we could actually agree. like discuss things a little bit better. I agree. Oh, I think I, that I think I, that I, 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 think that I could have done a lot better. I think I could. You guys I gonna make up? Being here. Aww. I'm... You guys need to talk when I'm not there because I ruined it. True. Actually, true. You inserted no, yourself. Did you actually no, ruin it? I love having you here. I don't. Yeah, I think so. I think I. I th excuse you, Stephen. I think I make. <laughs> I bring out a side in lab that is. Uh... I think. 
Never. I think this is our friendship arc. I think um, maybe we'll never stream together because you know you because <laughs> your stipulations. No, we will. Are once I once I once I believe that you're not gonna go back to OnlyFans and you are delivering babies, I will be happy to. I'll interview you about being a doula. I, I can't I'm not wait. gonna. I'm not gonna deliver babies for a while. I'm gonna especially so, this shit seems to be working out. So. Will you unban like from the Discord? Get... Will you unban from the Discord? Oh yeah, when are you gonna unban her? You, once you once you deliver a baby. <laughs> Jesus. It will be my own baby. <laughs> That's fine. If you have a baby, in five I'll years, be. I'll be dead. Okay. Well, listen. Pleasure, well, everyone. I'm call into proceedings. Unless anyone has any other business, that's it. You can leave. Okay. Thanks for staying, though. It's fucking late for you, isn't it? Yeah. 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 I'm, yeah. For sure. Thanks, uh, everyone. Have a good time. Catch you later. Good luck, dude. Thank you. For Thanks for having us. Bye. 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 What happens to the panel once Chud leaves?